Welcome to Fanfiction Uploads, your hub for anime audiobooks. Love anime and great stories? You're in the right place. Enjoy high quality audiobooks from your favorite series, perfect for any time. Our professional narrations span various genres, from action to romance, with frequent updates for fresh content. Subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Connect with fellow fans in the comments and share your story requests. Thanks for joining us. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the anime adventures. Welcome to Fanfiction Uploads, where anime comes to life. Enjoying the royal treatment, Ling Feng's mood was quite good. Standing on the steps, Ling Feng looked around at the crowd and said lightly, Who is the leader of you? A woman with an extraordinary temperament walked out bowing slightly to Ling Feng, wearing a kimono, which made people look very comfortable. Lord Ling Feng, my name is Hanako, what do you command? Ling Feng looked Hanako up and down, his eyes full of interest. Feeling Ling Feng's gaze, Hanako's face couldn't help but blush, and she felt a little apprehensive. Didn't the new owner say that he was a child of seven or eight years old? But the other man looked at him like an adult as if he was about to eat himself. Hee hee, Hanako, you seem to be worried. Ling. Feng couldn't see what Hanako was thinking, and smiled a little playfully. Although the other party has a good posture and a good figure, his age is expected to be around 30, although the person who enters the service of the royal family will not marry and belongs to a pure body, but Ling Feng does not have a mother-lover complex, so he will not have any superfluous thoughts at all. The reason why I took a few glances at Hanako was just that I thought it was good, and it was just good for my eyes. Barbarian questioned Ling Feng, Hanako hurriedly lowered her head, and said again and again. Okay, it's nothing, we met for the first time, and there are still a lot we don't know, and we'll know it after getting along for a long time. Ling Feng smiled faintly. Now that he has become his servant, Ling Feng doesn't bother to embarrass himself. Hearing this, Hanako breathed a sigh of relief and hurriedly thanked her. At the same time, Hanako's heart was even more suspicious, is this really just a child? Behaved, spoken, and deed, completely like a mature man full of wisdom and experience. It's just that for a moment, Hanako is full of strong interest in Ling Feng. It seems that a lot of interesting things are going to happen between the two sides in the coming days. Lord Ling Feng I don't know what else you have to say. Hanako asked, not forgetting her job. Ling Feng thought for a moment and said, Since it's a new home, you have made so many preparations, I think it has caused a lot of sensation in Kanaha village, and when I came, I saw that there were many people watching at the door. Yes, many people are guessing about the owner of this mansion, but unfortunately they are all wrong. Hanako felt that the new owner liked to chat so she accompanied and talked. Hee <laughs> hee, don't care about irrelevant people, you let people prepare some invitations, I want my friends to come to my housewarming banquet. Ling Feng didn't want such a good house to be wasted. Since I've moved, it's not too much to have a housewarming banquet, right? Anyway, Yu Guang is responsible for eating and drinking every day, and I don't eat. For nothing. And it just happens to let Kanahan know that I, Ling Feng, am also a character. Strength, Ling Feng can develop slowly, but face, it is not easy to earn, especially the face that costs money, the face that is given away for nothing, and it is useless to sit and eat and drink, and it is useless for ordinary people to envy it. Soon, hundreds of invitations were sent out. Originally, Ling Feng just wanted to invite his former classmates to sit in the mansion, but when he saw that he could set up 30 or 50 tables, his classmates only had 3 or 4 tables, which was too shabby. So make the spacing between the tables wider, and you can also set up a dozen or 20 tables, so let's just invite more passers-by. Anyway, the mouth grows on someone else's body, isn't it boasting about one's own head? In this way, the news that Ling Feng was going to hold a banquet in his new mansion spread. Even the village was once proud to get an invitation, and for a while, this matter became the front page of the village. In the study, 
Ling Feng was looking at some of the magazines of this world with interest. There are not many pages on it, but the content is rich and substantial, and there are a lot of cold knowledge that are not introduced and explained in the anime, which is a good way for Ling Feng to pass the time. The banquet was scheduled for two days later, and Ling Feng gave himself two days to rest and relax. A figure appeared outside the study. Ling Feng was unmoved, and said lightly, Teacher Shuman, although the gate is far away from here, it won't take much time for people to report it, right? Ling Feng, your perception is getting stronger and stronger. Bo Feng Shuman scratched his head and said with some embarrassment. Ling Feng put down the magazine and smiled faintly, it's because the movement of Teacher Watergate is too big, and the outside is paved with wooden planks, not stone roads. Looking at Ling Yun's light and breezy appearance, Bo Feng Shuman felt apprehensive for a while. This kid, how can the speed of progress become more and more terrifying? With my strength, I even doubt myself a little. If this continues, who can still control him? Teacher Shuman, what are you thinking? Ling Feng stretched out his hand and shook it in front of Bo Feng Shuman. Because after entering the dark department, Bo Feng Shuman was his leader, so Ling Feng called him a teacher, which also seemed less lifelike. Reacting to this, Bo Feng Shuman smiled awkwardly, and then said, Ling Feng, you shouldn't be so fanfare, but I don't know that your behavior has attracted the close attention of the Hyaga family and the Uchiha family, which shouldn't be a good thing for you. When Ling Feng heard this, he smiled lightly and said, Yes, I think it's not bad, all along, the Hyaga family and the Uchiha family have been fighting each other and restraining each other, so when some friction occurs, the three generations of adults will have a lot of headaches, because they don't know which side to favor. But it's different now, with my appearance, the two of them will understand that Kanaha has never lacked the power of the new generation, maybe this kind of situation, the three generations of adults are more willing to see it. When Bo Feng Shuman heard this, he was shocked. Ling Feng, are you supposed to be? Ling. Feng couldn't help but laugh out loud as he looked at Bo Feng Shuman's surprised appearance. Teacher Watergate, what are you doing so nervously, I just joked about what scared you, you know, I'm just an orphan, without relatives and no reason, to have such a big mansion, it's all thanks to Lord Yu Guang's reward, just me, where is the money? Ling Feng knew that when he said this, Bo Feng Shuman would think that Ling Feng was still planning to form his own forces, so he was so flustered, but Ling Feng just liked to see them being surprised by their words and deeds. Ling Feng wants them to understand that although he is just a child, he is definitely not a person to provoke. I see, you can scare me a lot, Ling Feng, I said seriously, your behavior like this will cause dissatisfaction among the Hyaga family and the Uchiha family, don't believe it. Maybe this time there will be unexpected people who will come to the scene to make trouble for you. Bo Feng Shuman looked at Ling Feng and said with a serious face. Listening to Bo Feng Shuman's words, Ling Feng walked to the window with his hands behind his back. This behavior made Bo Feng Shuman's expression stiffen slightly. Because he seemed to see the appearance of the three generations of adults when they were contemplating, Ling Feng's behavior was really no different from an old fox. It seemed that for a moment, he was still himself, and Ling Feng had directly changed from a little ghost to a hokage. Thinking of this, Bo Feng Shuman's heart became more and more frightened. Could it be that the next generation of hokage will be this little ghost? The thought of being a subordinate to this little ghost made Bo Feng Shuman's heart feel as uncomfortable as eating Ollie. Because the desire of the wave wind and water gate is also to be the hokage. Before Ling Feng appeared, except for the three disciples of three generations, Bo Feng Shuman was the most promising person. Later, Bo Feng Shuman learned that the ambitions of the three ninjas of Kanaha had gone beyond the village, they were people who had experienced the Second Ninja World War, and they yearned for the glory of the outside world. So after all the calculations, I am the most hopeful. But with the appearance of Ling Feng, Bo Feng Shuman's heart became more and more bottomless. Originally, looking at Ling Feng's youth, Bo Feng Shuman didn't feel anything. But every time they met, 
Ling Feng could always surprise himself beyond his imagination. Stronger and stronger, more and more elusive. This feeling is really too frightening. Ling Feng didn't speak, and Bo Feng Shuman didn't continue to speak, and the atmosphere in the room became more and more solemn. Bo Feng Shuman actually regretted coming here. Because this is not only the territory of Kanaha village, but also Ling Feng's private mansion. And he came here without permission. Just when Bo Feng Shuman was thinking about it, Ling Feng finally spoke. Mr. Watergate, in fact, what you said makes sense, but I really didn't think about it that much, I just wanted to repay my classmates. Bo Feng Shuman was stunned, not knowing what kind of medicine Ling Feng was selling. Because judging by what usually happened, every time Ling Feng found a reason to find an explanation, it was difficult to refute. Repay. Bo. Feng Shuman couldn't figure it out, and he was also a sigh in his heart, it seemed that he was going to repeat the same mistake this time. But no matter what, I still have to bite the bullet and listen to the reason and explanation. That's right, you know, I'm an orphan, so I've always lived alone and my classmates usually take care of me a lot, but now I live in a big house, and I won't invite them to live with me, but I have to let them visit. Otherwise, wouldn't you have to say that I was stingy, and I didn't even care about my former classmates? Ling Feng said righteous words, his face full of seriousness. Bo Feng Shuman listened but his scalp was numb, of course he had done a survey on Ling Feng's background, and he clearly knew that Ling Feng was also a loner in school, even colder than Kakashi. I believe you're a ghost, you're a bad little ghost. But anyway, Ling Feng has made up his mind to continue, he can't stop it at all, and Ling Feng won't stop what he says. Bo Feng Shuman had no choice but to give up and report this to the three generations. Then be careful yourself, although the high-level leaders of the Hayaga family and the Uchiha family will not make a move, but there are still a lot of mainstays of these two families, and there are many young people, they have nothing to fear, you can do it yourself. After speaking, Bo Feng Shuman turned around and left. Ling Feng said with a smile, Teacher Shuman, I have sent a lot of invitations, why don't you and the three generations of adults come to have a show? After speaking, Ling Feng threw two invitations and threw them to Bo Feng Shuman. Looking at the invitation in his hand, Bo Feng Shuman was slightly stunned, I'm sorry, Ling Feng, maybe we can't come, because there are still many things to deal with in the village. Ling Feng was not angry, and said with a smile, It's okay, you guys are busy with yours, don't you just have a meal, don't be so nervous. Bo Feng Shuman is gone. But in just a few minutes, the emotional gap is huge. Ordered by three generations, Bo Feng Shuman thought it would be very smooth, but when he left, he was sweating and worried which made Bo Feng Shuman begin to doubt his life for a while. Including when he finally received the invitation, Bo Feng Shuman found that he was nervous, and even thought wildly in his head, whether he would accept it or not, would it cause any trouble. But when he saw Ling Feng's smile, it dawned on him that Ling Feng was really just asking casually. This little ghost, it's too difficult to do. No, let's go back and talk to the three generations about this matter. After sending away Bo Feng Shuman, Ling Feng continued to sit down and read the magazine leisurely. If you pinch your fingers, the Third Ninja World War may start in the next two or three years. Because of their age, the three generations basically won't make a move, unless they reach some special period. Then it must be the appearance of Kanaha Sun in plus a new generation of combat power. Ling Feng must bear the brunt of it. He will be the representative of Kanaha's new generation of power. Because he had enough strength, Ling Feng never worried about his words and deeds that would cause any trouble. Especially when the Great War is coming, with the consideration of three generations, it will only indulge itself, and it will never be possible to punish itself. In fact, in the two days after Bo Feng Shuman returned to his life, it was extremely quiet, and there was no trouble, as if nothing had happened at all. Hee hee, although you are an old fox, I can see you through. Ling Feng smiled smugly. Two days later, the day of the feast arrived. The minions were ready to greet them, and this kind of thing was easy for them, 
and it was no difficulty. Ling Feng can do his master's job well. Kakashi's group is here. Looking at Ling Feng who greeted him at the door, everyone congratulated him. Ling Feng, you are really powerful, you can win the love of Lord Yu Guang, and your future is bright. Kakashi had also graduated from the ninja school and had been involved in some of the missions, so he somewhat understood what it meant for Ling Feng to be injured. Ling Feng smiled slightly, it's okay, it's just that I tried my best to complete the task. After that, Sunset Hong and Yuan Yellen also walked up, with envy and admiration on their faces, Ling Feng Jun, you are awesome. This house is really beautiful. Haha, <laughs> you like it, just come and play often, you are welcome at any time. Ling Feng laughed. After that, many guests also came one after another. Then Ling Feng noticed that there were two groups of people coming menacingly outside the door, and there was no need to think about it, it must be the Hyaga family and the Uchiha family who came to find fault. Lord Ling Feng, these guests also have invitations, what should I do? Said the servant in charge of receiving the invitations. Ling Feng's eyes narrowed slightly, and he said coldly, let them in, if you don't prepare any programs, just use them to help the fun. The servant understood, turned, and waved his hand, and let them in. And Ling Feng had quietly left. If you want to do something, of course you have to be in a place with a lot of people. The guests this time were not only Ling Feng's former classmates, but also many villagers in the village, they all came here, Ling Feng had no reason to refuse, not to mention that the venue was enough, and there were many seats, so it would be more lively if there were more people. The main reason is that Ling Feng still lives alone at the moment, except for fifty servants, he is really not popular, compared to the two families of Hinata and Uchiha, it is really much more deserted. In this case, it can only be more lively and lively by the number of guests. In this way, let the people in the village take a look together, not all of the people from the Hinata and Uchiha families, who were highly respected. In the past, are all good people. In the hall, most of the people were already seated, and Ling Feng, as the host, simply said a few words of welcome, and the banquet officially began. Although Ling Feng was laughing and talking with people everywhere, he was always paying attention to the slight changes in the field. There will definitely be troublemakers, but Ling Feng doesn't want irrelevant people to get hurt, after all, it's on his own territory, and the first time he shows it to the outside world he still hopes that it will go smoothly. Smack! A crisp voice sounded, the sound of a cup shattering. The originally lively and noisy crowd suddenly quieted down. Ling Feng looked up and saw that it was the people of the Hyaga family and the Uchiha family who had made trouble. Uchiha Shisui saw Ling Feng coming and stood up first, Ling Feng, I'm sorry, it's my cousin Uchiha Mizuki who drank too much. Oh, if you drink too much, you will drop the cup, what is this chi? Ling Feng raised his eyebrows slightly, and did not look at Uchiha to stop the water, because today's protagonist is definitely not this crane tail. Saying this, his eyes looked at a tall young man beside Zishui. Humph, I've been out on missions all year round, but I heard that there was a top genius in the village, and I happened to come back to the village recently, so I came to see it, and it looked like that's it. But isn't it? Just like that, in less than ten moves, I can defeat him at Amamoto. Another man at the same table said lightly. Ling Feng looked at it, and the other party's eyes were white, and it was obvious that he was a member of the Hyaga family. Ten moves, I only need five moves. Uchiha Toyoki raised his head slightly. Fart you, then I only need three moves. Hyaga Beifa suddenly became angry. Hinata, you're doing something, aren't you?" said as Uchiha Toyoki dropped another cup. Not to be outdone, the other party also threw a cup to express his attitude. It has to be said that both of these men drank quite a bit. This made Ling Feng laugh out loud. The laughter was not loud, but it made the two men stop. What are you laughing at? Uchiha Toyoki's face was full of wine, a little angry. You're the Ling Feng imp? Right, come, watch me knock you over and prove that I'm the strongest genius in Kanaha. 
Hinata Mamurai said coldly. Ling Feng's face suddenly became gloomy, yes, then you come with me, I'll give you a chance to challenge. As he spoke, Ling Feng walked into the clearing. The Uchiha Toyoki and Hinata Mamaki staggered out. Suddenly, the people around were talking. These two people are both fifteen or sixteen years old, right? Yes, in terms of age, they are much older than Ling Feng, I really don't know what they have to be proud of. It's just that, it's a shame to drink like this, and it's still a member of a big family. Sure. Enough, the discussion was all about questioning and accusing Uchiha Toyoki and Hinata Mamoto. After all, today's banquet is Ling Feng's master. As a guest, you can't say that the host is not, and what they say is true. But these two people were already drunk, where could they still listen, and now their minds were full of defeating Ling Feng and proving themselves. Guys, I'm a little sorry I couldn't prepare some shows for you, but now that the show is here, the two of them, who claim to be geniuses in their families, want to challenge me, and say that they can beat me in three or five moves. In that case, then I'm not welcome. From now on, I will personally cheer everyone up. As Ling Feng's welcome fell, the audience suddenly cheered. They were also very curious about how much ability this little genius of Kanaha had to be able to get such a big mansion as a reward at the age of six or seven. What an arrogant little ghost, am I really drunk? Humph, let's die. Uchiha Toyoki sneered twice, but he stumbled and almost didn't stand firm and then rushed up with Kunao in his hand. Seeing this, Hinata Momos was not to be outdone, and his eyes were activated, and a set of physical techniques smashed towards Ling Feng. Hum. The writing wheel eye and the white eye were activated at the same time, and Ling Feng's instantaneous body technique disappeared, and when he turned around, he was greeted by a set of eight gate dun armor. Wow. Eight gate dunjia, Ling Feng Jun is handsome. Seeing this, Mate Kai in the audience shouted excitedly. Uchiha Toyoki, who was kicked by a buttock, woke up in an instant, and while his face was hot, he also hurriedly adjusted his state, got up and hit him out. Fire escape, how fireball technique. Ling Feng sneered twice, this is also called. How fireball. Fire escape, how fireball technique. Hu <laughs> hu. A fireball that was twice as large as the size of how fireball was released from Ling Feng's mouth, instantly defeating Uchiha Toyoki's fire escape, and enveloping it. Then Hinata Mamatsio also released a big move, Bagwazang Huishan. Hee hee, it's really a loophole Huishan. Ling Feng sneered, and the instantaneous technique disappeared on the spot. Reappeared, it was already behind Hinata Mamurai, Chidori Rachel. On the other side, the fire was extinguished, and the Uchiha Toyoki, who was still very arrogant, was also covered in black paint, and most of his hair and clothes were burned. The two people who were originally glamorous turned into two pieces of black coal, and they were still smoking. Seeing this scene, the audience suddenly fell silent. This is the genius of the family? Ling Feng clapped his hands and turned to sit back in his seat. Throw it out. Yes, Lord Ling Feng. The servants quickly left the two men at the gate. The people in the family who came with him didn't have the face to stay any more, and they all left in disgrace. Then the audience suddenly erupted in loud cheers. Long live Lord Ling Feng. Lord Ling Feng is so handsome. Lord Ling Feng is so powerful. And Ling Feng is also a wave of points to earn very happy. Ding. Get 380 points. Listening. To the system's prompt sound, Ling Feng's face smiled. Knowing. This, I didn't solve it so quickly, and if I played slowly, wouldn't I earn more points? Just when Ling Feng led people to laugh and eat nonsense. The Uchiha Toyoki and Hinata Mamajpi, who were left at the door, were both brought back by their own clansmen. Not surprisingly, when they learned that their people were ravaged and humiliated by Ling Feng, the heads of the families on both sides were angry. Then the two met, talked about this matter, 
and said that they must not stop there. So they all prepared to take people to Ling Feng's house to get face back. But when I went out, I saw Bo Feng Shui Gate blocking the way. Bo Feng Shuman, the follower of the three generations of adults, what's the matter? They. Two heads of the family recognized at a glance who the yellow-haired man in front of them was, and they also knew that his appearance represented the meaning of the three generations of adults. The two heads of the family, the three generations of adults asked me to pass the word, please go back. Bo Feng Shuman said lightly. Hearing this, the two heads of the family were angry. Go back, do you know how heavy Ling Feng's attack is, he has seriously injured the elite of my clan. I am afraid that it will take two or three months to recuperate before he can go to the ground, and I don't know if there will be any sequelae, shouldn't Ling Feng come forward to bear it? Bo Feng Shuman faced the anger of the two family heads, but his face was expressionless, he was originally here to pass the word, if he was really dissatisfied, he could find the third generation to say it in person. The two heads of the family, I have already brought the words, and the three generations of adults also said, if you insist on moving forward, he will personally go to the scene, and when the time comes, he will deal with this matter fairly and justly, as for the consequences, please bear the consequences of the two family heads." Bo Feng Shuman continued. Hearing this, the two heads of the family looked solemn. Glanced at each other, and they both saw the worry in each other's eyes. They can be the head of the family, and naturally they also have unique wisdom. Regarding this conflict, they know in their hearts that if they want to be fair and just, they will definitely suffer first. The reason is very simple, the cause and effect of this incident, the people accompanying him have made it clear that it was their people who went to stir up trouble first. As a result, because of his lack of strength, he was unilaterally beaten by Ling Feng for a lesson. The reason why the two family heads wanted to take someone to Ling Feng to settle accounts was just for the sake of the family's face. If you really want to be reasonable, you don't need to go. Therefore, as soon as Bo Feng Shuman said the original words of the three generations, the two heads of the family understood in their hearts. If they had to go to Ling Feng to settle accounts, then after the three generations arrived, they would definitely not favor their two families. In other words, the three generations were planning to protect Ling Feng. Although both of them did not understand what the intention of the three generations was in doing this, they understood that they could only give up this time. Got it, we'll go find the three generations of adults ourselves. With that, the heads of the two families left in a huff, but the frowning brows indicated that they would not stop there. Watching the two heads of the family leave, Bo Feng Shuman breathed a sigh of relief and then disappeared in an instant, and went back to his life. Inside the Hokage's office, Bo Feng Shuman stood in front of the three generations and told the matter again. Three generations of adults, I think your decision is a bit hasty, it's not worth offending the other two families for the sake of Bao Ling Feng. Listening to Bo Feng Shuman's words, the three generations smiled. Ling Feng knew that he would offend the two major families, but he still had to stick to his own opinion, which showed that he was not afraid. On the contrary, if I let these two families mess around, I will give them the capital to continue to be arrogant. Regarding Ling Feng, there is no doubt about his potential, I believe you know better than me in your heart, he is really strong. So I decided that letting Ling Feng become a new force restraining the other two families, and the three forces fighting each other, would be much more stable than the current situation. The three generations slowly spoke their minds. But as everyone knows, Bo Feng Shuman's heart has already exploded. Because of these words, when he was talking to Ling Feng, the other party said it. Unexpectedly, this is actually what the three generations thought. For a while, Bo Feng Shuman was stunned in place. He not only had to digest the shock brought to him by this matter, but at the same time he was struggling with whether to explain to the three generations, what you think, Ling Feng had already said. However, the three generations thought that the young Bo Feng Shuman would not be able to understand the trade-offs for a while. He got up and walked to Bo Feng Shuman's side, patted him on the shoulder, and said with a smile, you still need to take time to understand these things, after all, 
you are still young and have a lot to learn. There is no shortage of geniuses in every era, including new forces, and although the Hayaga family and the Uchiha family are the mainstays of our Kanaha family, we can't let this make them too indulgent to do whatever they want, otherwise, the originally sharp spear will end up piercing you. But have you ever thought about what you should do if Ling Feng grows into a person who is even more difficult to control than the two major families in the future? Bo Feng Shuman raised his inner doubts. These words made the three generations stunned. Obviously, he didn't expect it that far. If there really is such a day, then I hope his heart is towards Kanaha because we have given him enough. Said. Mayo through gritted teeth. Bo Feng Shuman opened his mouth but in the end he still didn't say what worries in his heart. Anyway, there really comes a day, and this kind of trouble can't be taken care of by yourself. If Ling Feng really became such a powerful person, then he wouldn't have the strength to manage it. Okay, Bo Feng Shuman, about Ling Feng, you don't need to worry too much. Tomorrow you go to Ling Feng and call him over, I have something to do with him. Mayo said. Bo Feng Shuman was stunned for a moment, what's the matter? There is no special task to do in the dark department recently. It's not the task of the dark department, there is still about half a month left before the Zongnan exam, because of the recent turmoil, it has been delayed for a month, this month and a half of time is precious, I hope that this time the Zongnan exam can increase the number of passes in our village, so I plan to let Ling Feng become a teaching assistant. Looking at the wave Feng Shui gate with a puzzled face, the three generations continued. Ling Feng's strength is very strong, so I need to give him a sense of belonging in Kanaha, and this time to protect him is one of the points, and it is also important for him to integrate into the village. I want him to understand that although he is an orphan, he still has a very important place in the village. Hearing this, Bo Feng Shuman nodded and took the order. He knew that this must be another trade-off that three generations thought. But Bo Feng Shuman felt that Ling Feng could guess every thought of the three generations. The next day, Bo Feng Shuman appeared in front of Ling Feng again, but this time he walked through the main gate, because he knew that if he trespassed without permission, he might make Ling Feng unhappy. Mr. Watergate, please take a seat. Sure. Enough. This time Ling Feng was much more polite to Bo Feng Shuman. No, it's just a little thing, three generations of adults want you to go to the ninja school as a teaching assistant. Bo Feng Shuman said. Hmm, be a teacher. Ling Feng raised his eyebrows, what kind of operation was this? Yes, the three generations of adults said, the original plan for half a month after the middle ninja exam was postponed for some reason for some reason which also means that the situation in the ninja world is becoming more and more unstable, so the three generations of adults hope that our pass rate in the middle ninja exam this time can be greatly improved. Bo Feng Shuman quickly conveyed the words of the three generations to Ling Feng. Soon Ling Feng understood that the three generations were looking for something to do for themselves. And it was no wonder that he had angered the two major families of Kanaha, but no one came to the door to trouble him thinking that it was for the three generations to block it. Then three generations came again and asked themselves to do things for him, justifiably. It's really an old fox, and there is really nothing wrong with this plan. Okay, it's just to guide students to successfully pass the Zongnan exam, right? Ling Feng leaned back in his chair and said unhurriedly. Bo Feng Shuman nodded and said, that's right, but this is not a simple matter, according to the intelligence because the Zongnan exam has been postponed for a month, several other villages will also be prepared, and the number of participants will also increase correspondingly, and the difficulty has increased a lot. Hehe, <laughs> there are no teachers like me in other villages, what are you afraid of? The more people they come, the more people will be eliminated. Ling Feng smiled confidently. Seeing this, Bo Feng Shuman said, Ling Feng. The request of the three generations of adults is to increase the pass rate to more than 70%. You must know that the usual pass rate is only about 50, this time not only the number of participants has doubled, but the pass rate will also reach 70, the difficulty is not ordinary, are you sure? Ling Feng didn't say a word, 
he actually cocked Erlang's legs in front of Bo Feng Shuman, and said lightly, If you don't reach it, I'll give you this house. Seeing Ling Feng's confident appearance, Bo Feng Shuman was a little suspicious of life. There are a lot of questions in my mind. Why are you? There are so many people, and not all of them have such a talent as you, so they can catch up in a month? Originally, Bo Feng Shuman thought that the third generation would give Ling Feng such a difficult task, which would make Ling Feng feel a little difficult. But he didn't expect Ling Feng's attitude to be like playing, and he didn't pay attention to it at all. Looking at Bo Feng Shuman's skeptical expression, Ling Feng got up with a smile, walked to Bo Feng Shuman's side, and said lightly, Teacher Shuman, according to the rules, I can also take the Zongnan exam, right? Hearing this, Bo Feng Shuman was suddenly startled, and there was an uproar in his heart. That's right, why didn't I think of this? Ling Feng, then what do you mean? Ling Feng nodded and said, That's right, the rules of the middle ninja exam are no secret, I am now a lower ninja, there is no problem at all in participating in the middle ninja exam, as for the condition for passing, it is to snatch the heaven and earth scrolls, and the team that has a set of heaven and earth scrolls passes through the death forest to win. Then as long as I'm here, I can guarantee that everyone in my village can get the corresponding scrolls, not to mention the pass rate of 70, 80, or even 90. Bo Feng Shuman is shocked, Ling Feng is preparing to rob all the scrolls of the hostile villages by himself, crazy. Even if you snatch it, how can we ensure that our own scrolls are not snatched by others? You're just one person, right? Bo Feng Shuman questioned. Hehe, he, that's not what Teacher Watergate has to worry about, it's my task to improve the pass rate of this Zongnan exam, isn't it? Ling Feng smiled mysteriously. Regarding his plan, Ling Feng felt that he had revealed enough. I just want to fight them all, as for you asking me how to fight specifically, how do you say this? I can't say that I have an immortal body, I still have a yin seal, I can also use all kinds of B-level ninjutsu, and my strength has reached the elite upper ninja. Anyway, just complete the task, you care about me. So much? Being Ling Feng said this, Bo Feng Shuman also realized that he had said a little too much, he just came over to relay the order for the three generations, so he didn't ask any more, but said goodbye and left. Teacher Watergate, go slowly, I won't send it. Ling Feng watched Bo Feng Shui Gate leave, and he stood in the courtyard, pondering. From now on, there is still a month and a half to the middle ninja exam, although it is not short, but it is definitely not long. This is a training cycle with plenty of time for Ling Feng, who has a system wall, but for ordinary children in this world, they can only find another way. Since this important task has been entrusted to me, I must do it well. Ling Feng didn't know that the three generations had helped him to deal with the trouble of the two major families, so he unceremoniously let himself come forward to complete such a difficult task. But Ling Feng himself is also selfish. If the students he teaches can really pass the Zongnan exam, then they will show a certain amount of respect when they see him in the future. If it weren't for them, they might have to take the test more times to pass. So, Ling Feng began to think carefully about the training plan for this month and a half. After thinking about it, Ling Feng decided to start from three aspects. The first is physical training, which is the most basic training, the journey through the forest of death is not short, even if it is non-stop, it will take a day and a night, during which it is necessary to ensure that it is not discovered by the enemy because as long as there is a battle, it will lengthen the time to pass, so physical fitness is a very important point. Ling Feng could help them snatch the heaven and earth scrolls, or even protect them, but he couldn't rush for them. The second is to cultivate teamwork ability, each team is configured with three people, to improve their cooperative combat ability, in order to better deal with hostile forces, and they don't need to be strong, as long as they ensure that they don't lose the heaven and earth scroll will not be taken away. The third is reconnaissance ability and counter reconnaissance ability, which is a very key skill, these two skills are learned, you can hide your whereabouts to the greatest extent, as long as you try not to friction with the enemy, 
you can ensure that you can pass through the forest of death in the fastest time. I believe that if you do these three things, plus Ling Feng personally enters to help, as long as you are not an idiot and a stupid pig, you should be able to pass. As for some people who are really stupid and can't do anything, then there is no way. Anyway, as long as Ling Feng has a minimum pass rate of 70, he will be considered to have completed the task. After making preparations, Ling Feng rested early. The next day, Ling Feng got up and went straight to the ninja school, where there were already teachers waiting in the playground. Ling Feng, this is the list of people who will take the Zongnan exam this time, a total of 90 people, 30 groups. The teacher in charge of leading the team has already received the news, although it is hard to believe that it will be taken over by a child who is only 7 or 8 years old, but he still obeyed the order and completed the docking work with Ling Feng. Okay, got it, I'll take care of the rest. Ling Feng took the list and nodded slightly. The leading teacher had doubts in his heart, but this was an order given by the three generations himself, and he didn't dare to question too much so he turned around and left. Then Ling Feng stood on the command platform and looked condescendingly at the people standing in neat formation. As everyone knows, as soon as the leading teacher left, the crowd below immediately started to talk. Why did you change someone who was about the same age as us? It's strange to see him like that, as if he came to be our teacher. Teacher, it's ridiculous, what kind of teacher can you be at the same age as us? Ling Feng was about to speak, but found that the people below were all pointing at him, and his face couldn't help but sink. There are many people here who are the same age as themselves, but there are also many people who are not very talented, who are already in their teens, or even in their twenties, and are still in the middle of the year. Even if they barely reached the level of the middle ninja, because the opponent was very strong every time, they failed to advance smoothly, and they became ten thousand years of ninja. But in any case, because his own strength is not in place, he can only blame bad luck. Ling Feng looked down on this kind of person the most. And now that he has to be pointed at by such a person, Ling Feng is naturally very unhappy. Hey, 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 from now on, I'm your new leader. Everyone, be quiet for me. Ling. Feng shouted loudly at a loud voice. But few people paid attention. In the crowd, Kakashi and the others were among them, and they tried to stop the people around them by making a noise, but not many listened. Seeing that Ling Feng's face was getting more and more ugly, Kakashi and the others hurriedly warned him, if you continue to quarrel, the end will be miserable. What can he do to us? That's it, I think he is also a shinobi, why should he teach us? Yes. If you don't want us to pass, forget it, let's disperse, sending a child to teach us is a complete waste of time. I don't know who shouted this, but someone really responded. So quite a few people came out of the line and prepared to leave. Seeing this scene, Kakashi and the others all sighed helplessly, thinking that they would be finished in a while. Although Ling Fengnian is not big, his temper is not small, and he really wants to make a move and he will not be merciless. But those who haven't seen Ling Feng don't think it, they only know that Ling Feng is young and must be a rookie. In this way, some people who were dissatisfied with Ling Feng left one after another, and seeing that more than half of the 90 people had left, Ling Feng was still unmoved. But those who are familiar with Ling Feng know that this is the calm before the storm. Eventually, those who left and those who were willing to stay were divided into two distinct groups. Hey, that little imp on the stage. I don't know where you're from, now I want you to get out of here. That's right. I'm going to let a real teacher teach us. Or you can get out of the way with the group of imps next to you, don't affect us to take the shinobi exam. Listening to these people's protests, Kakashi and the others were all happy. They had seen Ling Feng show his strength with their own eyes. I really don't brag, could it be that there are people in this ninja school who are stronger than Ling Feng? It doesn't exist. Ling Feng was silent for a long time, and finally made a move. I saw Ling Feng slowly walk down the command platform, 
and then walked towards the ignorant crowd of protesters. As I said, from now on, I'm the teacher in charge of leading the team, and you seem to be dissatisfied with me. Ling Feng said coldly. The noisy crowd was silent for a moment, obviously frightened by Ling Feng's momentum. But the next second, it continued to be noisy and protested. Very good, then let you understand what it means to be a teacher who is really capable of guiding you. Ling. Feng took a sharp breath after speaking. Then there was a lightning fast seal in his hand. Wind escape, big tornado. A big tornado. Fell from the sky. In an instant, everyone was swept into the sky, and the trajectory of the tornado that followed it spun wildly, and bursts of heart-rending cries came, which was terrifying. Kakashi and the others who were watching not far away were all scared for a while, but fortunately these people who were not afraid of death left, otherwise wouldn't it be a burden on them? At the same time, they were also thinking in their hearts, the release range of Ling Feng's big tornado had been enhanced and it was at least twice as large as the big tornado they had seen before. There were more than fifty of them, and they were all swept up into the sky by a large tornado, and the power was repaid? Anyway, you have to spill your anger to be comfortable, right? Earth escape, earth tornado. Water escape, great water rushing waves. Boom! A wave of earth dragons with a total of more than ten meters rose into the sky, and then with the mixing of a large number of water currents, it directly turned into a mud dragon. With Ling Feng's current strength, unleashing the combined ninjutsu was as simple as eating and drinking, and he was very skilled, which was the result of his hard work on weekdays. Originally, this set of combined ninjutsu was used on the battlefield, and it was a weapon to destroy the opponent, but when it was used to teach these ignorant ninjas, the effect was also very good. Ding! Get 160 points. These stoic fears gave Ling Feng Bei a wave of points. Ling Feng suddenly felt that the chakra he spent was not a loss at all. Because the earth and water were mixed together, they fell from the sky and turned into a quagmire, and those Shin Ajas who fell from the sky were imprisoned in the mire one after another, unable to move. For a while, the cries and begging for mercy came one after another and there was no longer the previous arrogance and dissatisfaction. But Ling Feng still felt that it was not enough, his right hand was raised slightly, and he said in a low voice, Thousand birds, thunder. A huge electric current was released instantly, accompanied by the sound of a roaring explosion, these ninjas were like firecrackers thrown in the mud, one after another exploded into the sky, and fell heavily, directly turning into black coal. Not far away, the crowd of onlookers who followed Kakashi honestly and did not make trouble suddenly gasped and were shocked. Everyone is seven or eight years old, this gap is too terrifying. At this time, the leading teacher who had just returned to his office saw this scene through the window, and the whole person was directly stupid, and after a while, he only spit out one sentence, damn. Ding. Get two hundred points. Hearing the system's prompt, Ling Feng withdrew his hand with satisfaction. Then Ling Feng returned to the platform, this time no one was making any noise, and they all looked at Ling Feng with admiration and fear. I repeat, from now on, I will be your new leading teacher, responsible for giving you intensive training, who still has an opinion. After Ling Feng finished speaking, he looked around at everyone. Everyone stood upright for fear that they would make teacher Ling Feng unhappy if they were not careful. As for the unlucky ghosts who turned into black coal, they didn't care about the pain on their bodies, and they all returned to the team. I will customize a training plan for you for a month and a half, and I can tell you responsibly that the daily training will only get harder and harder, in order to ensure that you have the highest probability of passing the Zongnan exam. So, if any of you think you can't hold on, fuck me now. Otherwise, no matter which of you want to leave in the middle of the training, I will make you feel what is called purgatory on earth. Now on, give you a minute to think. After speaking, Ling Feng began to time. But no one left. Although many of them were afraid of hardship and tiredness, they were all willing to believe in Ling Feng. After all, no one wants to stay in the lower ninja for the rest of their lives, that is a shame as a ninja 
especially those who have not been promoted for more than 10 years, and becoming a middle ninja is almost a long cherished wish in this life. Because ninjas also depend on their age, and when they get older, their mobility will decline, and when the time comes, let alone the promotion of the middle ninja, it is estimated that it will be increasingly difficult to maintain the level of lower ninja. The countdown is over. Then I'll announce that the intensive training for the Zongnan exam will start from now on. There are still a total of 90 days, I will divide it into three stages, each for 30 days, and these three stages are. Ling Feng began to explain his plan, and everyone in the audience listened attentively, for fear of missing a word. It's not that they suddenly become good students, but they are worried that they will miss a word and cause them to do something wrong, and then they will become black charcoal. This seven or eight year old teacher can be said to be the youngest teacher since the establishment of the ninja school, but he is also the most ruthless. If you don't agree, you will be beaten up, without negotiation at all. At the same time, the Hokage's office. Bo Feng Shuman stood beside Sarutobi and listened to the teacher of the ninja school report on the situation in the playground. They were all stunned when they heard that Ling Feng had actually directly beaten up those students who were questioning. But he was soon relieved, and it was obvious that it was indeed Ling Feng's style of acting. Later, after hearing that Ling Feng explained the training arrangements in detail for the next 90 days on the spot, and carried out strong training in three aspects, so as to improve the passing rate of the Zongnan exam, the expressions of Bo Feng Shuman and Ape Fei Ri Slash suddenly became wonderful. All right, I see, you go down. Sarutobi beckoned, and the ninja school teacher turned to leave. Shuman, what do you think of Ling Feng's training plan? Asked Yuan Firi. Bo Feng Shuman walked in front of Ape Fei Ri Slash and said, Very good, this is a special training designed for the Zongnan exam. I think the requirements you put forward, Ling Feng can meet. Hehe, he, I also think that I originally increased the pass rate, and I thought it would make Ling Feng embarrassed, but I didn't expect that I still underestimated him, this Ling Feng can really surprise me every time. Bo Feng Shuman saw it in his eyes, although he was a little envious and jealous in his heart, but he also knew that this was Ling Feng's ability, and there was no way to do it. As the training officially began, the entire playground of the ninja school was contracted by Ling Feng. But no one dared to object, because Ling Feng was accomplishing a big business. There were 90 people in total, and everyone was looking forward to how many people could pass. 90 days have passed day by day under the intensive and hard training. Although it was very hard, it was also very rewarding. Ling Feng was also quite satisfied with the training results of these people, because it had fully met his expectations, so that the tasks assigned by the three generations could definitely be completed easily. The day before the middle ninja exam, the three generations went out in person and found Ling Feng. Three generations of adults. Ling Feng looked at the ape flying in front of him and said politely. Ling Feng, although I haven't come forward, I've been paying attention to your training at all times, and at the same time, I've also asked Shuman to go to other villages to investigate, and this time the rest of the participants have also increased a lot, are you sure? Although he knew that Ling Feng's training was very successful, Ape Fei Ri Slash was still a little uneasy. Ninety days is not a long time, but the strength of these people has long been different from what it used to be, I can guarantee that this time in the middle ninja exam, Kanaha village will definitely shine. Ling Feng said confidently. When Ape Fury heard this, he also smiled and said, OK. Then I'll wait for your good news. On. The second day, the Zongnan exam officially began. First of all, the written test, this Ling Feng can't help, because it all depends on the individual's performance, but Ling Feng knows that this is actually a test of the individual's psychological quality. Even if you make a mistake, you can pass but you can't give up or cheat to be discovered. After the written test, it is a personal battle between the villages. Because after the special training, everyone's physical fitness has been greatly improved, and Ling Feng is not worried. However, because there were also masters in other villages, and the random assignment could not be determined, the final number of people who passed was 81. 
After Ling Feng learned about this number, he still sighed a little helplessly, there was really no way for him to fight this kind of personal battle. But there are still 81 of them, so let's find a way to ensure that all 81 people pass smoothly. The next step is to officially enter the Forest of Death and start snatching the Heaven and Earth Scroll. After the examiner finished explaining the rules, the competition officially began. Because of Ling Feng's advice, after entering the Forest of Death, the members of Kanaha immediately gathered in one place, first to ensure that their scrolls were not snatched away, and at the same time to march towards the end together. As for Ling Feng, he acted alone and began to wreak havoc and loot against the enemies around him. The first thing I encountered was a few teams from Yunyan village, and their scalps were numb from being beaten by Ling Feng's water, and they almost choked to death by the water. After successfully getting the scroll, Ling Feng turned back and handed it to a few teams, allowing them to start quickly heading to the finish line before continuing to snatch them. Because of the large number of participants, no one noticed Ling Feng's behavior yet. It wasn't until the teacher in charge of the observation found that there were constantly teams other than Kanaha being wiped out, that he realized that there was actually a super powerful boss from Kanaha village mixed in with a group of lower ninjas. Soon, the teachers in charge of observation began to search, and finally found Ling Feng's figure. Isn't this Ling Feng the genius boy of the new generation of Kanaha? I really didn't expect this seven or eight year old kid to have such a strong combat power, and almost all the teams that met him had no power to fight back. What? Kanaha village still has such a terrifying shinobi. Not only the teachers who were in charge of observation, but also the examiners who participated in the competition noticed that something was wrong. Since entering the forest of death, I have basically encountered teams from other villages every once in a while, but I can't meet Kanaha teams. But they don't have God's perspective like the teachers in charge of observation, so they can't find the reason for a while. Because whenever they encountered Ling Feng's team, they would be wiped out directly. As for the encounter with the Kanaha team, it was a group fight, and naturally it didn't end well. But as time passed, those failed teams met their own people, and slowly unravel the secret. It turned out to be a ghost caused by Ling Feng, this Kanaha genius really has two hits. In this case, Ling Feng should be the only one of Kanaha who is acting alone, right? That's easy, let's gather a few teams that were defeated by Ling Feng and act together, I don't believe it, a dozen of us can't beat. Ling Feng alone. Soon, these lower ninjas who were defeated by Ling Feng gathered together and discussed launching a counter-attack against Ling Feng together. No one refused, because they were all unwilling to be wiped out by Ling Feng alone. What if you are a genius? Could it be that you can still beat a dozen of us at a time? So, a group of defeated generals gathered together and began to search for Ling Feng's traces. They also wanted to attack the other teams of Kanaha, but when they saw that Kanaha's teams were all acting together, they had to give up. Every ninja is a proud person, and the rules of the competition are three people, so they won't have several groups of people gathered together to grab the scroll, which is too embarrassing, and there is no way to highlight their strength. But Kanaha's team didn't think so, because Ling Feng's special training gave them an extremely strong sense of teamwork. Outside the field, the ninjas of the major villages were analyzing the situation, and they also noticed the way Kanaha village passed this time, and they also expressed disdain for it at first. But when I saw that the lone team in other villages was beaten up instantly when they encountered Kanaha's people, I realized that this seemingly very childish method was the most stable method. This side of Kanaha village is dominated by Sunan and Bo Feng Shuman. They were also paying attention to the situation in the field, and they were naturally very happy to see that the people of their village were constantly expanding their advantages. I didn't expect this Ling Feng to train people to be so powerful, it's really terrifying. Zilat also sighed. It seems that we shouldn't have provoked him before, this little ghost, it's really hard to see through, I feel that he still has a lot of means to hide and is useless. Orokimaru added on the side. That's right, this little ghost, I'm afraid the future is immeasurable. Tsunade nodded in agreement. Only Bo Fengshuman did not speak, 
because at this time there was only shock left in his heart. He knew that the situation in the ninja world was already very tense, and he was afraid that war would break out in the next few years. Countless people would be involved in the war, but Ling Feng seemed to have predicted it. When Bo Feng Shuman saw it with his own eyes, he realized that Ling Feng's training method was not cultivating an orderly army. Acting in unison and obeying orders, Ling Feng's every move was Ling Feng's final say. In the face of such a Kanaha army, coupled with the strong Ling Feng, the other villages are better than Mao. Just wait to lose. Just from this middle ninja exam, it is enough to make the other villages understand the horror of Kanaha. During the heated discussions among the upper ninjas in various villages, those defeated generals finally found Ling Feng. And Ling Feng had just settled a team and was about to leave. Ling Feng, don't think that you can easily leave if you snatch our scrolls. That's right. Now that we're all here, we must get all the things you took back. Don't. Think you can really beat a dozen of us. Humph, obediently hand over all the scrolls on your body, maybe we can let you go. Ling Feng grinned in the face of his defeated generals from several villages. It's just a group of people, and they dare to come back for revenge, I want to see what you rabble can do together. I had beaten you up, wouldn't it be nice to stay honest? I have to run back again to do something, isn't this a waste of points? Ling Feng destroyed a team by himself, they didn't realize the seriousness of the problem, and thought that Ling Feng was just a little more powerful than them, so they ran back with a group of people. Humph, the more beautiful you think the harder you fall, and the more natural points you will give. Ling Feng sneered twice, and took the initiative to greet him, I want to play, master, to play with you. The team that encountered Ling Feng before was basically killed by Ling Feng in an instant, and they didn't know what Ling Feng's true strength was. And now, after seeing that Ling Feng was a B-level earth escape, he suddenly woke up. If Ling Feng didn't have enough strength, how could he kill them in an instant? But at this time, it was too late to wake up. Water escape, water breaks. Boom. The powerful water flow was like a sharp blade, directly cutting the ground into countless pieces. Everyone struggled to stand and staggered to the ground. In the next second, Ling Feng used the reflection fish in the soil to shuttle back and forth, and when he came to everyone, it was directly a heavy punch. The punching bag-sized fist smashed into everyone's face, leaving a lifelong shadow. After all, it was a ninja exam, not a battlefield, and Ling Feng couldn't kill him at will, otherwise he would cause trouble for Kanaha. So Ling Feng had no choice but to use this method to make them remember the direct power. Ding! Get 120 points. Got the points, and Ling Feng left happily and the rest of the teams that hadn't been robbed by Ling Feng finally realized that it had been Ling Feng who had been looking for the lone team to snatch the scroll. So they had to abandon their arrogance and were forced to gather together to form a temporary team. In order to deal with Kanaha's team, and at the same time, it also prevents Ling Feng from being caught by Ling Feng alone. But Ling Feng smiled happily when he met this lower ninja army composed of hundreds of people. Ha ha ha! That's right, they're all gathered together, and they don't bother to let me look for it. Destroy you all together, and Kanaha's team can safely march towards the finish line. The target pass rate is 90%, and it has been achieved ahead of schedule. Ling. Feng laughed and came to the front of everyone, unabashed, extremely arrogant. Listening to Ling Feng's words, the enemy's face suddenly turned green with anger. Ling Feng. Don't be too arrogant. We are not those rookies you deal with. That's right, no matter how powerful you are, after all, you're just a little bit of a ninja, are we really easy to bully? Humph, hundreds of us are united, and you alone want to defeat us. Each village will have some talent type masters, and these people are also the focus of the village's cultivation, so they think that no matter how powerful Ling Feng is, so many of their talent type masters are gathered together, and they can easily defeat Ling Feng no matter what. Facing everyone's shouting, Ling Feng smiled and sealed directly. Then you guys will try it. Yin seal, open. 
Multiple Shadow Clone Technique Bang 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 Countless white smoke rose up, and I saw that the dense woods were all Ling Feng's figure. How many of these multiple shadow clones are divided into, no one can count. At a cursory glance, I'm afraid the number of people has already exceeded 100. I'll go. What a powerful amount of chakra, and a shadow clone can do it to this extent. This. Is it too late for us to run now? Run a fart. The principle of the shadow clone technique is to separate the power of the body to form a clone. And the more he divides, the weaker he is. That's right, if he dares to divide so much, he is looking for death. Everyone, let's go together. Looking at everyone's high-fighting spirit, Ling Feng smiled more and more happily. Just kidding, Master, I have saved up a full 90 days of chakra, how can you mortals be able to guess it? Even if it is divided into more than a hundred clones, in fact, Ling Feng's average strength is still on par with the main body. You must know that with the addition of the immortal body and the assistance of the Yin Seal, the amount of chakra of each clone is quite abundant, and it is not a problem for a single clone to release four or five B-grade ninjutsu in one go. However, the enemy did not notice it in the slightest, and still rushed towards Ling Feng. Soon, everyone was entangled together, and for a while, hundreds of ninjutsu were released together, and the sound was earth-shattering. Boom! Huge explosions continued to sound, and from a distance, countless trees were blown off, and earth rose to the sky. All kinds of wind, earth, fire and water are released wave after wave. It really looked like there was a big war. In the face of such a chaotic scene, the teachers who were in charge of observation did not know what to do. Soon, all the shinobi gathered together to discuss countermeasures. There was chaos at the scene, and I couldn't see what was going on or if the candidates who were taking the exam were in crisis. A shinobi who had rushed back from the scene gasped. I've also been observing the scene, and before the fight started, I noticed that a dozen or so squads other than Kanaha spontaneously organized together, and it seemed that they were going to deal with Kanaha's team, but they met Ling Feng, and before a few hits, a fight broke out. No, isn't it? Why do I see the difference? Obviously, there are more than 100 people on both sides. That's Ling Feng's shadow clone. As soon as the words fell, everyone exclaimed. How is it possible, a shadow clone of a little ghost can do it to this extent? Isn't it, Kanaha's legion is still not far away, and it hasn't joined the battlefield at all. So it could only be that Ling Feng's shadow clone and those ninja squads were fighting. In the end, everyone had to admit that such a big movement was indeed caused by Ling Feng alone. Because soon someone marked all the scattered locations of these people, and found that those who could easily find the location were removed, and the rest of the people were all concentrated in the area of the melee. For a while, all the upper ninja was numb in the scalp. Because the situation in the combat zone seems to be getting more and more serious. Smoke was billowing and it was impossible to see anything inside. Suddenly, someone exclaimed. Look! Someone has been thrown out. The group looked up, and sure enough, a squad had been defeated and thrown out of the combat area. It's still moving. It seems that the other party is measured and not ruthless. This made everyone breathe a sigh of relief. As long as there are no fatalities, then there is no big problem. But this Ling Feng is too terrifying, can he defeat so many shinobi just by relying on his clone? As he spoke, a few more people were thrown out, all of them were wiped out as a whole like the first squad, and they were all beaten unconscious, but their lives were not in danger. While defeating them, it can also ensure that there is no danger to life, this kind of control of strength has probably reached a very terrible point. Someone soon noticed that something was missing from these people who were thrown out. It's a scroll. Before these people were thrown out, the scroll was taken away by Ling Feng. What? What is the origin of this Ling Feng? Is he really a ninja? As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked. Finally, as people continued to be thrown out, 
the battle was coming to an end. The billowing white smoke slowly dissipated, revealing the aftermath of the battle. Sure enough, it was Ling Feng's clone standing in place, and the ninja squads who were fighting against Ling Feng were already lying on the ground one by one, unconscious. Bang bang bang! The shadow clones are gone. And in front of Ling Feng, there was a pile of scrolls piled up like a hill. Hiss! When the upper ninjas saw this picture, they gasped one by one. At the same time, the Kanaha Legion also arrived at the scene. Ling Feng Jun, did this. Mate Kai's eyes popped out in surprise when he saw this picture. That's right, I've already snatched all their scrolls, so take them and hurry to the finish line before they wake up. Ling Feng nodded slightly. Everyone didn't dare to slack off, and hurriedly took the corresponding scroll to the end of the death forest. Ling Feng, on the other hand, sat cross-legged on the spot to recover. Although there was a Yin seal, the continuous use of ninjutsu still made Ling Feng feel a little tired. While resting, keep an eye on these people so that they don't catch up. Ding! Get 680 points! Ling! Feng listened to the sound of the system, his heart was overjoyed, it seemed that this plan was quite successful. After resting, Ling Feng also took the scroll and went to the finish line. Because Ling Feng was also one of the people who took the exam this time. The final result came out, and all the 81 people in Kanaha village who entered the forest of death passed. Plus Ling Feng, a total of 82 people, passed 90%. Knowing this result, all the people in Kanaha village cheered loudly, and correspondingly, the rest of the villages did not have a single clearance, because the extra scrolls were also on Ling Feng's body. So the pass rate of other villages is zero. There is no doubt that this will inevitably be the pinnacle of Kanaha village. With the end of the middle ninja exam, the various villages returned with regrets, and only Kanaha village was in a state of extreme excitement. With a pass rate of 90%, it has refreshed the history of the village. And the rest of the village is unprecedented. Back in the village, the three generations personally greeted them at the door. The villagers of Kanaha stood on both sides and welcomed them. Long live! Ling Feng! Ling Feng really gave our village a long face. Ha ha ha! Now Kanaha is the strongest village. They! Three generations looked at Ling Feng who was approaching, and they couldn't hide the excitement on their faces. Ling Feng, I really didn't expect you to be able to do this, it's so surprising to me. Ling Feng smiled faintly and said, being able to do this this time is inseparable from everyone's efforts. In the face of Ling Feng's modesty, the three generations smiled even more happily. I know what happened in the exam room. Don't be so modest, if you hadn't defeated those ninja squads alone, you wouldn't have been able to get so many scrolls of heaven and earth. In order to catch the wind and wash the dust for you, this time I will personally pay out of my pocket and put on a big banquet for you. As the voices of the three generations fell, everyone cheered. This is a treatment that has never been treated before. And Ling Feng became the focus. Surrounded by everyone, Ling Feng walked through the streets, receiving the cheers and cheers of everyone. Ding! Get 800 points! Ding! Ding! Get 1,200 points. Ding! Get 2,000 points. Because he was worshipped by everyone, Ling Feng directly earned a huge amount of points. But just when Kanaha village held a feast because it had set a new historical record, the rest of the villages had a solemn atmosphere. Every village is discussing something that everyone knows. Regarding Ling Feng wearing everything this time and leading Kanaha to the final victory, they realized that Ling Feng was far from being the simple character they imagined. And this matter, after a few days of celebration in Kanaha, was finally sent to the Hokage's office by the secret agent. Look at the dense scroll in front of you. Ape Fei Ari's slightly old face is even older. Watergate, I'm afraid this matter is a little troublesome. Even the old fox of Ape Fei Ri didn't expect things to suddenly become so dangerous. 
I didn't expect them to feel so jealous because of Ling Feng's performance, I'm afraid that if they seize the opportunity, the ninja world will be in chaos. Bo Feng Shuman voiced his concerns. There's no way, it's come to this, we can only prepare in advance, the situation in the ninja world is already very unstable, and with this matter, war will definitely break out. Watergate, you go and inform Ling Feng and let us be prepared, if the war starts, we can only face it. And after Ling Feng returned, except for showing up on the day of the celebration, he has been training in his own training ground, carrying out crazy training day and night. When Bo Feng Shuman found Ling Feng, the other party was already sweating profusely and had just completed a round of special training. Ling Feng, I'm curious why you work so hard every time I see you. Bo Feng Shuman said that he had a question for a long time. Ling Feng took a sip of water and said lightly, because I'm not strong enough. Isn't that enough, I'm afraid you're already at the top level of the ninja world, right? Said Bo Feng Shuman without exaggeration. However, Ling Feng sneered twice and said, first class? There are too many world class people, if it's just first class, I can't guarantee that I can survive the war 100%. If you want to do it. Just be the one who stands at the top. Only in this way can I be truly invincible. Listening to Ling Feng's words, Bo Feng Shuman's heart was shocked. Ling Feng, it turns out that you already know that war is coming. Putting down the kettle, Ling Feng sneered, isn't it true that the previous events have not been revealed? The arrival of war is inevitable, I have been aware of it for a long time, but I don't know the specific time. When I led the village to win the middle ninja exam, I also saw the hostility in the eyes of the upper ninja of other villages, no accident, the war will definitely break out in two years, you go back and bring a message to the three generations of adults, let him get ready, what I said will not be wrong. Bo. Feng Shuman was shocked, originally the three generations wanted to let themselves talk, but they didn't want Ling Feng to expect it. Understood, I'll go back. Bo. Feng Shuman dared to stay where he hurried back and told the three generations. When Bo Feng Shuman left, Ling Feng couldn't help but smile coldly. 2. Years later, the three generations of Kaze Cage will disappear, which will be the trigger for the Third Shinobi War. Then the Fire Nation will be drawn into the war. It's just because of Ling Feng's appearance that the entire ninja world has set its sights on Kanaha Village, so when the war breaks out, maybe Kanaha village will become the target of attack. If that were the case, Ling Feng would have to become even stronger than he was now. If Kanaha village hadn't become a thorn in everyone's eyes, Ling Feng could still develop slowly, but at the moment, he couldn't slowly become stronger, and once it broke out, he might face many powerful enemies. Before the crisis arises, Ling Feng must ensure that he has more whole cards. So far, Ling Feng has earned 5,300 points, which is enough to upgrade another blood inheritance realm, or upgrade the immortal body. After thinking about it for a while, Ling Feng planned to upgrade the writing wheel eye to the intermediate level, so that the power of the illusion would also be greatly increased. After consuming 5,000 points and successfully redeeming them, Ling Feng did not stay and immediately continued training. Improve your strength then collect as many points as you can when the war comes, and then complete the upgrade of the White Eye and the Immortal Body. At that time, Ling Feng would be able to ensure his safety in the face of anything other than shadow-level opponents. And after hearing the report of Bo Feng Shuman, the three generations of Ape Fei Ri Slash also immediately started the formation and training of the Ninja Force. It seems that Ling Feng's prediction all along has been realized and Ape Fei Sun Slash has no reason to doubt it at all. In this way, all the outings in Kanaha village have been reduced, trying not to have too much contact with other villages, and at the same time devoting all their efforts to cultivating ninja troops, and at the same time constantly carrying out internal purges to ensure that no spies will be mixed in. Two years were spent in a tense atmosphere. Although the war has not yet begun, Kanaha has completely entered a state of temporary preparation, and is ready to start war at any time. And the spies who obtained information outside also kept returning with information, and after each sorting, the content pointed to one point. 
the situation in the ninja world is becoming more and more tense, and small frictions between neighboring countries are also escalating. The Third Ninja World War, on the verge of breaking out. Early in the morning, Ling Feng got up as usual and prepared to cultivate. Suddenly, a loud bang erupted from the direction of Hokage Rock. The teleportation technique was activated, and Ling Feng came to the roof and looked over. I saw billowing smoke rising, and many Kanaha ninjas were hurrying there. At this time, Bo Feng Shuman appeared beside Ling Feng with a solemn face. Someone attacked. Ling Feng asked. Yes, it's the puppeteer of the Sand Hidden Village, and there is news from the outside that the third generation of the Wind Shadow has suddenly disappeared. I didn't find any news for a whole month, and then the Sand Hidden Village directly pointed the finger at us saying that we designed a plan to kill the third generation of the Wind Shadow in an attempt to trigger a ninja war. But we have always been on the defensive, we have never crossed the border, and the death of the three generations of Kaze Cage has nothing to do with us, but the other party is so determined, the two sides do not have enough evidence to prove it, so they can only stalemate. But I didn't expect that Union Village, which had always advocated military expansion, suddenly attacked its neighbors and launched a fierce raid on its neighbors, so far, the ninja war finally broke out. Bo Feng Shuman did not hesitate and told Ling Feng about the current situation. According to the instructions of the three generations, Ling Feng has the absolute priority to know all the news of the great ninja war. This means that Ling Feng will become an important figure in this war for the Fire Nation. Listening to Bo Feng Shuman's narration, Ling Feng's face was indifferent, as if he had already guessed. But in fact, Ling Feng knew best about the disappearance of the three generations of Wind Shadow. The geographical location of Shayan village is extremely complicated, it is difficult for ordinary people to enter at all, there are countless quicksand dark holes, and a large number of poisons are hidden in the yellow sand, in this environment, outsiders will hardly consider going to Shayan village. Similarly, if it's to trigger a ninja war, it's better to go directly to Union Village, so the disappearance of the three generations of Kaze Cage is problematic in itself. Ling Feng said lightly. When Bo Feng Shuman heard this, he couldn't help but raise his eyebrows slightly, then what do you mean? The death of the three generations of Feng Ying may have been done by their own people, but things have developed to this point, and they can't be contained. Ling Feng said, sighing. This. Bo Feng Shuman didn't know the truth, listening to Ling Feng's words, he was surprised in his heart. But Ling Feng didn't want to say anything more to Bo Feng Shuman, this kind of secret, only Ling Feng knew in his heart, since the war had broken out, then he should seriously deal with the war next. Don't think about it, since the war has begun, we should be prepared to deal with it, as for the truth about the disappearance of the three generations there will naturally be a day when the truth will be revealed. Go back and tell the three generations of adults, I, Ling Feng, am ready to go to the battlefield at any time. After speaking, Ling Feng's instantaneous body technique disappeared. By the time Bo Feng Shui Gate reacted, Ling Feng had already gone in the direction of Hokage Rock. The war had begun, and of course Ling Feng would not miss the slightest great opportunity to gain points. When he arrived at the scene, Ling Feng found that the strength of this batch of intruders was average, although there were puppeteers, they were all some mid-level ninjas. In Shayan village, the status of a puppeteer is very high, because it takes a lot of resources and energy to train a puppeteer, and at the same time, you must have a certain talent to be a puppeteer, otherwise no matter how much manpower and material resources are spent, you can't pile one up. It is conceivable that Shayan village was premeditated for this attack, and it also hopes to gain something. It's a pity that the strength of these puppeteers is really not good. Even if Ling Feng doesn't come, the security team of Kanaha village can solve it, but it will have to pay some price. Wind escape, great storm. Ling Feng descended from the sky, and directly swept away the chakra lines of these puppets in an instant. Without the protection of the puppets, these puppet divisions themselves were very vulnerable, and they were immediately taken down by the security team of Kanaha village. Lord Ling Feng Seeing Ling Feng coming, 
the members of the security team were all a little excited. Because of Ling Feng's wonderful performance before, Ling Feng's reputation in Kanaha village has risen, and he has become a star and the idol of many children. So whenever they see Ling Feng, everyone will show the respect they deserve. After all, this is the one who created the history of Kanaha with his own strength. And those puppeteers all showed a look of despair when they saw Ling Feng appear. Damn, the information is wrong, why is Ling Feng still in the village? That's over, we can't escape. Alas, accept your fate. The puppeteers sighed, and then honestly accepted the binding of the security team. If Ling Feng hadn't come, with the abilities of these puppeteers, it would have greatly damaged the vitality of the security team. After all, puppets belong to mechanism weapons, even if they die with others, they are earned, and if the mechanism is gone, it can be recreated, and if the person is gone, then it is really gone. Ding! Get 180 points. It's not a lot of points, but it's better than nothing. Anyway, Ling Feng didn't do anything, he just let go of a wind escape. Lord Ling Feng, what should we do with these people? Asked. The security team leader. Ling Feng looked at it and said lightly, hold them separately, interrogate them individually, and then sort out the information and hand it over to the three generations of adults. Yes, Lord Ling Feng. They. Security team immediately set about it. Ling Feng stood on the Hokage Rock, looking at the staggered scenery of Kanaha village below. And the Hokage heads of the past generations on the Hokage Rock. In the original book, the Third Ninja World War happened to be the famous Battle of Bo Feng Shuman, which laid a good foundation for him to later become the fourth Hokage. But this time, with Ling Feng here, Bo Feng Shuman could only continue to be obscure. Back at his training ground, Ling Feng did not start training, but walked slowly between the huge fields, as if he was taking a leisurely walk. All along, Ling Feng had put all his mind on training, and now he found that the scenery of this training ground was also very good. Ling Feng Jun A crisp voice came from behind him. Ling Feng turned around, and it was Yuan Yelin's innocent and lovely face. Lin, you've brought me food again. Ling Feng smiled. Yuan Yelin trotted all the way and handed the lunch to Ling Feng. I know you come to the training ground every day, so I'll make a bento whenever I have time, and I thought you'd have left the village. Yuan Yellen said, her tone full of worry. Ling Feng was also polite, and took the lunch box and ate it, although I haven't left yet, I should be leaving recently. Really? The war has begun, we will all have this day, right? Sunset Red has already set off with her team, and I haven't received orders yet. Yuan Yellen said with a sigh. When war comes, no ninja can stay out of it. Yuan Yellen knew this clearly, but she still couldn't help but come to see Ling Feng, always worried that Ling Feng would leave. Ling Feng put down the bento and touched Yuan Yellen's head with a smile. Lin, everyone is working hard for the reputation and safety of the village, and of course I can't continue to live a peaceful life in the village. Starting tomorrow, you don't want to come. Train more combat cooperation with your team, and improve your strength, so as to ensure that you can improve your survival rate in war. As for me, don't worry too much. In this world, it is impossible for someone to kill me. It's not that Ling Feng is arrogant, it's that Ling Feng knows the attributes and skills of every big guy in this world, even if he can't beat him, as long as Ling Feng wants to escape, no one can stop him. Listening to Ling Feng's words, Yuan Yelin's eyes suddenly turned red, Ling Feng Jun, can't I even come to see you before you leave? Seeing this, Ling Feng sighed helplessly, put his arm around Yuan Yelin's shoulder, and patted him gently. What are you crying about, I'm alive and well, I mean, you should have your mind on the war, not on me. It's you, but you must protect yourself, don't have any accidents, or I'll be worried. Ling Feng's gentle voice came into Yuan Yelin's ears, making Yuan Yelin's heart warm. M, Ling Feng Jun, don't worry, I will definitely protect myself. After calming Yuan Yelin's emotions, Ling Feng sent her to the gate of the training ground. 
but he saw that Uchiha Obito and Kakashi Hakiki were both standing at the door, and the two of them should have come to pick up Harano Rin. When Uchiha Obito saw Ling Feng come out with Harano Rin, whose eyes were still a little red, his jealousy suddenly made Obito clench his fists, although he tried his best to restrain himself from gritting his teeth, but his every move showed that his emotions were very irritable. It can be seen how deep Obito's love for Lin is. It's a pity that the current Yuan Yellen has only Ling Feng in his heart. For this rookie opponent who has not yet opened his eyes, Ling Feng has never looked at it at all, in terms of strength, Ling Feng is enough to crush a hundred Uchiha Obito, and the gap between the two sides is very different, it is not a level at all. Is something wrong? Yuan Yellen saw his two teammates, quickly wiped his eyes, adjusted his emotions, and stepped forward to ask. Kakashi glanced at Ling Feng, then looked at Yuan Yellen and said, There is a mission order from above, let's go to the battlefield with Shuman Sensei. When Ling Feng heard this, his expression was slightly condensed. In this ninja war, there will be many episodes related to the course of different characters and affect their lives. For example, Kakashi's team will go to the battlefield with the wave of wind and water, and after a certain crisis has opened his eyes, Madara Uchiha takes the opportunity to contact Obito and start his rebirth plan, as well as the Eye of the Moon project. What? Are you leaving so soon? Harano. Rin was taken aback when she heard Kakashi's words, and then subconsciously turned her head to look at Ling Feng. Although Ling Feng had already been appeased, Yuan Yellen was still a little reluctant to leave. Well, now we're going to go back and straighten out, and we're going to leave in two hours. Kakashi nodded. Okay, I see. Harano Rin knew that she couldn't refuse, so she walked over to Kakashi, ready to leave with them. At this time, Ling Feng opened his mouth and said, If you can, I hope you can follow Teacher Shuman as much as possible. Hearing this, the three of them all froze. Looking back at Ling Feng, Kakashi and Harano Rin both had puzzled expressions on their faces. Why? Kakashi couldn't understand. What if it's a mission? I'm afraid we can't stay with Mr. Watergate all the time. Yuan Yellen shook her head and said, she believed Ling Feng's words more, but reality definitely didn't allow it. Humph, we're going to the battlefield, and let us stay with Teacher Watergate, Ling Feng, you really know how to laugh, are you teaching us to learn to be cowardly and steal our lives? Faced with the different reactions of the three of them, Ling Feng was silent. Because he knows that as long as Bo Feng Shuman leaves them, the plot will come as promised. But with the presence of the Wave Feng Shui Gate, it is impossible to give Uchiha Madara a chance to take Obito away. But Uchiha Obito thought that Ling Feng's silence was because he had said the key point, so he didn't dare to speak, so the more he spoke, the more energetic he became, and all the ugly words popped out of his mouth. Even Kakashi, the melon-eating crowd, couldn't stand it anymore, and hurriedly spoke out to stop it. Not to mention Yuan Yelin, her whole expression became ugly. Obito. Can you please stop talking like that? Ling Feng must have reminded us of this for a reason. Uchiha Obito disagreed, what reason can he have? It is that he feels that the war is cruel, and if he wants to live, he can only survive secretly, you see that many people in the village have already gone to the battlefield, but what about this Kanaha genius? Ling Feng also shook his head helplessly. Originally he wanted to save his life and let him avoid being taken away by Madara Uchiha, but with his attitude, he didn't bother to care about his life and death. Anyway, just pay attention to yourself and make sure that Lin doesn't die. As for taking the soil, let him go. Lin, I don't need to tell him so much, I should also set off in the next two days, go to the front line, and go to support Tsunade who is fighting the border of Shayan village and then I won't see him for a while, anyway, take care of yourself. With that, Ling Feng walked up to Kakashi and handed him five vials of chakra elixir. Kakashi, this is a good thing that I got by accident, it can replenish chakra instantly, and it can recover some simple injuries, you can save it and use it in a pinch, but I have one condition, and that is that you must protect Korin. Ling Feng said with a serious face. 
Hearing this, Kakashi also nodded solemnly, I know, if you give me such a precious thing, I will definitely complete the task you assigned. A person who is almost ten years old, Kakashi is not a fool, he can see that Yuan Yelin has special feelings for Ling Feng, and Ling Feng did not refuse, so he wants to let himself help take care of Yuan Yelin. After explaining this, Ling Feng left with peace of mind. Although Kakashi is much worse than himself, his strength is beyond doubt, and I believe that with him, Haran o Lin will be relatively safer, and with the Chakra Elixir, their survival rate will also be greatly improved. The next day, not surprisingly, the notice of the third generation came. Ling Feng had already made full preparations and came directly to the Hokage's office. When entering the Hokage building, Ling Feng obviously noticed that the number of permanent personnel had been reduced a lot, and all the people who came and went were wearing combat uniforms, and a part of the battle ninjas had been added, which should have changed the rules due to a sneak attack in Sand Hidden Village last time. To avoid another sudden attack from other villages, resulting in no one responding, the standing combat suit is also to facilitate the rapid entry into the combat state. Seeing Ling Feng coming, the ninjas who came and went all saluted Ling Feng. The current Ling Feng already has a certain prestige in Kanaha village, as long as he creates another glory in this ninja war, his reputation will inevitably be qualitatively improved. And Ling Feng also nodded slightly in response. After entering the Hokage's office, Ling Feng saw the third generation standing by the window with a sad expression on his face. Bo Feng Shuman had already left the village with Kakashi's team and only Sarutobi was left in the office. Three generations of adults. Ling Feng said softly. Sarafiri took a sharp puff of cigarette, then turned around and said, I called you here, I have to do it, you are the most potential genius boy in Kanaha in recent years, my original intention is to ensure that you stay in the village, and when you grow to a certain strength, you will participate in the war. It's just that the current situation is not optimistic. Our Kanaha village is besieged by many countries, and there are crises everywhere, so I have no choice but to send you out. When Ling Feng heard this, he said indifferently, Three generations of adults, I have long been ready to appear, but now that the war is raging outside, I have nothing to do here, and this is not my style of doing things. Okay, since you said so, then I'll give you a chance to behave, at the border of Sand Hidden Village, we Kanaha have set up a defense but the fire of Sand Hidden Village is fierce, even if I send Tsunade there, it will be difficult to resist. And according to the news, Shayan Village also sent a team of up to 30 puppet division reinforcements, which are expected to arrive within five days, and your task is to dispose of that puppet division reinforcements, and then go to support Tsunade and hold the battle line. Hearing this, Ling Feng smiled faintly, this was the task he had already anticipated. Got it. Promise to complete the mission, give me the specific information, and I'll leave now. Abe. Fayri said, slow, in order to ensure your safety, I organized a personal escort team for you, the number is not large, only ten, but they are all elite ninjas. However, Ling Feng walked to the door of the office without looking back, waved his hand and said, no need, these people you give me will only be a drag on me in the process of action. Watching Ling Feng leave, Abe Fayri was a little dazed. The team composed of ten elite Shang ninja, whoever it is, will accept it without hesitation, you are a good little ghost, and you are still so disgusted, when? He reacted, Abe Fayri sighed a little helplessly, hoping that this operation, Ling Feng could complete it alone. The main reason is that Kanaha really lacks manpower, otherwise Abe Fayri is really reluctant to put Ling Feng the potential king, on the battlefield. After getting the information, Ling Feng left the village directly, without taking anyone with him or saying goodbye to anyone. In terms of intelligence, it was written that there were several routes that the support of Shayan village might take, and Ling Feng determined one of them after a little analysis. Because Tsunade's location is located on the edge of the national border, the Sand Hidden Village will definitely find an opportunity to go around the back and wrap the front and back, so as to annihilate Tsunade and his gang in one fell swoop. Once you've decided on the route, it's much easier. Tearing up the information that had already been read, 
and then burning it with a fire, Ling Feng began to speed up. The enemy will arrive at the target location in five days, then four days will pass through that route. Ling Feng had to arrive early within three days, otherwise it would be difficult to ambush. Fortunately, Ling Feng's travel speed was extremely fast, and because of the recovery of the immortal body, he didn't worry about the chakra being enough at all. Three days later, Ling Feng came to the only way to support the sand hidden village and began to wait. Ling Feng knew that puppeteers were very obscene, because they could replace the battle with puppets, and the puppeteers themselves would be outside the combat range, so in order to prevent these puppeteers from escaping, Ling Feng planned to set up an ambush trap in advance. Ordinary traps can only catch people but Ling Feng's goal is to kill them all. Only the dead will not pose any threat. As for points, let it be. Anyway, the war will last at least three or four years, and if you are unlucky, it may be extended. Although in Ling Feng's memory, the Third Ninja World War was about three or four years away, but with his own participation, the plot would have some impact. Depending on the environment, Ling Feng set up detonation charms on the surrounding tree trunks. This detonation charm is not a simple detonation charm, it was exchanged by Ling Feng with points. It can be much more powerful than a normal detonator. The puppet divisions that can be sent to the battlefield must be extraordinary, far stronger than those puppet divisions who attacked Kanaha village before, after all, they are facing an elite ninja army of Kanaha and are led by Tsunade, one of the three ninjas. After arranging all the detonation charms, Ling Feng was relieved to hide himself in a tall tree, waiting for the arrival of the enemy. Half a day later, the enemy arrived as promised. This was exactly the same as Ling Feng's prediction, in order to be able to wipe out the entire army of Kanaha ninjas, they chose the farthest, but safest, path. Once their support is in place, these puppet divisions will destroy the rear supply of the Kanaha ninja army as soon as possible so that if they continue to fight without medical equipment and food, the border front will be lost. It was the middle of the night. The enemy is also planned, and at night, when people are most sleepy, rushing to do it at such a time will have a surprising effect. But as everyone knows, Ling Feng had already predicted all this in advance. Looking at the more than 30 people flying towards their trap, Ling Feng found the right time, activated the instantaneous technique, and stopped directly in front of them. Because Ling Feng had set up detonation charms at several locations that were easy for puppeteers to use as hidden locations according to the geographical environment, Ling Feng had to take the initiative to show up and force them into the trap. The moment Ling Feng appeared, the puppeteers who were always vigilant reacted immediately, and all of them quickly dispersed, finding a suitable place to hide nearby, and then released their puppets without hesitation, ready to fight. Ling Feng looked at this picture, the corners of his mouth curled slightly. Everything is under control. Who's coming? It seems to be a ninja from Kanaha. Hmm, why is it? A little ghost. Through the faint moonlight, the puppeteer hiding in the dark looked carefully, only to find that there was only one person blocking the way, and looking at the figure, it was just a little ghost in his teens. But on the forehead of the little ghost, with the forehead guard of the Kanaha ninja, you must know that this also belongs to the territory of the Fire Country, so it is not surprising that the ninja of Kanaha appears. It's ridiculous, isn't there anyone in Kanaha village anymore? They. Puppeteers burst out laughing when they learned that the road blocker was just a little ghost. Obviously, they looked down on Ling Feng. Ling Feng was not angry, and walked up slowly. After stepping out of the shadow of the tree, under the illumination of the moonlight, the puppeteers finally saw Ling Feng's face clearly. This is... I remember. His name is Ling Feng. What? Is it the genius boy who was defeated in the middle ninja exam two years ago, Ling Feng? Soon, there was a sand-hidden Murakami Shinobu who participated in the middle ninja exam recalled Ling Feng's face and couldn't help but exclaim. When the rest of the puppeteers heard this, their faces were solemn, and they didn't dare to continue to behave rampantly. Two years ago, he single-handedly fought against hundreds of lower ninjas, 
and the ghost knows how far this genius boy has grown in the past two years. But an idea came to the minds of this group of puppeteers. No matter how talented he is, after all, he is only one person, there are thirty of us, and we can't kill a little ghost. That's right, there are so many of us, killing him can be regarded as making a lot of money. I think it's okay, even if it will delay the plan of encirclement and suppression, but killing Ling Feng is not a loss for us. The fact that a full thirty puppeteers would actually find it difficult for Ling Feng to kill also shows that Ling Feng's performance on the day of the Zongnan exam was good enough. But Ling Feng listened to the puppeteer's conversation, and the smile on his face was even bigger. I said you, you're talking too much, aren't you? The puppeteers were stunned, not knowing what Ling Feng meant. Just the thirty of you want to kill me. Could it be that all the puppeteers in Shayan village have swelled to this point? Ling Feng said, slowly raising his head, a light flashing in his eyes, which was a manifestation of the white eyes and the riding wheel eyes activating at the same time. At Ling Feng's eyes, the puppeteers all sank in their hearts, what a deep and terrifying eye this was. Not. Good. Ling Feng's eyes. Seem to be able to hallucinate people. Soon. All the puppeteers forcibly released Chakra and brought themselves back to reality. Seeing this scene, Ling Feng smiled more and more happily, Very good, I see that you still have some skills, so it's fun. Ding! Get 300 points. Just one illusion of riding wheel eye has already earned Ling Feng 300 points. And it seems that there are still some to earn. The reason why Ling Feng was able to shock them so much was because he had the writing wheel eye, otherwise these puppet masters would immediately react when they saw the writing wheel eye for the first time, then of course the effect of the illusion would be greatly reduced. Damn. We won't be tricked by you little ghost. Everyone, let's go together. That's right, this little ghost is a bit weird, we can't afford to make it big. Everyone, kill this little ghost. With. The leader's order, the puppeteers urged the puppet in their hands together and killed Ling Feng. Looking at the imposing puppeteers, Ling Feng suddenly had an idea. Don't be in a hurry to kill them all, let's have a good show first. Countless poisonous needles burst out of the puppet, a trick used by puppeteers. Because as long as it is a human being, it is afraid of this kind of secret weapon. But Ling Feng didn't panic. In the case of opening the white eye, you can directly return to the sky with a gossip return, and you can block all these poisonous needles at 360 degrees without dead ends. For a moment, the sound of clanging sounded. The rapid poisonous needles were all bounced away by Huishan and shot in the opposite direction towards the puppets. Although the puppets are specially designed and have a strong defense ability beyond the human body, so many poisonous needles are naturally pervasive. Soon, some of the flawed golems became stiff due to the penetration of the poisonous needle. It's not that the puppets are poisoned, but that these poisonous needles have entered some of the more important organs and joints, seriously affecting the movement of the limbs. It can be said that the puppet is the only weapon of the puppet division, and once these puppet divisions are gone, their combat effectiveness will drop sharply. An elite upper ninja level puppeteer, after losing the puppet, even if the strength has dropped to the lower ninja level, it is normal. How is it possible, this is the Hayaga family's trick, how did he learn it as a little ghost? A. Eh? Puppeteer exclaimed in disbelief. There's no time to worry about this, the puppet is okay with the person who let the puppet go up to melee combat, and if there is a problem, quickly pull it back and fix it. Shouted. The captain. But Ling Feng wouldn't let them get their wish so easily. Leaping forward, Ling Feng came up with a set of combined ninjutsu against them. Wind escape, great whirlwind. Fire escape, impatience technique. A. Powerful wind stream swirled and rushed towards those puppets, and then the impatience turned into gorgeous fireworks, which had a great impact on the wind and became huge in an instant. In an instant, these beautiful fireworks directly illuminated the dark forest, and also brought unforgettable fear to these puppeteers. No matter how powerful the puppet is, it is still based on wood in the end, even if it is equipped with hard armor, 
the core part is still wood. So what the puppet is most afraid of is fire. And Ling Feng is quite proficient in the study of fire escape. Before the impatience were over, Ling Feng smashed out another fire escape how fireball technique. In desperation, the puppeteers can only resist with their puppets, or the flames will burn to their hiding places. This little ghost, how can he be such a high-level fire escape? Not only is it a fire escape, this wind escape is more skilled than our Shangnan in Sand Hidden Village, I doubt that there is a traitor from Sand Hidden Village who ran to Kanaha Village. Such a big fire, what should I do, who of us will escape, hurry up and come out to help? Faced with such a fierce fire, the puppeteers suddenly became in a hurry. And Ling Feng also got a lot of points very smoothly. Ding! Get 380 points. Sure. Enough, the more people there are, the more powerful the strength, as long as you work harder, the points in Ling Feng's hand can easily break through 1000 points. So Ling Feng was full of energy, and before the other party could think of a way, another wind escape big tornado hit out, making the enemy more and more desperate. Ding, 500 points. Two fire escapes and two wind escapes, and they are all ninjutsu above level B, and they directly made a fire in the forest. It's no wonder that these puppeteers are desperate, because they never imagined that a little ghost would burst out with such terrible power. If this was put on the previous Kanaha opponents, to create such a situation, would it take a dozen or twenty ninjas to do it? But Ling Feng could easily do it alone. What should I do? Who will escape from the water, hurry up and let it go, otherwise the puppets will be burned out. There are very few people in our village who can escape from the water, and they all go to the front line battlefield. Don't we still have the ninjutsu scroll of Shui Dun? Hurry up and use it, otherwise there will be no chance to use it. Hearing this, the puppet masters who were originally going to hide a hand dared to be lazy, and hurriedly took out the ninjutsu scroll of Shui Dun. For a while, it was all the sound of water, and under the influence of more than a dozen water escapes, the fire in the forest finally had a tendency to weaken. However, this is still far from enough. That's it, forget it, let me help you, Master. Ling. Feng smiled, and then jumped to the top of the tree trunk. Immediately afterward, Ling Feng was like a lightning-fast seal, and shouted, Too done, too Lu Wall. Boom! Seven or eight stone walls rose from the ground, directly encircling everyone in a closed space. Seeing this scene, the puppeteers suddenly despaired. They all knew that Ling Feng was going to kill them all. Ding! Get 800 points! After reaping the last wave of points, Ling Feng smiled with satisfaction and was ready to end the battle. Water escape, great water rushing waves. Water escape. Water sweep. The sound of water rose to the sky, and the puppeteers looked up at the huge waves that were about to fall, and closed their eyes in despair. Ling Feng glanced at it condescendingly, then picked up a puppet part on the ground and turned to leave. At the same time, Ling Feng activated the detonator that had been buried in advance. Boom, boom, boom. Huge explosions rang out one after another, and those fragile puppeteers were blown to pieces in an instant. At this time, the huge waves crashed down, extinguishing the flames that had been reignited by the explosion. After all, this is the territory of the fire country, and Ling Feng doesn't want a forest fire to break out because of his own mistakes. After solving this puppet division reinforcements, Ling Feng also earned enough points, and seeing that the number of points on his account had reached 2,300 points, Ling Feng left satisfied. It took about another day to reach the front, at noon. When he came to the station, Ling Feng saw that the guards at the door were wearing a large number of bandages, and his face suddenly sank. It seems that the situation at the front line is not optimistic. Seeing Ling Feng coming, the guards hurriedly saluted and let him go. They all knew Ling Feng. It was only after Ling Feng left that the guards looked into the distance again, as if they were expecting something. But unfortunately, apart from Ling Feng, there was no one else behind. No, 
is it just Lord Lingfeng who is here this time? It seems that yes, although Lord Lingfeng is very powerful, but he is alone, it makes no sense at all. Just as the two guards sighed, Ling Feng had already arrived at the gate of the barracks. Along the way, Ling Feng saw the tragic scene in the barracks. There were many people resting against the barracks door, covered in bandages, and many of them were missing arms and legs, and they were afraid that they would have to be disabled after the war. Moreover, in the corner of the barracks, Ling Feng also saw a lot of body bags, those were already dead, ready to let the people come back to the village when the next supply arrived. After discovering that Ling Feng had arrived, someone immediately went to report it, and soon the person who greeted him came out. But not Tsunade. Lord Ling Feng. The person who came was a deputy by Tsunade's side, and Ling Feng had met him before. Yingzi, what about Tsunade Sr.? Ling Feng asked. When Yingzi heard this, she sighed and said, Tsunade Sama was injured in the battle with the Cho sisters and brothers of Sand Hidden Village and was hit by 18 poisonous needles in a row, and also injured his internal organs, and he was resting in the barracks. Hearing this, Ling Feng's face sank, take me over and have a look. Although Ling Feng doesn't want to care too much about the safety of others, Tsunade is the main force guarding the border passes, and Ling Feng can't allow her to be injured, which will greatly affect the morale of the army. Following Yingzi, Ling Feng came to the barracks. I saw Tsunade resting on the bed. Completely different from the Tsunade he had seen before, the ruddy and shiny Tsunade was a little old at this time, and his face was also pale. Ling Feng knew that this was related to Tsunade's injury and weakness. Yingzi, you go down first, I'll talk to Tsunade Senpai. Ling Feng turned around and said. Aiko hesitated when she heard this, but after seeing Tsunade nodding, she left the room. Tsunade Senpai, with your recovery ability, can't you crack these toxins? Ling Feng asked as he walked over to the side of the bed. Hearing this, Tsunade raised his head weakly, looked at Ling Feng and said, Ling Feng, these poisonous needles are extraordinary, difficult to dissolve, if it is an ordinary poisonous needle, give me a few days to completely digest it, but this toxin may take me nearly half a month more to fully digest. So serious. As soon as Ling Feng heard this, he knew that this matter was not simple. In the original book, Tsunade is a walking medical kit, not to mention that he is very proficient in medical ninjutsu, and secondly, because Tsunade is a descendant of the Thousand Hands clan, he has extremely powerful recovery cells, which can be said to be an existence that is invulnerable to all poisons. But such a Tsunade was still extremely badly injured, which shows how terrifying the enemy's strength is. Ling Feng looked at the extremely weak Tsunade, and without hesitation, he directly exchanged the special good injury medicine from the system wall. With a flicker of light, a small vial appeared in Ling Feng's hand. Tsunade Senpai, take this bottle of medicine. Ling Feng handed the trade healing medicine to Tsunade. Looking at the strange medicine in his hand, Tsunade hesitated a little, this is... The special medicine I developed myself should be able to help you resolve the toxins in your body, but I'm not sure if it's okay, you can give it a try. Ling Feng said. Hearing this, Tsunade suddenly became interested, you can also make medicines. Well, I studied medicine on my own for a while, so I casually pondered some medicines, and I have solved more than a dozen special toxins before, maybe it can be useful this time. Faced with Tsunade's questioning, Ling Feng casually found a reason. Although Tsunade was still a little skeptical, he had no other choice, so he had to swallow the drug. The medicine was gone, and Ling Feng poured a glass of water for Tsunade. Thank you. Tsunade drank some water and lay back on the bed. Soon, Tsunade felt a warmth in his lower abdomen, and his limbs, which had been a little weak, seemed to have regained their vitality, and his face was suddenly full of surprise. It really works, and it hasn't been long since I took the medicine. Oh my god, what kind of medicine is this, it's so amazing. Can you tell me the name? If I can know the prescription and mass produce this medicine, many of our dying companions can survive. After. 
Sunade felt that the toxins in his body were basically gone, he immediately sat up from the hospital bed, grabbed Ling Feng's hand, and said with excitement on his face. When Ling Feng heard this, he gently patted Tsunade's somewhat white and tender hand, and said, Senior Tsunade, I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint you, the production of this drug was originally caused by luck, and it was the result of my random attempts, and the slightest change would fail. I've tried thousands of times, but this is the only one that really succeeded. Hearing Ling Feng's words, Tsunade's mood instantly sank again. But Tsunade was immediately moved by the thought that Ling Feng had given him the only pill. You gave me such a precious medicine, so what are you going to do? This medicine is a life-saving thing in times of war. When Ling Feng heard this, he smiled indifferently and said indifferently, medicine is originally used to save people, not to mention that you are still the main combat force, if you don't save you, will you watch you die? But Ling Feng was in his heart, just kidding. Would I tell you such an important secret as the God Level Exchange Mall? If this matter spreads, he will become a deluded treasure in the ninja world in a matter of minutes. As long as you catch Ling Feng, you can get countless good things, and when the time comes, Ling Feng will have to run around like a lost dog. With Ling Feng's current strength, he couldn't fight the entire ninja world alone. Moreover, Ling Feng's abilities are far more attractive than those tailed beasts and Madara Uchiha will change his plan and target Ling Feng. Facing a Madara Uchiha who doesn't know where to hide for the time being, Ling Feng's situation will definitely be very dangerous. Therefore, the secret of the God Level Exchange Mall should be buried in the bottom of my heart forever. Okay, Tsunade Senpai, you have a good rest first, even if the toxins in your body have been completely removed, the weakness in your body cannot be recovered quickly. In fact, with Tsunade's current state, he can fully recover by taking another bottle of Chakra Potion. It's just that Ling Feng thinks that if he takes something good out again, Tsunade will definitely be suspicious, and if he doesn't do it well, he will drag himself and ask to the end with a dead face. After all, it was only sold out miserably, and he said that he tried thousands of times before he succeeded once. Thank you, Ling Feng, I had some prejudices against you before. It was my fault, I was too cautious, and I was too proud, I apologize to you. Tsunade nodded, but suddenly began to apologize. Ling Feng was stunned when he heard this, waved his hand and said, It was all a misunderstanding before, I can understand it, after all, you were carrying the name of Kanaha Sunan at the time, so naturally you didn't want more arrogant people to appear in front of you, not to mention that I was really a five-year-old child at that time. In the face of Ling Feng's maturity, Tsunade was even more ashamed of himself. Ling Feng, you are really much better than when we were younger, if there is a chance, I hope that we can develop again and become true friends. Tsunade said with a sincere face. When Ling Feng heard this, he smiled but did not say a word. He knew that if it weren't for his age, maybe with his charm and behavior, it would be enough to make Tsunade sink. However, Ling Feng didn't have any special feelings for Tsunade, a middle-aged woman who was close to 30 years old, if he had to have something to do with it, then be a celebrity. If you didn't shake your head, then I'll take you as a promise. Tsunade said, holding Ling Feng's hand harder, and at the same time, a smile was on his face. Well, there will be a chance, you can rest, with your recovery ability, without the influence of toxins you will be able to fully recover tomorrow, looking forward to seeing a living you. With that, Ling Feng turned around and left. Because of Ling Feng's identity and fame, when the people in the barracks learned of Ling Feng's arrival, they took the initiative to provide Ling Feng with an excellent accommodation environment without saying a word. After entering the prepared room, Ling Feng looked at the neat bedding on the bed and the hot tea on the table, and suddenly felt a touch in his heart. Living in this environment, if you don't think about the miserable scene outside, you will even think that this is still a peaceful world full of truth and warmth. But the opposite is always true, there is a lot of war outside, and countless people are dying every day. Ling Feng was half lying on the bed, closing his eyes and resting for a while. Although Ling Feng had the replenishment of the immortal body and chakra elixir, 
he was still very tired after traveling for five days without rest. After resting for a while, Ling Feng got up and made a decision. After opening the system wall, Ling Feng found the Palm Immortal Technique and directly purchased the advanced version. In this way, the Palm Immortal Technique released by Ling Feng could reach the limit state of healing injuries with the same chakra. Although the points spent were not much, this medical ninjutsu was almost useless against Ling Feng himself. However, Ling Feng could use the advanced Palm Immortal Technique to save more wounded. During the break, Ling Feng's mind kept thinking about those miserable scenes along the way. The reason is very simple, because their strength gives them hope. Even though I didn't bring it with me, as long as I appeared, I would bring hope to the people of Kanaha from the bottom of my heart. With that in mind, Ling Feng decided to repay the trust they had placed in him. Although there is no way to exchange the forbidden techniques related to resurrection with the current points, it is still more than enough to buy a high-level palm immortal technique, so there are still more than 2,000 points left in Ling Feng's account. Then Ling Feng exchanged for 10 more bottles of special healing medicine, spending a thousand points. These good wound medicines are then ground into powder and then diluted with water to make thousands of wound medicines. Although this can seriously affect the effectiveness of the medicine, it can also provide a quick recovery for Kanaha ninjas who have suffered minor injuries. Because Ling Feng knew that medical ninjas would never be enough, in this case, he should spare time for them to treat more serious injuries. After doing all this, Ling Feng ignored the already darkening sky and went out with these wound medicines. Because there were too many crafts, Ling Feng couldn't take them away at once, so he had to go to the nearest medical ninja first. Seeing Ling Feng coming, the medical ninjas all got up and looked over. Lord Ling Feng! They! Medical ninjas said in unison. Some of the not very serious wounded also stood up and saluted one after another, but they were all pressed down by Ling Feng. All the wounded, rest well. The medical ninja comes out with me. With that, Ling Feng walked out of the tent. The medical ninjas followed behind, all puzzled, not knowing what Ling Feng was going to do. I see that the wounded people you are taking care of do not need emergency treatment, you can walk around for a while. Go and notify all the medical ninjas in the barracks, and let each barracks send three or four people to gather here. Ling Feng looked at everyone and said. Although they didn't understand what kind of medicine was sold in Ling Feng's gourd, everyone didn't question it and acted quickly. After everyone reassembled, Ling Feng said his plan, and at the same time explained what the medicine in his hand did, and then asked people to help move all the remaining medicines. First of all, Ling Feng gathered all the medical ninjas, distributed these wound medicines, told them to use them on the wounded who were not seriously injured, and then asked them to gather all the seriously injured in one barracks. The reason why I did this was because I wanted to be able to concentrate on treatment, so as not to waste a lot of time by running around. With Ling Feng's current ability, in the case of using the advanced palm immortal technique, the healing means are definitely higher than those of these medical ninjas. It is estimated that only Tsunade in his heyday is present, and he can compete with Ling Feng. After all, Ling Feng had an immortal human body, and with the assistance of Chakra Elixir, he didn't worry that his chakra would be insufficient at all. In fact, at first, everyone was very skeptical that the medicine given by Ling Feng was useless, but when Ling Feng himself demonstrated a wounded person first, everyone saw the changes of the wounded after taking the medicine, and immediately cheered loudly. This is simply a miracle. Medicine. It's amazing, countless times more powerful than our traditional medicine. Long live Lord Ling Feng. Listening. To the cheers of the medical ninjas, Ling Feng raised his hand to signal everyone to calm down, and then said, let's be quiet, although this drug has a good effect, it can only be taken for patients with mild symptoms, that is, the injured with minor injuries, otherwise it will have no effect, and the human body is relatively resistant to this drug, so it can only be used once. As a medical ninja who can go to war, he naturally has the most basic medical knowledge. The so-called resistance to the human body is relatively large, which means that no matter how much this drug is taken, only the first time it is taken is effective. Finally, 
let me remind you that these drugs were only prepared by me, and that's all, so they are gone, I hope you can use them as you please, but don't abuse them at all. Hearing Ling Feng's reminder, the medical ninjas all exclaimed, obviously shocked by this situation. If there is no reserve of medicines and prescriptions, then these medicines in their hands are not the last straw? With helplessness and regret, the medical ninjas took the medicine and left, no matter what, it is one that can save one, this is a battlefield, there is no need to hesitate too much at all. Seeing that the medical ninjas were busy, Ling Feng was not idle, but turned around and changed into professional medical ninja suits and walked into the camp of the seriously wounded. Seeing Ling Feng walk in, several medical captains were stunned, because they saw that Ling Feng was actually dressed the same as them. Lord Ling Feng, you are. Lord Ling Feng. There are a large number of seriously injured people here, and now they are gathered together, and the different medicinal flavors are mixed together, I'm afraid you won't be able to adapt to it. And the wounds of the wounded here are rotting to varying degrees, and there are many germs, so it's better for you to go out. Although, they didn't know what Ling Feng was going to do when he came in, they all quickly unified their thoughts, thinking that Ling Feng came in dressed like this to investigate their work. But out of consideration for Ling Feng's safety, they still decided to ask Ling Feng out. However, Ling Feng smiled and said, I'm not here to inspect your work, I'm here to help you. Everyone was stunned when they heard this, and they couldn't believe Ling Feng's words. Who? In Kanaha village doesn't know that Ling Feng's combat effectiveness is extremely strong, he has a lot of actual combat experience, and his comprehensive strength has reached the level of Shangnan. But no one had ever heard of Ling Feng also knowing how to heal ninjutsu. Moreover, this is also a camp for the seriously wounded, and anyone who is qualified to enter here must have more than five years of medical experience, otherwise even if he comes, he will not have the ability to save people. But Ling Feng is here, doesn't that mean that Ling Feng's medical ninjutsu has reached the upper ninja level with more than five years of experience? A genius boy who is already full of combat power, has a variety of chakra attributes, and is also proficient in physical arts, if he is still proficient in medical ninjutsu, if such a thing spreads, I'm afraid it will make other villages shudder, right? It would be a nightmare to let such a terrifying person be his enemy. Ling Feng knew that if he didn't show something, no one would believe it, because it was too outrageous. Even if it is Tsunade, she has been a medical ninja for more than ten years, and her own experience is not comparable to ordinary people, not to mention that she also has the genes of the Thousand Hands clan, and she is born with a strong talent for learning Shi medical ninjutsu. Therefore, no one believed that Ling Feng would be so strong in medical ninjutsu at the age of eight or nine years old. But Ling Feng walked over to the nearest seriously injured person and began to examine his injuries. Looking at Ling Feng's skillful movements, several medical captains involuntarily surrounded him. Soon, Ling Feng's analysis had results, and then he released the palm immortal technique, concentrating the chakra on the wound, so that the wound could be quickly sutured. A faint green light flickered, then became more and more dazzling. Everyone was not blind and they could see at a glance that Ling Feng's palm immortal technique had reached an extremely proficient level, which was not at all comparable to ordinary people like them. Lord Ling Feng is too terrifying, is he ten years old this year? I don't know, it looks like he hasn't reached ten years old yet. My God, the recovery amount of this palm immortal technique, I can feel the surging growth power coming from his palm from so far away. Several Onlookers were shocked, and one by one they exclaimed in low voices. Soon, the treatment of the first injured person was over, Ling Feng did not stop, he directly turned around and walked to the second bed, continued to start the diagnosis, examination, and then used the palm immortal technique to treat. Although this injured person had suffered serious internal injuries and internal bleeding, and it was logical that surgery should be required, it was still not difficult for Ling Feng as long as the recovery speed of the palm immortal technique could keep up with the speed of heavy bleeding, then there would be no problem. Under the powerful healing power of the advanced palm immortal technique, 
the second seriously injured person with serious internal injuries was also successfully treated. Seeing that Ling Feng turned around and was about to go to the third bed. The medical captains, who had been stunned by the shining light, reacted. That's cured? I remember that the patient in this bed needs surgery. Right. That's right, I also checked it in the morning, because the internal injuries were serious, I didn't dare to operate easily, I was afraid that I would not be able to stop the operation because of the heavy bleeding, and I was afraid that ordinary medical ninjutsu would not be able to stop. But looking at Ling Fengda's appearance, this is obviously the treatment that has been completed. Why don't you check it out? Although they were all shocked by Ling Feng's skillful treatment methods, this was not child's play, if there was any problem that he didn't notice, it would be troublesome. So everyone immediately took action and began to examine the patients in bed number two. But the results of the examination surprised everyone. It's really completely good, how? Is this possible? Although I can't believe it, but this is the case, this person's internal injuries have been completely healed. Oh my god! Lord Ling Feng's palm immortal technique is too terrifying. It can actually heal such a serious internal injury with just the palm immortal technique. Just! As the medical captains exclaimed, Ling Feng had already begun to treat the third patient. It is still the same palm immortal technique as always, and it is still so shining with healing light, but it has brought infinite vitality and hope to the originally lifeless ward. Many of the wounded heard the exclamations of these medical ninjas, and they all looked up with difficulty, wanting to see what was happening. Then they saw that Ling Feng was walking on the hospital bed, and those who were originally about the same serious injuries as them got out of bed one by one, and walked freely on the ground, just like a person who had never been injured. Such a picture made them excited. Lord! Ling Feng, please save me too! Yes, please save us! The war is not over yet, we still want to continue to go to the battlefield and defend the country. The wounded saw hope, and one by one they all recovered their spirits and shouted at Ling Feng. The medical ninjas on the side were also stunned, originally each of these wounded people had an indelible haze in their hearts, because their injuries were serious, and even if they survived, they were very likely to face the risk of amputation and becoming disabled. If you were told that you might be disabled, even if you were guaranteed to survive, you wouldn't be happy. If you have the opportunity to choose, who wants to be a disabled person? Not to mention that these are ninjas, once you lose arms and legs, you will basically say goodbye to the path of ninjas. It can be said that Ling Feng is the hope of the most opportunity in their hearts. Because, this hope is standing in front of you. Everyone, don't worry, I will do my best to treat everyone and I will never give up on each of you. Listening to the shouts of the wounded around him, Ling Feng turned to look at everyone and said with a resolute face. But your injuries are all serious, now it's better to lie down quickly, but you must hold on until I treat you. Hearing Ling Feng's words, these wounded immediately lay down honestly, very obedient. And these medical ninjas are also full of enthusiasm when they see this picture full of expectations. Especially the medical captains who led the team are full of strength one by one. Let's start treating the injured. 2. Although our strength is not as good as that of Lord Ling Feng, there is a lot of strength, and it is too much pressure to hand over so many wounded to Lord. Ling Feng. That's right, we're here to help too. Soon. All the medical ninjas began to treat the wounded under the leadership of Ling Feng. At this moment, everyone's hearts are full of infinite expectations, even if it is a wound that is difficult to solve, no one is worried, because there is Ling Feng. As long as Lord Ling Feng solves these fatal wounds that are difficult to deal with, what is there to fear from death? Seeing that all the medical ninjas also started to act, Ling Feng couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Because there are too many wounded, if I completely heal one by one and then replace them, I am afraid that it will take four or five days to heal them all without eating, drinking, or resting. So I had to rate it as a last resort, as long as these medical ninjas could handle it, it didn't matter if it would take a while, in short, it was to free up Ling Feng's time for those who were more seriously injured. 
Just when Ling Feng's side was in full swing, the news reached Sunate's ears. Ying Zi, is what you said true? At this time, Tsunade was lying on the hospital bed, looking at his assistant in disbelief. Although his body had not fully recovered, his face was already full of healthy aura, and the previous paleness was no longer there, which was all due to Ling Feng. Ying Zi nodded and said, That's right, Lord Ling Feng went to the ward of the seriously injured alone, and treated more than a dozen seriously injured people in one go, the speed was terrifying, and each of them was completely cured. This Ling Feng is really unpredictable. I never knew that he could also use medical ninjutsu, and he could use it so skillfully, a few years ago, he was still a little ghost who was easy to make people angry. At the same time, Tsunade remembered that Ling Feng could also make medicines, and he felt more and more admiration in his heart. This former Kanaha imp is really too strong. At the same time, so many seriously injured people were gathered together and healed one by one, so that those desperate wounded in their hearts saw it, and they would soon have hope again, this little ghost is really powerful. Ying Zi, help me up, I will also go to the scene to see how far this Kanaha genius, who is not yet ten years old, can cultivate the palm immortal technique. With that, Tsunade lifted the quilt and prepared to get up. Seeing this, Ying Zi on the side hurriedly stopped, Tsunade Sama, your body hasn't fully recovered yet, Lord Ling Feng also explained before leaving, so you must have a good rest. Humph, I'm not that weak. That little imp is saving people with so many medical ninjas, and as the head of the medical team, I can't lie down and rest here. After saying that, Tsunade's body shook and walked towards the ward where Ling Feng was. Ying Zi trotted behind with clothes in her hands. When he reached the door of the ward, Tsunade walked in and heard the wounded shouting. Thank you, Lord Ling Feng, for giving us a new life. At first, the shouts were a bit messy and noisy to hear. But it didn't take long for these voices to become uniform and sonorous, and these people were all thanking Ling Feng from the bottom of their hearts, and they were definitely not shouting with false feelings. Because every wounded person who opened his mouth loudly was alive from the brink of death, or the wounded who originally needed amputation were directly healed under Ling Feng's treatment. Therefore, the appearance of Ling Feng is indeed a new life for them. Tsunade stood at the doorway, looking at the image of the entire ward becoming full of hope and confidence because of Ling Feng's presence, and his heart was shocked. Making the impossible possible, this seems to be what Ling Feng has been doing. It seems that anything can happen as long as there is Ling Feng. Although relying on the immortal body and chakra elixir, Ling Feng hardly had to worry about the loss of chakra and physical strength, but in terms of time, Ling Feng had no way to control it. Because some of the wounded have serious problems, they can only spend more time on treatment. So when night fell, Ling Feng had only healed less than a quarter of the wounded. But fortunately, the wounded who are in critical condition have been treated, and the rest are only needed to take care of the wounds in place to ensure that the wounds will not deteriorate, and then the next or third day of treatment is not a big problem. And the most important point is that the wounded and the medical ninjas can't bear it. Originally, it was the time when the evening was physiologically supposed to rest, not to mention the medical ninjas, even the most ordinary medical nurses, they were tired after being busy, not to mention those attending physicians or medical staff who assisted in surgery, each operation required a lot of mental effort. After all, they are not like Ling Feng, they have an immortal body and chakra elixir to maintain their energy. As for the wounded, they were very weak because of their serious injuries, and they were all tired at this time because they were excited for a while during the day, and some of them were too excited to involve the wounds, which caused heavy bleeding, so many people had fallen asleep before the night fell. In this case, Ling Feng had no choice but to temporarily stop work and not affect the rest of these ordinary people. Walking out of the barracks, Ling Feng couldn't help but pause as he saw Tsunade standing at the door. It's really terrifying that you've been treating the injured since the morning until now, and you haven't rested at all. Looking. At Ling Feng, Tsunade spoke his inner words. When Ling Feng heard this, he smiled lightly and said, You're still here, I thought you were gone. Tsunade was stunned, 
Do you know I've been here? Well, I saw you during the day, but then you left again, and I was busy saving people, so I didn't pay much attention to you. Ling Feng nodded and said. Tsunade couldn't help but take a deep breath, and his heart was full of emotion. In fact, before I became famous, I had heard of countless geniuses, either from other villages or from my own village, anyway, children with a little ability are called geniuses. But now, those so-called geniuses have become ordinary people, and the name of the so-called genius has disappeared as a joke, but only you, all along, under the name of Kanaha Genius, have grown rapidly all the way, and you can't stop at all. If you calculate carefully, we haven't seen each other for a few years, and as a result, you've grown to this point again, I suspect that if you give you a few more years, you'll definitely surpass us Kanaha top notch. Tsunade said with a serious expression as he looked at Ling Feng. Ling Feng smiled slightly, then turned around and looked up at the beautiful starry sky. You're right, in a few years, I will definitely surpass you completely, but I still feel that the time is too long, if I can, I hope the time is as short as possible. Tsunade was stunned when he heard this, why are you so eager for power? Ling Feng stretched out his hand and pointed into the distance, over there, it was the border of Shayan village, there were faint lights flickering on the stars, because of the distance, only these faint lights could be seen. Tsunade Senpai, you can see it, those are the camps of Sand Hidden Village, where tens of thousands of ninjas are stationed, ready to attack, kill us all, and then continue to move towards the country of fire. If we are strong enough, or if I am strong enough, I can easily lead the war to an end, not a few years, only a few months or even just a few days. No one would be stupid enough to fight a truly strong man, and the reason for today's situation is because we are not strong enough. Ling Feng said, sonorous and powerful. Tsunade was shocked when he heard it in his heart. She couldn't believe that such words could come out of the mouth of a child who was less than ten years old. But soon, Tsunade was relieved. Years ago, Ling Feng shocked her like this. You're right. I'm not strong enough to lead my companions to victory in this war. In the last attack, we suffered heavy losses, and although the enemy was not having a good time, the other side increased support, and according to intelligence, it is expected that a surprise attack will be launched tomorrow. Originally, I planned to evacuate with people, because of the huge disparity in our strength, we haven't arrived yet, so we can't fight at all. Because we have so many wounded, I've been worrying about how to get them all back, but fortunately you're here and you've treated so many wounded, so we should be able to resist another enemy attack. As long as they can carry it this time, they will definitely choose a temporary truce, so that we have a chance to breathe and wait for the support of the village. Tsunade said, the sadness on his face dissipating a little. Support is out of the question, and the fighting in other theaters is quite fierce, so I let those reinforcements turn around and go to other theaters. Ling Feng said lightly. What? You transferred reinforcements away? According to the intelligence, the other side will at least increase the support of nearly 5,000 people this time. And even if we treat all the wounded, we will not be able to make up for the more than 3,000 people who have already died. In this comparison, our number will be nearly one-third less than that of the other party. We can't make up for this kind of number gap at all. Not to mention that the other party also has the support of the puppet army, and the leader of the team is the big apprentice of the puppet master Zhou, the sand spider. Tsunade looked at Ling Feng and couldn't help but exclaim. Because the letter requesting support was written by Tsunade herself, she now pinned all her hopes on reinforcements, but she didn't expect her plan to be disrupted by Ling Feng's words. Looking at Tsunade's panicked appearance, Ling Feng laughed, as if he didn't care about Tsunade's worries at all. This made Tsunade immediately annoyed, even if you really don't eat, drink, or sleep and treat all the wounded, we don't have an advantage in numbers, don't you understand what you understand? Even though he was shocked by Ling Feng's strength in his heart, this was a battlefield, and he couldn't make the slightest joke. And Tsunade who had already suffered a big loss under the siege of Sand Hidden Village, understood the strength of the other party, so he was even more dissatisfied with Ling Feng's reaction. 
because no matter how powerful you are, it's not a reason to joke about winning or losing a war. Maybe you haven't been on the real battlefield yet, so you can't understand my anger, then I can tell you that if we lose this battle, the border line will definitely collapse, and when the time comes, the village will have to send more people here to prevent the enemy from infiltrating the country from various places, which will make our already great pressure even more unbearable. And you don't understand the power of those puppet legions. Seeing that they couldn't attack, they directly let the puppets rush up with the detonator charm to send them to death, and the people here are all flesh and blood, and we can't win at all. Because no matter what, we are the ones who have suffered the most losses. Although Tsunade had tried his best to suppress his emotions, he couldn't help but explode. Because there are no reinforcements, it means that they will be in trouble again, and once they are besieged by the enemy's puppet army, the damage on Kanaha's side will be even worse. To be honest, I still can't forget the despair in my heart when I faced the poisonous needles in the sky, there was nowhere to hide, maybe they spent a lot of effort to make these poisonous needles, but as long as their people are still alive, they can keep making poisonous needles. Because of my physique, I can resist a wave of damage, but what about those weaker Kanaha companions? Ling Feng, maybe my mood fluctuates a little but I hope you can understand that this is a battlefield, not a competition, and you must not be rash. Faced with such an excited Tsunade, Ling Feng did not speak, but quietly waited for Tsunade to vent his emotions. Looking at Tsunade stopping, his slightly tired face, Ling Feng said lightly, according to the intelligence, the reinforcements from Shayan village have come to the rear to support, intending to trap you. Hearing this, Tsunade raised his head slightly, and then, you rejected the reinforcements that the three generations of adults were going to send. To be honest, if it weren't for your excellent performance in the middle ninja exam before, I would have been a little suspicious, you are a spy from another village. Ling Feng smiled slightly, then took out part of a puppet's limbs and threw them in front of Tsunade. Bang! There was a loud bang, but the limbs of this small puppet were unusually heavy, because the materials made were all of the highest quality, and only the upper ninja puppeteers of Sand Hidden Village were qualified to use them. Tsunade had been fighting with Sand Hidden Village for so many days, and naturally he could see at a glance that such a thing was the craft work of a puppeteer from Sand Hidden Village, and it was of the highest quality. This. Where did you get it from? Tsunade asked in surprise. That's right, those reinforcements were found by me. A total of 30 people, all of them are the elite ninjas of Shayan village, all puppet masters, according to the combat effectiveness, these 30 puppet masters are enough to compare with the strength of 300 Kanaha middle ninjas. And these 30 elite ninja puppeteers, once they find an opportunity, can easily destroy the medical team in a few hours, and damage all reserve resources, when the time comes, as long as the enemy is responsible for containing us in attrition we will definitely lose in the end. Tsunade Senpai, you say I don't understand war, that's what you think I don't understand, but in fact, I'm far more familiar with this war than you, and I'm confident that I can control the direction of the war, and the final winner must belong to Kanaha village. Ling Feng put his hands behind his back, looked at the shocked feeling on his face, and said in an indifferent tone. In the face of Ling Feng's light clouds, Tsunade was even more shocked and speechless. That's a full 30 puppeteers who have reached the elite level of ninja level. This kind of lineup, which is placed in Shayan village, is all a whole card level existence, and as a result, Ling Feng killed them all? If this matter is spread to Shayan village, I'm afraid none of them will want to believe it, right? A 10-year-old kid who single-handedly solved a team of 30 elite ninja level puppeteers, and there was nothing wrong with it. This was simply crushing. Tsunade looked at Ling Feng as if he was looking at a monster. Because with Tsunade's current strength, he doesn't dare to say that he can solve this puppet team of 30 people alone, even if he can win, he will have to pay a certain price. This team of 30 puppet divisions is put on any battlefield, it is a terrifying combat force, and it definitely has the existence of influencing the direction of the battle. However, with such a level of strength, it would be easily solved by Ling Feng. The more Tsunade thought about it, the more incredible he felt. 
Sensing Tsunade's questioning gaze, Ling Feng smiled slightly, If you don't believe me, I can understand it, but when the next enemy strikes, you'll believe it. Because the intelligence Tsunade who was sent by the enemy to support also got a copy, the enemy's purpose is to prepare to outflank the front and back, and strive to take the Kanaha border at one time. So when the enemy attacks again, that's when the plan is implemented. Just like Ling Feng said, if the enemy attacked next time, there would only be a frontal surprise attack, which would mean that the additional squad sent to the rear would be wiped out. Nothing happened overnight. The next day, Ling Feng got up early to continue treating the wounded. After two days of emergency treatment, all the wounded who had lost hope were cured, and the remaining wounded were not at risk of disability, because there were so many of them, Ling Feng couldn't do it alone. And Tsunade also went back to recover honestly, because as a manager, she needs to be ready for a surprise attack from the enemy at all times. Seeing that dusk was approaching, Tsunade knew that he could spend the day safely again. But Ling Feng came to Tsunade's hospital room instead. The enemy hasn't moved for two days, it should be a big gift, I expect the enemy to attack tomorrow, and the firepower will be very fierce, can your body still go to the battlefield? Seeing Tsunade, Ling Feng said straight to the point. Almost, if the enemy attacks, I can go to the battlefield at any time, although I have not recovered to the peak, but I have also recovered to 80 or 90 percent of my strength. Tsunade was half lying on the hospital bed, his face had returned to his normal level. 8, 90 percent is okay, I just need you on the battlefield to stabilize the morale of the army, after all, the enemy is coming and we can't do it without a commander on our side. Ling Feng smiled faintly. Tsunade was worried, even if I can play, in the face of the enemy's numerical suppression and the siege of the puppet army, I'm afraid it will be difficult to stabilize the morale of the army. Ling Feng smiled mysteriously, don't worry, we won't lose this battle. With that, Ling Feng left, leaving Tsunade stunned in place. Tsunade Sama it's time for you to take the medicine, it's made according to your recipe, although it can help the body recover quickly, but this taste is too strange, isn't it, Tsunade Sama? As soon as Ling Feng left on his front foot, Assistant Yingzi walked in with a bowl of medicinal soup on his hind foot. But after saying a paragraph, he found that Tsunade was looking out the window in a daze, and in desperation, Yingzi had to shout a few more times. Tsunade, who reacted suddenly, paused, and then looked at Yingzi, oh, it's time to take medicine, put it over there, I'll drink it myself later. Pudding. Down the medicinal soup, Yingzi asked curiously, what did Lord Ling Feng say when he came in just now? Tsunade turned his head and looked at Yingzi's gossipy expression, and suddenly blushed, I said Yingzi, it's a time of war, what are you still thinking about? Yingzi suddenly looked aggrieved. I just saw that something was wrong with the situation. Ahem, there is no relationship between me and Ling Feng as you imagined, and besides, the age difference between us is nearly twenty years, which is completely incompatible. The reason why I was in a daze was that I couldn't understand why Ling Feng always had an inscrutable confidence every time he faced a problem, as if nothing in this world could stump him. Tsunade said with a sigh. When Yangzi heard this, he didn't hear the gossip he wanted, so he couldn't help but shrug his shoulders boringly, and left after a few perfunctory words. But when he was leaving, he still muttered that Ling Feng was so handsome and powerful, and that he wanted to go to Lord Ling Feng when the war was over. Listening to Yingzi's self-talk, Tsune didn't blame Yingzi, because Yingzi is only 16 or 17 years old now, in terms of age, Ling Feng and Yingzi can get together. Thinking of this, Tsunade shook his head suddenly, and couldn't help but whisper, Tsunade, what are you thinking about? This is a battlefield. Instead of lying on the hospital bed as usual, Tsunade got up early and changed into a combat uniform. When he went out, he saw Ling Feng standing on a commanding height, looking condescendingly into the distance. Ling Feng, what are you waiting for? Asked Tsunade. Wait for the enemy, it should be coming soon. Ling Feng said lightly, it seemed that the enemy's attack was inevitable, and it was a major event that was not very important. 
Tsunade couldn't help but shake his head when he saw this, thinking that he really couldn't understand Ling Feng's brain circuit. If you could really predict the enemy's attack, shouldn't you hurry up and prepare for battle? But just as Tsunade was about to beckon his men to assemble, an alarm came from a sentry post in the distance. Raid! Raid! Prepare for a battle! Hearing! The siren, all the ninjas in the barracks quickly changed into combat clothes and entered the state of battle, as for some of the wounded who had not fully recovered, they were also ready for battle. Looking condescendingly into the distance, within the borders of the sand-covered sand-hidden village, the real dust rose to the sky, and it was the picture of a large army rushing towards the Kanaha border defense line. After giving battle orders to several captains, Tsunade came to Ling Feng's side. As you might have guessed, the enemy did launch a surprise attack, and it was about the same as I expected, and the number of people attacking this time increased by at least a third. Since you have come to my barracks, you should follow my orders, and I will bring people up to meet the battle in a while, and the guard of the camp will be handed over to you, most of the wounded here are unable to move, so you have to pay more attention to it. After Tsunade finished speaking, he was about to turn and leave. However, Ling Feng followed, No, I'll go to the front line with you. What? You're crazy. What if the enemy has a puppet force attacking us from behind, and once our camp is destroyed, we won't have any chance? Tsunade said in surprise. Rest assured, we have no enemies behind us. With that, Ling Feng overtook Tsunade and walked in the direction of the battlefield. Tsunade knew that once Ling Feng decided to act, it would be impossible to stop it at all, and now that all the people were sent to the battlefield by himself, it was impossible to catch up and call them back, so Tsunade had no choice but to give up. Ling Feng, if something really happens, you can't escape responsibility. Tsunade walked quickly to catch up with Ling Feng and gritted his teeth and said. But Ling Feng was calm, don't worry, if something really happens, I can't escape. In this way, Tsunade could only take Ling Feng to the front line with him. Seeing Tsunade appear on the battlefield again, the military spirit on Kanaha's side really stabilized a lot. But what Tsunade didn't expect was that because of Ling Feng's appearance, the Kanaha Legion was even more boiling, and it seemed that there was a great boost in morale. Ling Feng, I didn't expect you to have such a good effect. Tsunade said with some surprise. He <laughs> he. I'll make this effect even more obvious soon. Ling. Feng looked at the puppet legions standing in a row in the distance, and said with a faint smile. Tsunade followed Ling Feng's gaze, and couldn't help but sink in his heart, Ling Feng, what are you going to do? Of course you went into battle to kill the enemy. After saying that, Ling Feng turned around in an instant and came directly to the front of the battle line, facing the puppet legion. Seeing this scene, Tsunade's face turned pale with fright, Ling Feng, come back quickly. That's a puppet. Army of a hundred people. Even if Tsunade believed that Ling Feng would solve the elite of the opponent's thirty puppet legions by himself, but now he was facing a puppet army of one hundred people. Could it be that Ling Feng was still going to solve all of the other party's problems by himself? This is simply nonsense. But Ling Feng didn't look back at all, as if he hadn't heard, and at the same time stretched out his hand and put on a very provocative posture for the other party. Come on, fight! It out! And the ninjas of Sand Hidden Village watched a ten-year-old child provoke themselves, and they all couldn't help but laugh out loud. This Kanaha Naka Shinobi is too interesting, isn't it? That's it. Are all the people in Kanaha dead? In the face of the taunts of many enemies, the ninjas on Kanaha's side were full of anger one by one, eager to rush up and dismantle the enemy. Even Tsunade bites his red lips, and this humiliation is simply disrespectful. Finally, Ling Feng spoke. Who did I, Kanaha send to fight, it seems that it is not your turn to meddle in the affairs of the Sand Hidden Village, but it's you, one by one, so happy, have you already won this war? Hearing Ling Feng's voice, the ninjas in Sand Hidden Village were all stunned, they expected more than a dozen embarrassing and ashamed reactions after Ling Feng was humiliated, but
but they didn't expect Ling Feng to speak so calmly. Humph! Are Kanaha imps so arrogant? They actually ran to the battlefield and pointed. At this moment, a tall man walked out. The man was masked and wrapped in a layer of black cloth, but behind him was a huge box, and it seemed that this was also a puppeteer. Seeing this person appear, the ninjas in Sand Hidden Village all cheered and shouted loudly at the same time. It's Lord Sand. Spider here. It looks like Kanaha and these bastards are going to lose today. Ha ha ha. Sand Spider is here with a puppet army. We've won. Ling Feng couldn't help but squint his eyes slightly when he heard this, this is what Tsunade said, the big apprentice of the puppet Grandmaster Cho, the Sand Spider. Through the white of his eyes, Ling Feng could see that the amount of chakra in this person's body was indeed much more than that of ordinary people, and as a puppeteer, the amount of chakra determined the limit number of puppets he could control. However, Ling Feng is not afraid, no matter how many puppets there are, it may only be a little troublesome for Ling Feng, but it will not be able to pose any threat to himself. With Huishan in hand, no hidden weapon, no indiscriminate group attack, could hurt Ling Feng in the slightest. As for melee combat, Ling Feng is even more afraid, he directly opens the eight doors, and if he goes up, he will kick it violently. Not to mention that Ling Feng also has several combination skills, if it is a big deal, he will be able to burn some of them. Although the puppets can be recrafted, but this is the battlefield, can you have time to do it on the spot? Anyway, there are only a hundred puppeteers, and Ling Feng is confident that he will stop them all. Compared to Ling Feng's self-confidence, Tsunade was very worried at this time. Ling Feng, I'm afraid this battle will be very difficult to fight, there are still at least ten hours before the night comes, and I don't know if I can last until dark. Tsunade walked up to Ling Feng and whispered. Although he was dissatisfied with Ling Feng's private decision, he still had to maintain unity now, otherwise he would really have no chance at all. But Ling Feng grinned, Tsunade Sr., with your strength, it should be no problem to resist those ninja legions in Sand Hidden Village, right? Of course it's no problem, if it weren't for the interference of the puppet legions, even if I didn't have an advantage in numbers. I would be sure that I would be able to hold it until dark. Tsunade said. That's okay, I'll leave it to me here, as for those ninja legions, I'll leave it to you. With that, Ling Feng jumped and came to the opposite side of the sand spider. Seeing this, Tsunade behind him was about to block it, but Ling Feng's instantaneous technique was so fast that even Tsunade didn't react. Hmm, you little ghost. Are you really planning to fight us, I'll let you die to pieces. This is the battlefield, don't expect us to let you. Said the sand spider condescendingly at Ling Feng and said in a hoarse voice. In an instant, the surrounding puppeteers immediately laughed loudly, and it could be seen that there were sand spiders in the town, and these ninjas in Sand Hidden Village were much more courageous. Hee <laughs> hee, before the fight is over, how do you know that I will lose? Ling. Feng said with his arms clasped in his hands and raised his eyebrows. Ha ha ha. This is the funniest joke I've ever heard in my life, a teenage kid trying to beat me. Well, since you're so confident, I'll play with you. I'll be with you, one on one, how about it? The sand spider sneered. Ling Feng didn't hesitate, okay, it's just one on one, no one else is allowed to interfere. Okay. Okay, I want to see what kind of skill Kanaha kid has to be so rampant. After speaking, the sand spider rushed towards Ling Feng. They two kunao slammed together, sending out countless sparks. Then the sand spider continued to attack, Ling Feng quickly defended, and then counterattacked, and for a while, the two of them actually fought back and forth. Although the size of the sand spider has an advantage, Ling Feng's body is more flexible, and after a confrontation, Ling Feng did not fall behind the wind at all, but the sand spider seemed to become more and more weak in attack. Bang! The two took the opportunity to separate, and after Ling Feng stood firm, his face was indifferent. On the other hand, the sand spider turned out to be out of breath and covered with hot sweat. 
This scene was watched by the ninjas on both sides, and they were shocked by each other. Especially the ninjas of Sand Hidden Village, they didn't expect that the Sand Spider Lord they were so proud of would be suppressed by a teenage ghost. Ding! Get 3000 points! Ling! Feng grinned without moving, sure enough, in such a crowded venue, it was really too easy to get points. As for the Sand Spider himself, he was even more shocked in his heart, he never thought that Ling Feng would fight a tie with him. And looking at Ling Feng's performance, it seems that he has not been affected by this series of attacks at all. Looking at the Sand Spider that was stunned in place, Ling Feng smiled faintly, as a puppeteer, although you are relatively strong, after all, melee combat is not your strong point, you should use a puppet, otherwise, you will definitely lose. Saying that, the kunao in Ling Feng's hand flew up and down, glowing with a cold glow, the visual effect was quite in place, ordinary ninjas would not dare to play like this, if they were not careful, they would hurt themselves. Ding! Get 1500 points! Ling! Feng was happy, he didn't expect to be able to get so many points by casually pretending to be a wave of force. It seems that after this fight, he is going to get rich in rhythm. Listening to Ling Feng's words, the sand spider couldn't help but grit his teeth and his face was gloomy. Even if he has been practicing hard to control the puppet and has not worked melee and other ninjutsu, he will not be ridiculed like this, right? Very good, little ghost, you have successfully caused my anger, since you want to see my puppet so much, then I will let you see, what is called despair. Although I think it is a very shameful thing to use a puppet to deal with a little ghost, but it is much better than being defeated by a little ghost, thinking of this, the sand spider was immediately relieved. This is the sound of the trap box behind the sand spider. The original sand spider was doubtful of life by Ling Feng's melee combat, but as soon as he touched the puppet, his confidence immediately surged into his heart. As a puppet grandmaster and the chief disciple of Granny Cho, Sand Spider is extremely accomplished in puppet manipulation, which of course has a lot to do with talent. The moment the trap box behind him opened, the ninjas of the originally silent Sand Hidden Village cheered again. In their opinion, as long as the Sand Spider opens the trap box and uses the puppet, there is no battle that cannot be won. Because the status of the puppeteers in the Sand Hidden Village is really high, as long as the puppeteers are present in battle, they can always be very confident. Ling Feng watched the sand spider activate the trap box, and he also looked at it with interest, wanting to know what was in this trap box. Although Ling Feng knew the general process and final direction of the Third Ninja World War, the details of what happened during this period were not clear, and he could only know after experiencing it himself. At that moment, the system's prompt sounded. Ding! Activate the mission! force the sand spider to use all his strength to kill it at the same time, destroy the puppet army of sand hidden village, and reward 6000 points. Time limit for one hour. Ling. Feng's eyes lit up after hearing this, the task is coming. Then he looked at the sand spider, and the killing intent in his eyes surged. It seems that this man must die. Originally, Ling Feng was still thinking that he could use the sand spider as a bargaining chip to threaten the sand hidden village to stop the battlefield after being captured, but now it seems that the sand spider is certain to die. After all, this is a battlefield, and as long as it continues, people will continue to die. Ling Feng knew that although the final result of the Third Ninja World War was to usher in peace, Kanaha also suffered heavy losses, and the advantages accumulated for many years were gone making Kanaha lose the deterrent power of the first brother of Ninja Village. So if the war can be ended as soon as possible, there will be only benefits and no harm to Kanaha. Because there are too many enemies in Kanaha now, under the fierce attrition, the foundation of Kanaha can't last long, which is why Sand Hidden Village dares to attack like this. They knew that Kanaha was under great pressure at this time, and they also knew that it would be difficult for Tsunade to get any more reinforcements, so they dared to launch an onslaught of such a scale. But now that the system has given the task, for the sake of these 6000 points, it doesn't matter if you kill someone, although you know that it will cause the anger of Shayan village, 
but Ling Feng is not afraid. As long as you can quickly accumulate points, even if Cho himself comes, you can fight against it. The machine box was completely opened, and then I saw that six of the puppet mechanisms were activated, and a click sound sounded, and one of the puppet mechanisms was controlled by the chakra line and began to change. Not long after, a humanoid puppet appeared in front of the sand spider, looking at the clothes and forehead guards on the body, this is like a Kanaha ninja. Seeing this scene, those Kanaha ninjas who saw this scene all let out an angry roar, if it weren't for the frontal battlefield fighting very anxiously, I'm afraid they would come directly to fight the sand spider. And when Tsunade saw this scene, his chest was also angry, and he couldn't wait to come over directly to fight the sand spider. But only Ling Feng's performance was relatively calm, and of course he knew that the sand spider did this to provoke himself. In the face of this clumsy agitation method, Ling Feng was not moved at all. Seeing Ling Feng so calm, the sand spider's face stiffened slightly, and the words of ridicule that he had prepared were also unspeakable. You little ghost, don't you recognize this as a ninja from your Kanaha village? Asked. The sand spider through gritted teeth. Ling Feng said lightly, people can't be resurrected after death, if he is still alive, I should indeed do something but now that he has become a puppet and has no body, do I still want to take this puppet back and burn it and bury it? How can this damn little imp exceed his expectations every time? Humph! I didn't expect you teenage imp to be so ruthless. Very good, when I kill you, I will make you a puppet too. They! Sand Spider let out a loud shout, and then turned into a puppet and rushed towards Ling Feng. But Ling Feng dodged the puppet's attack with an instantaneous technique, and then several kunao flew out, hitting the puppet's joint position with great precision, and it turned out to be just a face, and this puppet was destroyed. Seeing this scene, it scared the sand spider a lot, this was just the beginning, and before he could fight much, he abolished his puppet. And the ninjas of the sand hidden village who were watching the play were also frightened, and they couldn't believe what they saw. Ding! Get 100 points. Ding! Get 1,200 points. It seems that Ling Feng's operation really shocked the sand spider. Hee <laughs> hee, you want to kill me with this puppet alone. I advise you, if you want to live a little longer, you should take out your housekeeping skills, otherwise, you will become the first puppeteer to die on this battlefield. Ling Feng said with a sneer, looking at the sand spider. Hearing this, the sand spider immediately became annoyed, you little devil who doesn't know the height of the sky. This is just what I used to test you. Don't think you can really destroy my puppet so easily. After saying that, the sand spider recalled the puppet, and then quickly activated the two new puppets, and then controlled the new puppet to start the repair of the first puppet. Seeing this scene, Ling Feng couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and nodded secretly. This sand spider really has some skills, and can actually manipulate puppets to repair puppets, this kind of skill, ordinary puppeteers can't do it at all. This shows that the sand spider's control of the puppet has reached the point of perfection. With such a skill, the sand spider was quickly repairing the puppet and vigilantly guarding against Ling Feng, but the latter was not moved at all. This kind of situation was a great shame in the eyes of the sand spider but what he didn't know was that it was because Ling Feng needed to complete the task, and he had to let the sand spider exert all his strength. Ling Feng knew that the puppet was a symbol of strength for the puppeteer, and the sand spider's mechanism box could place six puppet traps at once, which meant that he could control six puppets at once, so Ling Feng could only wait for the sand spider to repair the damaged puppet before making a move. Because Ling Feng only attacked the joints, causing them to be unable to move flexibly, and the rest of the body was still intact, it didn't take long for the sand spider to finish repairing it, making the puppet flexible again. Originally, you still had a chance, but you didn't fight for it yourself, so don't blame me for being ruthless. After repairing the puppet, the sand spider looked at Ling Feng, and that inexplicable sense of confidence returned. Ling Feng was unmoved when he heard this, but looked at the other three puppets in the machine box and asked, don't you activate those three? The sand spider was stunned for a moment, 
then gritted his teeth and said, Damn the little ghost, don't think you can still destroy my puppet. Kill you, three are enough. Suffer death. After speaking, the sand spider controlled the three puppets to attack. Seeing this, Ling Feng's brows tightened, his task was to kill the sand spider in full strength, but the sand spider was conceited that he could kill himself with only three of them, how could this be good? No way, since the sand spider himself refused to use all his strength, he had to find a way to force him to use all his strength. Soil escape, soil reflection fish. Ling. Feng shouted, and instantly released a soil reflection fish, and the ground within a radius of 100 meters suddenly became like a swamp. Seeing this scene, the sand spider's pupils shrank, I didn't expect you to escape from the earth, and the scope of the spell is so large. However, it's just a fish in the soil. Ninja Thousand Machine Arrows. They. Sand spider also shouted, and then the three puppets of the controller jumped high, and then countless sharp arrows glowing with black rays shot out, and a whooshing sound sounded, this was a set of indiscriminate attacks. It was at this trick that Tsunade suffered a big loss, and he was poisoned and bedridden. But this trick didn't have any use for Ling Feng. The sand spider knew that the earth reflection fish was a ninjutsu that could constantly change its position through the earth instant, so it planned to make Ling Feng nowhere to hide through indiscriminate attacks. But Ling Feng had long been prepared to deal with it. Because he had fought with the puppeteer before, he knew that indiscriminate attack was one of the most common techniques used by the puppeteer, so he had already started to act before the sand spider made a move. The sharp arrows shot down, and soon the ground was full of arrow tails, and also covered the entire range of the fish in the earth. Humph, I'll see where you're going to run now. They... Sand Spider couldn't help but sneer when he saw this. Although Ling Feng's strength was indeed beyond his imagination, it was still a little worse after all. You must know that Tsunade has suffered a lot under this skill, let alone Ling Feng, a ten-year-old ghost. It didn't take long for Ling Feng, who was originally leaning on the earth to keep flashing his body, and was finally stabbed by sharp arrows, so his movements slowed down, and more sharp arrows fell from the sky. It didn't take long for Ling Feng to shoot into a hornet's nest. From a distance, it looks like a living hedgehog. Seeing this scene, the sand spider couldn't help but laugh, and finally killed this little ghost who dared to mock himself to his face and make himself ugly. The ninjas of the surrounding sand-hidden village also saw this scene and cheered together, as if they had won an important battle. Tsunade, who was in the distance, couldn't help but let out a wail when he saw this scene, Ling Feng. But at this moment, a mutation protruded. Ling Feng, who had turned into a hedgehog, turned into a puff of white smoke and disappeared, leaving only a piece of yellow sand. Seeing this scene, everyone was shocked. It's a clone. This Ling Feng is too scary. Tsunade in the distance couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when he saw this picture. The sand spiders and the ninjas of the sand-hidden village were shocked. They didn't expect to spend so many sharp arrows, and they actually hit only a clone. Ding! Get 1,600 points. Relying on the clone, Ling Feng successfully harvested a large number of points. Damn! Where did this hateful little imp go? After being teased by Ling Feng for a while, the sand spider was angry, clenching his fists, and even the puppet under control was trembling slightly. Ling Feng's behavior was simply humiliating him in front of him. Are you looking for me? I'm behind you. At this moment, Ling Feng's voice rang out, directly startling the sand spider, and almost jumped up from the spot. As a result, as soon as he turned around, the sand spider saw a fist gradually enlarged in front of him. The sand spider flew upside down and fell into the mud with a dog. However, the ground here is all sand, so the sand spider eats a mouthful of yellow sand. Seeing this scene, Ling Feng was happy and laughed. In fact, Ling Feng's punch was retracted, otherwise, one punch would be enough to make the sand spider unconscious. Because when the puppeteer controls the puppet, its own defense will be much worse, and even if it reacts, it will be too late to deal with it, 
because all the chakras are used on the puppet. So this punch is just to remind the sand spider that if you want to win yourself, you must use all your strength. Embarrassed to get up, the sand spider quickly retreated, and distanced himself from Ling Feng, only to find that Ling Feng was standing in place, and he had no intention of taking advantage of the victory to pursue him. In the sand hidden village, the sand spider has always been praised as a super genius, and after becoming Cho's great apprentice, he has been embraced by the entire village, saying that he is the most likely person to become the next Kaze Cage. Therefore, the sand spider's self-esteem is extremely strong, which causes him to despise a lot of enemies, but the sand spider's ability is indeed very strong, so no matter how much he despises it, no one can defeat him. Until the sand spider met Ling Feng. From beginning to end, the sand spider did not take advantage of Ling Feng's hands in the slightest. Was even pressed and beaten several times by Ling Feng. This kind of humiliation is unbearable for the sand spider at all. The failure again also made it clear to the sand spider that he had to exert all his strength. Very. Good, you managed to arouse my anger. I'll show you the power of a real puppet master. Puppet, open. With a soft snort, the remaining three puppet traps in the machine box were also activated. Seeing the six puppets suspended in front of the sand spider, the ninjas of the sand hidden village erupted in louder cheers. Because they knew that the sand spider in this state was the most powerful. Listening to the cheers of the sand hidden village, Ling Feng also laughed. Because this means that the sand spider is already in a state of full strength, then he can be ready to kill. Looking at Ling Feng's smile, the sand spider gritted his teeth angrily. Bastard boy, this is the last time you'll smile in your life. With that, the sand spider manipulated the six puppets and quickly attacked Ling Feng. Ling Feng grinned, looked at the sand spider and said, No, this is actually the last time you will use a puppet in your life. As soon as Ling Feng's voice fell, the audience was shocked. What kind of arrogant words are these? The sand spider was stupid, all six of his puppets were released, and the fire was fully opened, this little ghost actually said that he was the last time he used a puppet in his life? Good boy, I have never seen such an arrogant person. You are still the first. They. Sand spider no longer hesitated. The chakra line in his hand was controlled, flying up and down, and the six puppets rushed towards Ling Feng, and at the moment when they were about to make contact, countless hidden weapons flew out. Ling Feng used the teleportation technique to dodge them one by one, only a few of them rushed in front of him, but they were also defeated by Ling Feng's extremely fast reaction with Kunao. But at this time, the puppeteer was already close, and these puppets turned into three heads and six arms and for a while, the six people had more than thirty hands, and each hand held a kunao who had vomited venom. And under the precise control of the sand spider, these arms waved flexibly, and each blow stabbed at Ling Feng's vital point. It's just a little ghost, and you're trying to do it in front of me, I'll let you experience what it's like to be desperate. Looked. At Ling Feng, who was a little scrambling, and his smile became more and more hideous. As a genius of Sand Hidden Village, the Sand Spider has a strong talent for puppet control, and can flexibly control six puppets at the same time, if you do it with all your might, you can control eight, but if you exceed six, there will be loopholes in the control of the Sand Spider, so at the suggestion of Master Cho, the Sand Spider only controls six, and began to she practice day and night. This leads to the highest level of Sand Spider control over the puppet, which is six. Therefore, as long as the sand spider activates six puppets, it can be invincible and invincible. It's not a secret, the ninjas of the entire sand hidden village know it. So the only way to deal with the sand spider is to kill the six golems before he activates them. But there is such a little ghost who is not afraid of death, and he actually allowed the sand spider to successfully activate six puppets, which is completely burying himself on the verge of death. The six puppets became more and more courageous as they fought, and the power amplifiers were staggered, negating some of Ling Feng's deadly attacks. Slowly, the battle rhythm of the sand spider is getting better and better, 
and the state of the whole person has reached its peak, and it seems that the advantage between the fields has been firmly occupied by the sand spider. Humph, even you little ghost wants to kill me. Foolish dreams. Let me send you on your way now. They. Sand spider grinned, and was about to manipulate the puppet to launch a final attack on Ling Feng. But at this moment, Ling Feng disappeared again. Damn, is it the teleportation technique again, how can this damn little ghost practice the teleportation technique to such a terrifying realm? The sand spider scolded angrily, but he could only quickly summon the puppet back for defense, if he was successfully attacked by Ling Feng again, it would really be regarded as a joke. As a genius puppeteer in Sand Hidden Village, he was successfully attacked by a ten-year-old Kanaha imp twice in a row, if he said it, even if he won in the end, he would probably be disgraced. But when Ling Feng reappeared, he was standing opposite the sand spider. Humph, don't try to sneak up on me again this time. They. Sand spider sneered. Ling Feng shrugged his shoulders indifferently, and then said, Don't worry, I won't sneak up on you. I already know about the abilities of your puppets, and your chakra shouldn't be much. What? The sand spider was stunned when he heard this, and his heart was shocked, how did this little ghost know? Seriously, your mentality is really too bad, you will be disturbed by me, you control the six puppets itself will consume a huge amount of chakra, and as a result, you still launched a fierce attack on me, although on the surface it seems that you have the advantage, but in fact, you are venting the anger in your heart. I thought that you would have some ability as a great apprentice of Cho, but it turned out that you are just a reckless man without a brain, in terms of talent and strength, you are indeed first class, but in terms of IQ, it is really too low. The so-called chief disciple of Cho is nothing more than that. Ling Feng looked at the sand spider and gave his own evaluation unceremoniously. Hearing this, the sand spider's face changed for a while, and it instantly became gloomy. Die, Kanaha Imp. After speaking, the sand spider controlled the six puppets and directly released the ultimate. The bodies of the six puppets changed, countless small mechanisms were activated, and all those limbs shrank back, and then all kinds of weapons stretched out, turning the six puppets into killing machines with weapons all over their bodies. Originally, this move was intended to be reserved for your Kanaha army, since you want to die so much, then I will use this move to send you on the road first. It's just that your death will become very ugly. But all of this is your own doing. They. Sand Spider let out a loud cry and controlled the puppet to rush towards Ling Feng, intending to have a final wave of decisive battle. Seeing this, Ling Feng's face also sank, and then his hands quickly sealed. Wood Escape, Sea of Trees Descending Fire Escape, Phoenix Immortal Fire Technique Wind Escape, Great Storm In the eyes of outsiders, Ling Feng only formed one seal at an extremely fast speed, but in fact, Ling Feng formed three seals. A set of combination skills that had been repeatedly trained before were released. Soon, more than a dozen huge fireballs shot up into the sky and then smashed the six puppets. Seeing this scene, the sand spider was also taken aback, but he didn't expect Ling Feng to have so many attributes of ninjutsu, and they were all A-level. Ninjutsu Considering the material of the puppet, the sand spider had to defend against it, and fortunately, in order to prevent fire escape, the sand spider improved these puppets, and the surface of these puppets was covered with a layer of water escape ninjutsu, the purpose was to extinguish it as quickly as possible after the fire. Seeing these six puppets withdraw, Ling Feng raised his eyebrows slightly, it seemed that this sand spider was indeed not comparable to those ordinary puppeteers. After a long time of extinguishing, the flames were extinguished, and Ling Feng saw that the six puppets were all a little black and smoking, but none of the puppets were damaged. Humph, you little ghost has given me a lot of surprises but there is no way to destroy my puppet. How is it? Are you disappointed to see this scene? Hehe, <laughs> I think you should have run out of whole cards, right? Then it's time for me to do it. The sand spider walked out from behind the puppet and looked at Ling Feng, his face gloomy. 
When Ling Feng heard this, he smiled faintly, That's right, I was very surprised that you were able to extinguish these flames, but my whole cards, this is not just these. Hearing this, the sand spider's eyes sank, and a bad premonition suddenly appeared in his heart. After Ling Feng finished speaking, he quickly opened the system wall and began to browse. Since ordinary fire escape can't destroy those puppets, you can only find things above fire escape. While drinking sand spiders confronted each other, they quickly browsed the content in the mall. The current Ling Feng has more than 8,000 points on his body. Some of the grey options were now available because the points had met the requirements. A quick flip through the... Ling Feng stopped abruptly, looked at what was displayed above, and grinned. Finally found something that could rise above the fire. Melting. This is a kind of blood inheritance boundary that is fused by the fire attribute and the earth attribute together. Powerful as lava. And lava, the temperature is much higher than that of the fire escape, and it is also not something that ordinary water escape can extinguish. Although the exchange of points is as high as 8,000 points, this is enough for Ling Feng, because the points on his account can just be exchanged. Otherwise, Ling Feng would have to find a way to delay a little longer and gain more points. Melt. Redeem. As. Ling Feng's thoughts moved, the system automatically exchanged 8,000 points for melt away. In the next second, Ling Feng felt his head sink, and then, a new wave of information entered his mind. Then the ninjutsu about melting escape also appeared in his mind. This is the new ninjutsu that the system automatically she for the host after activating the blood relay boundary. During the period when Ling Feng was exchanging for melting escape, the sand spider had been carefully watching out for Ling Feng's next moves. However, after finding that Ling Feng had not taken action after saying the cruel words, he slowly relaxed his vigilance. Humph, you're a little ghost, you're still going to deceive people. But this little trick can't save your life. Die. They. Sand Spider thought that he might have been tricked by Ling Feng, and immediately shouted angrily, controlling the black puppet and rushing over. But at this moment, Ling Feng raised his head, and there was a light flashing in his eyes. Melt Escape, Burning River Rock Technique. With. A soft shout. A stream of magma erupted from the ground, and then flowed wildly down the ground like a river, aiming directly at the six golems that were speeding up. Seeing this scene, the sand spider was shocked. What? It's a melt escape. What kind of person are you, little ghost? Shocked. The sand spider tried to quickly recall the puppet, but it was too late. Because the puppet moved extremely fast, by the time the sand spider reacted, it was already very close to Ling Feng. And Ling Feng's melt escape flowed faster, and by the time the sand spider wanted to recall, it had already flowed to the feet of those puppets. The consequences of being contaminated by the melt escape can be imagined, although these puppets have passed special treatments, and there are water escapes on the surface to protect them, but the melt escapes are not at all something that ordinary water escapes can solve. In an instant, all six of these puppets were covered in flames, supported by melting, and these puppets were quickly eroded on the surface, losing their protection, and the internal components were even more combustion, and soon all six puppets turned into burning people. Seeing this scene, the sand spider's eyes suddenly turned red and let out an extremely tragic wail. These six puppets are his life's work, they have accompanied him in countless battles and defeated countless powerful enemies which is also the foundation for him to become the top powerhouse in Cheyenne village, but now, these six corpses are about to be burned out. Losing the puppet, the sand spider is like losing seven souls and six spirits, and the whole person stands in place with blank eyes, as if he has lost his life. Ling Feng knew that even if he let the sand spider leave now, he would no longer be able to pose a threat to Kanaha in the future. This blow is absolutely fatal to the sand spider, I am afraid that he will no longer be able to control the puppet in the future, and this failure will cause his status in the Sand Hidden Village to plummet, even if he can get out of the psychological shadow, but he will have to bear the cold eyes and cynicism of the village. 
This kind of psychological damage is not something that ordinary people can bear. What's more, the sand spider is still such an arrogant and conceited person. Seeing that the six puppets of the sand spider turned into firemen and finally turned into a pile of ashes, the puppet army led by the sand spider froze in place one by one, unable to believe what was happening in front of them. Ding! Earn 600 points. Ling. Feng casually picked up a kunao on the ground, and then slowly walked towards the hollow-eyed sand spider. Anyway, now you are no different from a dead person, you have no heart, or you are also guilty, why don't you let me free you? After speaking, Ling Feng quickly swiped it, an array of blood flashed, and the sand spider's body was in a different place, and he died. Finally, the ninjas of Sand Hidden Village on the frontal battlefield also noticed the battle situation on Ling Feng's side, and they couldn't believe their eyes one by one. What? Lord Sand Spider was actually killed by that imp? No, is this Kanaha imp so powerful? Yes, I saw with my own eyes that Kanaha imp killed Lord Sand Spider with Kunao. With? The death of the Sand Spider the army of Sand Hidden Shinobi began to appear unstable. Tsunade also found out about the good news and was overjoyed. Good boy, you've surprised me again. At the same time, the puppet legions who were on standby finally reacted. Although they knew that Ling Feng was powerful, the Sand Spider was their leader, and when the leader died, they were naturally very sad and angry. Everyone, Lord Sand Spider is dead, we must avenge him. That's right, if we leave like this, we'll be so sorry. For Lord Sand Spider. What are you kidding, the other party is just a Kanaha imp, even if he happens to kill Lord Sand Spider, can he still deal with us at once? We have more than a hundred people. Although the Sand Spider was dead, these people relied on cheering each other on, and their momentum actually rose again, and they had only one purpose, that is, to kill Ling Feng. So hundreds of puppeteers released their puppets and killed Ling Feng. Facing this elite puppet army of Shayan village, Ling Feng smiled coldly. Even the sand spiders can't help me for half a point, just by relying on you, it's just a group of rabble. I'll let you know what a gap is. Molten Lava Chakra Mode Ling Feng let out a low sigh, and the chakra attribute in his body suddenly turned into a lava attribute. Ling Feng then took the initiative to rush towards the puppet army and began to kill. Although they are all elite puppeteers, once they touch the lava chakra, no matter how powerful the puppet is, they can only wait to turn into ashes. Hee <laughs> hee. What a bullshit elite puppet division legion, it's simply vulnerable. With the molten in hand and transformed into lava chakra, the threat of these so-called elite puppeteers to Ling Feng is equal to zero. Even if their puppets have been tempered and their defense has been improved, no matter what, they can't compare to those puppets of the sand spiders. With the power of Ling Feng's lava chakra, even the special puppets of the sand spider could be easily incinerated, not to mention these ordinary puppeteers, they couldn't stop Ling Feng at all. But Ling Feng didn't rush to kill them. Because these are all great opportunities to increase the points. When Ling Feng was wantonly destroying those puppets, the system's prompt was also constantly announcing the news of the increase in points. Ding! 300 points. Ding! 260 points. Ding! 280 points. Ling Feng destroyed the puppets of these puppeteers one by one, but he didn't hurt them. The puppeteers saw it in their eyes and were angry in their hearts but they couldn't do anything about Ling Feng, and even many puppeteers were angry and vomited blood on the spot. Because each puppet is their lifelong combat partner, and it took a lot of effort to make it, but now it was burned by Ling Feng's fire, leaving only a pile of black ash, and then it was blown away by the wind and sand. This is called murder. For puppeteers, without puppets, they can basically only wait for death so Ling Feng destroying their puppets is equivalent to declaring their death. And at this moment, those ninja legions in Sand Hidden Village are fighting with the ninja legions of Kanaha in full swing, and they are all fighting on the frontal battlefield, and they can't care about the puppet legions at all. 
Even if you want to send additional reinforcements, it will take at least 15 minutes to see the distance, and Tsunade leads the team, so it is impossible to let other enemies support and make trouble when Ling Feng is in an advantageous situation. Although these elite puppeteers can still burst out some surprising manipulations and ninjutsu from time to time, they are meaningless to Ling Feng, who is already proficient in the instantaneous technique, not to mention that Ling Feng also has intermediate riding wheel eyes and white eyes, and all the bells and whistles are floating clouds in Ling Feng's eyes. However, these puppet divisions are also worthy of being legions in the name of elites, and they should be a powerful legion cultivated by Shayan village at great cost. Each of their puppets is controlled to the point of perfection, although it is not as good as the Sand Spider's ability to control six puppeteers at the same time, but it can also make the puppets move as freely as people, and they also have combination skills, several squads attack together, which is equivalent to a combat team that is not afraid of death. But unfortunately, they were facing Ling Feng, a monster with multiple blood inheritance boundaries at the same time, and Chakra was almost infinite. Finally, when Ling Feng's points had accumulated to 3,700 points, all the puppets were destroyed by Ling Feng. Then the members of these puppet division legions all became the commanders of the light poles, and one by one they stood in place, completely unable to accept the facts in front of them. This. This can't be, we're the most powerful puppeteer in Sand Hidden Village. This must be fake. I must be dreaming. Damn. Why would we lose to a ten-year-old imp? All the puppeteers were muttering to themselves, but none of them wanted to believe that what was happening in front of them was real. Ling Feng estimated the time and said lightly, it's almost, the use value of these people has ended here. After speaking, Ling Feng slowly released the thunder and lightning chakra in his palm. Thunder escape Rachel flow knife. Because. His proficient use of Rachel had reached the limit. Ling Feng quickly derived a new ninjutsu. The power of thunder and lightning surged wildly, and then condensed into a light flashing lightsaber in Ling Feng's palm. And then the slaughter began. These puppeteers, who had no puppet protection, seemed to have turned into defenseless and weak old men, and they were indifferent to Ling Feng rushing towards them with his lightsaber. Ling Feng knew that it was because their hearts were dead. Without a puppet, it is equivalent to destroying their future, and a person without a future will naturally behave so sluggishly, there is no life at all. Well, these people are going to die anyway. If you want the Sand Hidden Village to stop the attack on Kanaha Village, then the only way is to completely destroy the ace combat power of the Sand Hidden Village, one is Cho's Great Apprentice, the Sand Spider, and the other, the puppet division army that they are proud of. But even the two weapons they are most confident in are going to be completely destroyed on this battlefield today. With a knife in his hand, Ling Feng seems to be an emotionless killing machine, there is no pause at all, as long as a burst of white light flashes, there will definitely be crimson blood splashing out, taking away a fresh life by the way. The killings are not stopping, and the points are also rising wildly. But this time, the source of the points was not these already numb puppeteers, but the ninjas of Sand Hidden Village who saw this scene from a distance, but couldn't step forward to help. As the last puppet master fell to the ground, it also announced that the Ace Legion that the Sand Hidden Village had spent a lot of manpower and material resources to cultivate was completely wiped out. And the ninjas of the Sand Hidden Village, who were still fighting the Kanaha Legion in the distance, began to show signs of collapse. There was a problem with the already powerful attack lineup, and the pace of the attack was getting slower. Because of the destruction of the Puppet Division Legion, their mentality has changed greatly and they have been severely hit. Originally, they thought that with the Sand Spiders and the Puppet Division Legion, this battle would be a sure victory. But the unimaginable result was that they were killed by a ten-year-old imp. This is undoubtedly a devastating blow to morale. Soon. The first line of defense of Sand Hidden Village was crushed by Kanaha. Ling Feng came to Tsunade's side, his face calm, his face was not red and his heart was not beating, and his breathing was extremely stable. How's the battle going? Looking at Ling Feng so indifferently, Tsunade felt a little hairy in his heart for no reason. 
was this really a ten-year-old child? Why did he have the anger that had killed so many people? As if life was just an object to him, and he didn't have to think much about it. And taking away life is as simple and ordinary as picking flowers and plants. It's not bad, especially after the Puppet Division Legion was wiped out by you, the enemy's morale is in chaos, and our morale is extremely high. Tsunade said. Ling Feng nodded, and then said, take advantage of the victory and pursue, let everyone start the pursuit. Until they are forced back to within three kilometers of the border. Hearing Ling Feng's words, Tsunade was stunned for a moment, and his face was a little shocked. We were going to hunt them down to the border of Sand Hidden Village, wouldn't we become trespassers? Ling Feng heard this, but looked at Tsunade with a slightly cold gaze. Feeling Ling Feng's cold gaze, Tsunade shuddered for no reason. This is the battlefield, you should know very well that if the war continues, there will be more casualties on both sides, and I can treat most of the wounded, but you must know that those who die cannot be resurrected. So we went directly to their homes to let them understand our strength, and it was the first warning to them, if they didn't listen, then we would kill them again. Kill them until they surrender. If you can't figure this out, then I don't think you are suitable to be the commander of the battle this time, because your cowardice will cause the casualties on both sides to continue to expand. It is possible that the ninjas of the Sand Hidden Village will die, and it is also possible that the ninjas of Kanaha Village will die. Would you like to see such a situation? Looking at Tsunade's somewhat evasive eyes, Ling Feng said word by word. Hearing this, Tsunade's heart immediately became confused. In my heart, I kept shouting, why? I feel guilty for a ghost's words, and I have no place to be ashamed. This feeling is really terrible. Although Tsunade is very reluctant to be lectured by a ghost, but after thinking about it, what Ling Feng said makes sense. Indeed, Tsunade believed that entering the enemy's border was an invasion of an offensive nature, so he should retreat. But Ling Feng thought that this was a sign of weakness, and it was also a chance for the enemy to breathe, once he had rested, he would definitely come back again, and the war would continue to continue. While one side advocates the end of the story, the other side advocates countering violence with violence and resolving the war as quickly as possible in an extreme time. In fact, both of these methods have happened on the battlefield, but it is difficult for Tsunade to imagine that the most violent method will come out of Ling Feng's mouth. For a moment, Tsunade felt that he was in a trance. It seems that he is not facing a ten-year-old ghost, but an old fritter full of war experience. Seeing Tsunade fall into a daze, Ling Feng's tone suddenly softened, Of course, you are the commander-in-chief of this battlefield, how to command, the power is in your hands, I believe you will make the right decision. Faced with Ling Feng's words, Tsunade's heart sank even more. This little ghost, as if he had already eaten himself, that easy appearance, is even deeper than the three generations of the city. In addition to the shock in his heart, Tsunade didn't dare to continue to be silent, the ghost knows what kind of terrifying words Ling Feng will say from his mouth if he continues to be silent. Well, you are right, if you want the war to end, you must be ruthless, make the enemy feel afraid, and take the initiative to sue for peace. When Ling Feng heard this, he immediately smiled, Tsunade Sr. is right, then please give an order. Soon. The order to pursue the victory reached the ears of every Kanaha ninja. Then the Kanaha Legion let out an extremely surging and excited shout, waving the weapons in their hands and rushing towards the ninjas of the deserted sand hidden village. This is their long pent up resentment, which has finally been vented in this moment. For a long time, they have been pressed and beaten by the sand hidden village because of their numbers, and thanks to the relatively strong comprehensive strength of the Kanaha ninjas, they have been able to hold out for so long. But no matter how much he persisted, the final result was still in crisis, if it weren't for Ling Feng's support and healing, I'm afraid that at this moment, Kanaha's defense line would have been completely defeated. Therefore, the Kanaha ninjas, who have experienced despair, are very eager to win the war, and they also want to end the war as soon as possible, and then return to peace, return to the village, and reunite with their families. 
and everyone knew in their hearts that as long as they broke through the national border of Shayan village, it meant that this war could basically be declared over. Even if there is any struggle in Shayan village after that, it will only be the last stubbornness. On the whole, the order to pursue the victory is the most correct. Looking at the excited Kanaha ninjas, Tsunade was a little stunned, but at the same time, he also understood that Ling Feng had once again made the right choice. It turns out that the ninjas of Kanaha have such a deep resentment hidden in their hearts. Also, as the commander-in-chief of the war, Tsunade sits in the base camp, but rarely goes to the front line, and he doesn't know how deep the hatred of these Kanaha ninjas is for Sand Hidden Village. Glancing at Ling Feng beside him, Tsunade was a little ashamed, his control of the war was even worse than that of a ten-year-old imp. Without a spiritual pillar, the ninjas in Shayan village had no leader and could only flee blindly, and many people died because of trampling during the period. Then he was chased and killed by the Kanaha ninja, and this scene can be said to be miserable. Originally, it was planned to break through the Kanaha defense line at one time, but it was killed not to mention, but it was also broken through its own defense line, and this battle may become the most ridiculous battle in the ninja war. However, the Kanaha ninjas stopped their pursuit when they entered the border of Sand Hidden Village for three kilometers. The reason is very simple, they have already vented their inner anger, and at the same time they are a little far away from their own home, if they attack blindly, they will only put themselves in a crisis, in case there is another hidden trump card of Shayan Village to sneak attack from behind, then the whole army will be wiped out. Seeing the Kanaha Legion withdraw, the ninjas of Sand Hidden Village breathed a sigh of relief, but at the same time, they didn't know what to do, so they sat on the ground one by one, looking at each other. Feng Shui takes turns, and the original big advantage instantly becomes a big disadvantage because of a small ghost, and the ninjas in Sand Hidden Village can't slow down at all, and they can't figure out the reason at all. But in any case, today's battle is a temporary end. Soon after, War reports reached the highest levels of their respective villages. The first to be delivered is the Kanaha High Rise. Inside the Hokage's office. The members of the Dark Department who were in charge of escorting the intelligence broke in in a hurry, and stood in front of the three generations out of breath, completely lacking the usual calm style of the Dark Department. Seeing this scene, the three generations were suddenly a little annoyed, because there was almost no happy news about the recent wars, and they were already depressed, but when they saw their subordinates behaving like this, they were naturally very dissatisfied. Why are you so out of shape? You're still an old member of the Dark Ministry, what kind of system have you become? They. Three generations reprimanded unceremoniously. However, the members of the Dark Department who came here didn't care, but held up the intelligence scroll in their hands and shouted, the battlefield between our side and Shayan village, the front line has been won. Hearing the words of the dark member in front of him, the three generations of apes stood up from their seats in a snap, obviously looking excited. What are you talking about? There is good news between Sand Hidden Village and our war zone? Quick! Show me! They Members of the dark department nodded and said, yes, we defeated the ninja army of Sand Hidden Village, Lord Ling Feng not only killed the Sand Spider, but also wiped out the Puppet Division Legion. After speaking, he handed the intelligence scroll in his hand to Ape Fei Ri Slash. After getting the information, Ape Fei Ri Slash quickly read it. Soon, Ape Fei Ri's face became extremely excited, and his eyes were full of brilliance. Holding the intelligence scroll, Ape Fei Ri Slash actually danced with his hands, ha ha ha. I'm not mistaken, this kid really never let me down. Great. Really great. Seeing the gaff of Ape Fei Ri Slash, his subordinates could understand, because Kanaha had participated in many battles recently, most of the people in the village had been dispatched, and they had spent a lot of manpower and material resources to meet this all-out war, but there was no news of victory until this time Ling Feng brought them good news. Perhaps realizing that he was too out of shape, Sarafi Iri Slash hurriedly adjusted his state, and then ordered, since the war has ended, let Ling Feng replace Tsunade as the commander, make adjustments to the border defense plan, 
minimize the number of garrisons while ensuring the security of the border, and then support other war zones. Yes. Three generations of adults. Seeing. His subordinates leaving, Sarafi IRI slash turned to look out the window, with a smile still on the corner of his mouth. He had a hunch that the terminator of the Ninja World War this time might be Ling Feng. At the same time, I also have a new plan in my heart, the next Hokage, or let the Water Gate compete with Ling Feng. In the original plot, Mizuto eventually became the fourth Hokage handpicked by the third generation, inheriting the will of fire and also wearing the Hokage cloak. But now, with the advent of Ling Feng, the limelight of Watergate has been completely overshadowed. Although the three generations also knew that under the leadership of the Watergate, the Kakashi team had also won many battles, but compared to Ling Feng's side, it could only be said that it was a small fight, after all, Ling Feng had solved the big problem in the border war zone alone. One of the most critical problems why Kanaha is in trouble is the lack of manpower. But now that Ling Feng has solved the border war zone in Shayan village, as long as he can ensure that the war will not continue, he can rest assured and boldly transfer his manpower to support other war zones. In this way, the pressure will be much less. Glancing at the contents of the intelligence scroll again, Abe Fei clearly saw everything Ling Feng had done, and knew that he would definitely handle the affairs of the Shayan village war zone properly. He he, at such a young age, he has such a clear prediction of the direction of the war, what a peerless genius. He actually let the army retreat three kilometers straight into the border of Sand Hidden Village, this kind of courage is really admirable. As the Hokage, Sarutobi Hizashi has always been conservative in thinking about things, which also led to one of the indirect reasons why Kanaha fell into crisis. Being conservative means being easy to be bullied, and Shimura knows this best, so he has always advocated violence. It's a pity that the third generation Hokage is Sarutobi Hichi, not Shimura Danzo. The supreme power of Kanaha is only in the hands of Sarutobi Hiza. However, how do you kid know about Danzu? He has been walking in the darkness of Kanaha. Ah, you let me be careful about him, what the hell does it mean? On the last piece of paper of the intelligence scroll, there was a sealing technique. With the strength of the ape's flying sun, it can naturally be easily discovered. After his subordinates left, Ape Fei Sun slash uncovered it, and then saw that it was written by Ling Feng's own handwriting. Three generations of adults, it is enough for Kanaha to have an assassination organization, as for the roots, there is no need to exist, if you can, please deal with Shimura Danzo. A simple sentence has many meanings. Even if it's an ape flying and slashing, it can't be fully understood. What Ling Feng said was groundless, but it seemed to be warning himself, but why didn't he explain the reason, could it be that there was something else hidden? Although Ape Fei Ri was very confused, but now Ling Feng was far away from the border, and he couldn't communicate head-on at all. But even if Ape Fei Sun Slash found Ling Feng, it would be impossible for the latter to explain the matter, because this might affect the direction of the plot. Therefore, Ling Feng's sentence can only be regarded as a reminder, as for how to do it, it all depends on Ape Fei's own choice. Anyway, the day Ling Feng ascended to the throne, these people would all have to die. At the same time, Ling Feng, who was far away on the border of Kanaha, was standing on a high slope, condescendingly watching a team of more than ten people in the distance was rushing towards Kanaha's base camp. It's finally here, and it's pretty fast. Ling Feng smiled faintly. Behind him, Tsunade walked over and looked over as well, with a look of surprise. I didn't expect that someone really came. They died so many people, and they also lost a puppet division army that cost a lot of money to cultivate, are they really willing to admit defeat? Ling Feng shook his head and said, even if they don't admit defeat, they don't have any way, because they no longer have the strength to continue waging war. It seems that our strong invasion that day made them realize that we have the strength to invade their country. However, they really came here to ask for peace? I think they should be unwilling maybe put forward other conditions, this should not be a simple negotiation. Tsunade said, rubbing his head. Hehe, he, 
as long as we can draw an end to this war, I believe that both sides have no reason to refuse, because if we continue to fight, Union Village will definitely suffer even heavier losses, and we are just spending a little more time in this war zone. Let's go back, since it was the other party's negotiation, then we naturally have to look like winners. Tsunade was stunned when he heard this, and couldn't help but smile and shook his head, he didn't expect Ling Feng's control of the details to be so in place, such a comparison, he was really bad. After returning to the barracks, tables were already set up on both sides and preparations were made for negotiations. It didn't take long for the negotiation team from Shayan village to arrive. Entering the barracks, the two sides looked at each other, inevitably with fierce sparks, but when they met Ling Feng's eyes, they were suddenly stunned, and infinite fear involuntarily emerged in their hearts. Seeing that the negotiation team of Sand Hidden Shinobu suddenly froze in place, Tsunade also realized that something was wrong. Hey, Ling Feng! What happened to them? The other party is the envoy who came to negotiate on behalf of Shayan Village. Is it an illusion? Hurry up and get rid of it. Soon. Tsunade guessed that the other party might have been caught in an illusion, so he kept standing in a daze, and quickly reminded Ling Feng to lift it. In the past, Tsunade had personally experienced Ling Feng's illusion, and it was indeed very powerful, if Ling Feng didn't lift it, these people might all die in the illusion. Because looking at the reactions of these people, it is obvious that their pupils are full of panic and timidity, and they are afraid that they are facing extremely terrifying monsters in the environment. That's right, Ling Feng had inflicted illusions on them. Humph, just a few middle ninjas, do you dare to be arrogant here? I'm also teaching them some lessons, hoping that they will understand that this land is not something that anyone can despise. Ling Feng said in a cold voice. As for what is in the illusion, only the group of middle ninjas in the Sand Hidden Village can see it. If there is anything that Sand Hidden Village is most afraid of, it is undoubtedly the rampage of a tailed beast. In this world, tailed beasts are always the most terrible natural disasters. Because tailed beasts cannot be killed, they can only be sealed, which is the origin of human pillar power. Because of the Nine Tails rampage, Kanaha was almost destroyed and the Sand Hidden Village suffered heavy losses because of the One's Rampage. This is also why the ninjas in this world have a natural dislike for human pillar power, not because they hate people, but because they hate the tailed beasts in those human pillar forces, and they all call them monsters. And now, these middle ninjas of the Sand Hidden Village are feeling the horror of a tailed beast. Finally, someone couldn't hold on any more and fell to the ground, covered in cold sweat. They wanted to escape, but they couldn't, in the illusion, only Ling Feng was qualified to dominate all the transformation of the picture. As long as Ling Feng wanted to, they would be chased by one tail until they died of exhaustion. Ling Feng! Almost! Tsunade shouted nervously as he saw someone fall to the ground. After all, this is here to sue for peace, not to declare war, isn't it too much to do this? Ling Feng said disapprovingly, if you can let this group of people keep to themselves, it won't be too much. After saying that, Ling Feng dissolved the illusion, and these people immediately lay on the ground, gulping and wearing rough clothes, where could they still take care of their image as a messenger? Seeing this scene, Tsunade was even more shocked in his heart. This Ling Feng, when did he release the illusion, and when did he release the illusion? Why didn't he notice it at all? Have you had enough of lying down? If you want to rest, I will arrange a more comfortable bed for you. The visitor is a guest, and now that there is a temporary truce, I will not treat you guests badly. Whatever is requested, just ask. Ling Feng said with a smile. Hearing this, the envoys of Shayan village hurriedly got up and patted the dust on their bodies in embarrassment. But the moment he looked up and saw Ling Feng, he was immediately stunned. All of them were dodging their eyes, and they didn't dare to look at Ling Feng more. Although they were all middle ninjas, they also knew the power of illusion, and from the moment they entered the door, they were resentful, because Ling Feng's arrival caused them to lose this war. So they were not convinced, and cast hostile glances. As a result, they were inexplicably hit by the illusion, 
which shows that Ling Feng's strength is far from what they can compete with. Sure enough, after being struck by an illusion, these people immediately became much more honest, and one by one they sat at the table prepared for them, motionless. Seeing these envoys from the Sand Hidden Village become so restrained, Tsunade was also shocked. I think they must have seen a very terrible picture. I said, you Shayan village don't attach much importance to this negotiation. I thought you would send a shinobi over, but it turned out to be a group of shinobi, what does this mean, look down on us. It's not a secret, as long as we want, we can hit your border again, even 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers. Just. As Tsunade was thinking about how to start, Ling Feng spoke again. Sure enough, the words were not shocking, and when he said this, he suddenly made the ninjas of Sand Hidden Village embarrassed and wanted to burrow into the ground. At the same time, he was also scared of Ling Feng's words. They came to negotiate, but they were breached again during the talks, so wouldn't they have become sinners for the ages? So the representative quickly got up and smiled bitterly, Lord Ling Feng, it's not that we despise your country. It's mainly that the adults with higher strength have all been injured in this war, and there is no suitable representative for the time being, so they can only send us here. Although our strength is average, we have also been authorized by the high level of Shayan village, and can represent all the decisions of Shayan village, and I hope that Lord Ling Feng will not care. Hearing this, Ling Feng smiled slightly, I see, I blamed you for it, please sit down and tell me what you mean by coming to negotiate this time. They representative nodded again and again, and then said, Thank you Lord Ling Feng for your tolerance, we came this time in the hope of having peace talks with your country, but... What's just that? Ling Feng raised his eyebrows slightly. You killed Cho Sama's eldest disciple, the Sand Spider, her old man was very angry and was ready to start a war again, but was tried to stop her by the higher UPS of our Sand Hidden Village but she still wants to meet with you and settle the grievances, otherwise, she will kill Kanaha village herself. Although we tried our best to stop it, her old man's attitude was very resolute, which made us very difficult. The representative of Shayan village said. Hearing this, Ling Feng squinted slightly, oh, what do you mean? Although this request may be a bit excessive. I hope you can go and meet Granny Cho to settle this grievance and exchange a peaceful ending for both of us. The representative of Shayan village said cautiously. Hearing this, Tsunade immediately slapped the table and shouted, How is this possible? Let our people go alone. To meet the enemy. If you want to meet, it's okay, let's shoot the ninja legion escort. Otherwise, don't talk. This. Lord Ling Feng, now that the war is truce, it's not appropriate to send a ninja legion to escort you, right? Said the representative of Sand Hidden Village in embarrassment. Ling Feng leaned back in his chair and said lightly, I understand, now you want me to go alone, to settle grievances with Zhou, and promote a peaceful ending between the two sides, right? Okay, I promise you. Ling Feng nodded and said. What? Ling Feng. You're kidding. Although there is a truce now, the peace talks have not been completed at all. As long as the agreement is not signed, it is still in the war period. You just went to Shayan village without any troops, you are simply going to die. Tsunade was almost frightened by the cup in his hand when he saw that Ling Feng had agreed so simply. It is no exaggeration to say that the current Ling Feng is the backbone of Kanaha village. Those ninjas in Kanaha village all have Ling Feng as the core, believing that as long as Ling Feng is there, they will be invincible. So at this juncture, Ling Feng is a person who must not have an accident, not even the slightest cold. It is necessary to continue to be invincible in front of the Kanaha ninjas, because in the eyes of these Kanaha ninjas who have experienced despair, Ling Feng is a god. But now the god actually plans to go to the Sand Hidden Village alone and no one will agree. Even if Ling Feng's strength is very strong, he can single-handedly take on the Sand Spider and the Puppet Division Legion of a hundred people, can he still single-handedly take on the entire Sand Hidden Village? Seeing Tsunade's shouting, Ling Feng couldn't help but laugh, 
the other party has said that as long as the contradiction with Cho is resolved, this war can end, what are you afraid of? Tsunade shook his head again and again and said, it's not that I'm afraid of anything, but I can't trust them at all in this situation. In the event of a sudden attack, we will not be able to support them. Besides, how did they discuss it within the Sand Hidden Village, where do we know? After speaking, Tsunade looked at the representative of the Sand Hidden Village and shouted, Did I say that you came here on purpose to find trouble? If you really want to negotiate peace, why don't you let the old woman come over by herself? Hearing this, the ninjas in the Sand Hidden Village were all taken aback, but they didn't expect that Ling Feng could be appeased by the end, but now Tsunade was furious again. Although they were afraid of Ling Feng, they did not dare to continue to provoke Tsunade in the face of anger. Because before Ling Feng arrived, they had always fought against Tsunade, and they knew that this woman with strange powers was not easy to mess with. With their mid-ninja strength, they will definitely die against Shang Ling Feng, but against Shang Gang Xiao, I am afraid that there will be no good end. After all, it's one of the three ninja of Kanaha, and it's no joke. Looking at the embarrassed appearance of the representative of Shayan village, Ling Feng said lightly, I can understand, Cho has died of the eldest apprentice, if she comes over in person, I am afraid that she will directly attack me, this is what you are worried about, right? The representative of Shayan village wiped the cold sweat on his forehead, nodded again and again and said, that's right, that's right, after discussion at the top of our leadership. We are worried that we won't be able to control Chosama's emotions if we get here, but if you go to Sand Hidden Village, we will find a way to suppress Chosama and ensure your safety. Fart. If you really have a chance to kill Ling Feng, you can't stop it at all, but you will help. Tsunade slammed the table into pieces and shouted angrily. The ninjas of Sand Hidden Village trembled and hugged each other in fright. Seeing this, Ling Feng smiled lightly. It's okay, I can go with you, Tsunade Sr. is just worried about my safety. Ling Feng, don't mess around. Don't rely on the three generations of adults to cover you, let me tell you, this is still my territory, I am still the boss here, I don't allow you to go. Tsunade shouted in a deep voice, because she found that her words seemed to be of little use to Ling Feng, so she could only accentuate her tone, trying to make Ling Feng understand that she was serious. Lord Ling Feng. If you don't go, how to deal with the contradiction between you and Chosama, we hope to have a long-term peace with Kanaha village, and if this contradiction is not handled, I am afraid it will become a hidden danger in the future. They. Representative of Shayan village said with a wince. Shut up. If you mention Ling Feng again, I'll tear your mouths off. Exclaimed. Tsunade. The representatives of Shayan village immediately closed their mouths honestly. There was a sudden silence in the room. Tsunade stared at Ling Feng, wanting him to give him a satisfactory answer. As long as you don't go to Shayan village, it doesn't matter if the war continues, at least Kanaha will definitely have the upper hand. But if something happens to Ling Feng when he goes to Sand Hidden Village, or threatens Ling Feng's life, then Kanaha will definitely be finished. A ten-year-old kid can kill the sand spider alone, and he can also deal with the puppet master army of a hundred people, this kind of strength is already almost at the shadow level, not to mention that this is definitely not the peak of Ling Feng. And Ling Feng has more opportunities to grow. In the face of a peerless genius with such potential, Tsunade had to keep Ling Feng even if he put his life on the line. Tsunade Senpai, for the sake of peace, I'm willing to go. Ling Feng spoke. Are you still going to take a trip? Tsunade frowned, and then slowly got up, you really think too much, it's a village, I hope you can put away those willfulness and think more about the village. Ling Feng shrugged his shoulders indifferently, if you're worried that there are more powerful puppeteers in Shayan village, then you don't have to, to be honest, I already know a lot about the fighting methods of puppeteers, it's nothing more than the difference in the number of puppets. Hearing this, the representatives of Shayan village looked ugly, as if they had eaten. Could it be that the puppet master with an extremely high status in their hearts was so ordinary and no threat to Ling Feng? 
but it was an indisputable fact that Ling Feng killed the Sand Spider alone and wiped out the Puppet Division army. In the face of Ling Feng's self-confidence, Tsunade became more and more angry, Ling Feng, are you planning to disobey my orders? Ling Feng spread his hands and said, if what you say is right, of course I will listen, but your worries are meaningless, and it will affect the peace talks between the two sides, so why should I listen? Ling Feng, don't force me to make a move. Tsunade took a step forward, and the momentum in his body skyrocketed in vain. You want to stop me? To be honest, you still had a chance three or four years ago, but now, it's impossible. Facing Tsunade, who was about to make a move, Ling Feng had no fear. In the past three years, Ling Feng has been training hard in the ninjutsu he has mastered, including the Hundred Heroes technique and strange power. If you really want to compare, Ling Feng can make a tie with Tsunade with these two things alone, not to mention that Ling Feng has more whole cards. Hearing Ling Feng's answer so arrogant, Tsunade was angry with his teeth, and then shouted sharply, OK. I have long wanted to have a serious fight with you. Come on. If I win, you will stay honest. Then what if I win? Ling Feng also stepped forward and said lightly. If you win, then I'll take your pick. Tsunade said through gritted teeth, fist clenching. Okay, it's a deal. Ling. Feng nodded. Seeing the tense scene of the two bigwigs, the representatives of Shein Village suddenly trembled, hiding behind the table and not moving, eager to find a box to cover themselves. Maybe it's because Tsunade has come to the Big Ant recently, and her temper has suddenly become so hot. Ling Feng knew that Tsunade was doing this for his own good, but peace talks with Sand Hidden Village right now would be the best outcome, because it would free up time for him to go to other war zones. The Third Ninja War had just begun, and it was expected to end in two or three years, but Ling Feng hoped that the sooner the better. But in this world, only Ling Feng can see what is going to happen in the future, because he knows. And Tsunade they can only see what is in front of them, so they can't understand Ling Feng's behavior. In that case, it can only be bigger than anyone's fist. Ling Feng acted without explaining to anyone at all. If someone wants to block it, then open the way. Even if it's your own people. Tsunade saw that Ling Feng had no intention of retreating at all, and he knew that this battle was undoubted. Although he couldn't understand Ling Feng's behavior, Tsunade would never allow Ling Feng to take risks for the sake of Kanaha's future. Then come on, I will use all my strength. No matter what, I won't let you leave this barracks today. After. Tsunade finished speaking, the momentum of his whole body continued to rise, reaching the peak in an instant, and there were also black lines on his forehead, which was the precursor to the release of Bai House technique. Unexpectedly, in order to block Ling Feng, Tsunade actually opened his ultimate move as soon as he came up. It's true that Tsunade is born with strange powers, but Tsunade who has opened the technique of Bai Hao will be even better. The middle ninjas of Sand Hidden Village saw this scene, and their faces were directly frightened. It's a hundred heroes, is it true that Tsunade is here to play? That's terrifying, why is the gate so far away from us? It's over. You have to hide for a while, if you really want to be hit by a punch, I'm afraid you won't see the sun tomorrow. Seeing that Tsunade was ready, Ling Feng smiled faintly, then raised his hands and began to slowly seal. Because, Ling Feng just wanted Tsunade to see what the ninjutsu he was about to unleash was. Soon, Tsunade's pupils shrank sharply, and his face was full of shock. What? You will also use the Hundred Hao Technique. That's right, Ling Feng also released the Hundred Hao Technique, he wanted to see who was better in the two sides. At this time, the representatives of Shein Village were completely stunned, and they were stunned to see that both sides had opened the Hundred Hao Technique, and their hearts were pounding wildly. Ling Feng can also use the art of Bai Hao. Kanaha's combat power is too terrifying, isn't it? It's Ling Feng who is too terrifying. Ding. Get 120 points. Ling. Feng grinned, 
it seemed that this one would be able to earn another wave of points. Come on, if you want to fight me, then do as you wish. Ling Feng beckoned and said lightly. Tsunade gritted his teeth and rushed straight forward. As a ninja who majored in medical ninjutsu, Tsunade relied entirely on his own strange strength in combat. Anyway, in the face of absolute power, any bells and whistles are floating clouds, and it is precisely because of this that Tsunade is one of the three ninjas. But Ling Feng is completely different. He has the same strange power and the art of Bai Hao, and he is also proficient in a variety of physical arts. For example, Baiman Dunjia and Bagwazang. So when the two sides went to war, there was an overwhelming situation in an instant. Looking very ferocious, Tsunade basically missed, on the other hand, Ling Feng, who seemed to attack slowly and casually, but he was able to accurately hit some key positions of Tsunade every time. It didn't take long for Tsunade to be out of breath and exhausted, while Ling Feng's face was indifferent, his breath was gentle, and he knew which was stronger and which was weak. But the battle between the strange forces, that is bound to be extremely dynamic. The barracks, which were originally very spacious, are now very crowded and cramped. Countless pieces of rubble were easily lifted, splashing everywhere, the ground cracking, and the roar followed one after another, as if it were thunder. The ninjas of Shayan village fled in embarrassment, trembling, weak and helpless, one by one they wanted to cry without tears, thinking that they had created some kind of sin, and they would suffer all the way here. Finally, the fighting stopped. Tsunade was half sitting on the ground, panting heavily, Bai Hao's technique had been lifted, as if he had no strength. And Ling Feng also lifted Bai Hao's technique, and as a result, his breathing only increased slightly, but he quickly returned to normal, as if this fierce battle had almost no impact on him, just a warm-up. Looking at the indifference on Ling Feng's face, Tsunade sighed helplessly, she knew that the gap between herself and Ling Feng was too big. I throw in the towel. Tsunade said reluctantly. Despite this fact, she was almost 30 years old, and Ling Feng was only 10 years old. Not to mention such a big age difference, it is outrageous to be able to crush yourself. Then according to the rules, I can choose whether to go or not to go, and you can't stop me anymore. Ling Feng said. Tsunade nodded. Since it's my own words, I can only admit it. But I hope you can give yourself a guarantee, even if you think it doesn't matter, I hope you can think about it for me and for the village." Tsunade said, standing up. Hearing this, Ling Feng fell silent. And the representatives of Shayan village, who survived the catastrophe, no longer had the heart to sigh that their little lives were hard enough, and the purpose of their arrival this time was to let Ling Feng follow him to Shayan village, so they were all nervous at this time for fear that Ling Feng would not agree. Okay, I'll give myself a guarantee of security. With that, Ling Feng walked up to the representative of Shayan village. The delegates immediately stood up straight, like soldiers waiting for review, and in the face of Ling Feng, who was so strong that he was perverted, they really didn't dare to make even a little move. How old is I'm Luo from your village? Hearing this question, the deputies were stunned for a moment, but they still answered honestly, it's one and a half years old, but I still can't walk on the ground. I know, because he has a tailed beast sealed inside him. Ling Feng said lightly. Suddenly, the representatives of Shayan village looked shocked. Even Tsunade's eyes widened, how did Ling Feng know about this news? This is the secret of our village, how do you know that? The delegates expressed their doubts. Ling Feng said with an indifferent face, I don't need you to ask more about how I know, it's okay for me to go to your village, but when I enter the border, I need you to hand over my I Luo to me, and I will carry it with me throughout the whole process. For Ling Feng's request, the representatives of Shayan village were shocked one by one, and at the same time, they were extremely nervous. First of all, they didn't know where Ling Feng got this news at all because the sealing of the tailed beast in my arrow's body was something that happened half a year ago, and it was sealed by Cho himself, which was also known only to the high-ranking personnel of Sand Hidden Village. Although the people of Sand Hidden Village slowly knew some news, no matter what, 
it shouldn't be the people of Kanaha who also knew. Secondly, Ling Feng's request seemed to be just a bargaining chip, but when zoomed in, Sand Hidden Village definitely had reason to suspect that Ling Feng was doing this to destroy the human pillar force of Sand Hidden Village, re-release a tailed beast, and cause major disasters to Sand Hidden Village. They could understand that Tsune didn't dare to let Ling Feng go to Shayan Village alone, but why didn't they worry that Ling Feng would be ruthless after he got my arrow? Seeing that the representatives of Shayan Village were in a daze, Ling Feng was not in a hurry, he sat down in his seat again, and said lightly, You don't have to rush to give me an answer, I allow you to go back and report to the village, give you three days, if you agree, I will go, after three days, if you don't come back, then I will not go as if you did not agree. Then this negotiation will end without a problem, as for the consequences, please consider it yourself, I am a man of my word, since I promised Tsunade seniors, then I must ask you for an absolutely weighty bargaining chip before going to Shayan village alone. Okay, that's all for today's negotiations, please go back, or you can live in the dormitory we provide now and discuss slowly. After speaking, Ling Feng directly issued an eviction order. After the representatives of Shayan village left, Tsunade walked in front of Ling Feng and said with a frown, How do you know that the people of Shayan village will be my arrow? What? You are also suspicious of me? Ling Feng leaned back in his chair and said unhurriedly. Tsunade shook his head repeatedly, No, I'm just curious, because I've never heard of it, and the three generations of adults haven't told about it. That's because even if you talk about it, it doesn't have anything to do with war, so why do you say it? And it's someone's tailed beast, someone's human pillar force, if we have any idea it will also be the fuse that caused the outbreak of war, and the three generations of adults will definitely not allow it. Finally, what else do you want to know? Ling. Feng smiled faintly. Tsunade was silent for a moment, then stared into Ling Feng's eyes for a long time, as if to find something in his eyes. Then he sighed and said, I really don't have much interest in this secret, you're right, this is someone's tailed beast and it's also someone's human pillar force, and it has nothing to do with us, but I just want to know, if it wasn't for the third generation, how did you get this news? In response to Tsunade's question, Ling Feng raised his eyebrows slightly. He can't say that he knows everything about the future of the world, right? That would definitely be doubted. So Ling Feng casually found a reason, okay, since you want to know so much, then I'll tell you. Do you remember that before I came, I intercepted the puppet division team that came to support from Sand Hidden Village, right? Tsunade nodded. That team has a total of 30 people, and the leader of the team is also one of the high-level leaders of Shayan Village, because this operation is very important to them, so the people sent are also strong elite Shangnan, after I defeated them, I didn't kill them immediately, but tortured them one by one, of course. If there is no position and status in Shayan village, I will kill it directly. And then I asked about it in the mouth of that high-level person. Ling Feng explained, and at the same time deliberately said in detail, which was more true. Hearing this, Tsunade's brow suddenly furrowed, and then he was relieved, I see, no wonder you can know this kind of secret, then what else do you know? Ling Feng spread his hands and said, then there is their plan of action for the war but their squad is the key, after being wiped out by our regiment, any battle plan is a floating cloud, and it is meaningless. Tsunade nodded, that's right, now that the war is over, those plans are really meaningless, so do you think keeping my arrow by your side is the biggest guarantee? That's right, tailed beasts are secret weapons that have been passed down from generation to generation in major villages, and they are generally not easy to use, and at the same time, this is also a very difficult monster to control, as long as I control my arrow in my hands, they will definitely not mess with me, otherwise I will kill my arrow as soon as possible, and release a tailed beast, before they find the next suitable container, the riot caused by the tailed beast is definitely a devastating hazard. Ling Feng said. When you say that, I am reminded of the story that my grandfather once told me about the story of the tailed beast that went berserk and nearly destroyed the village. 
Sunate immediately remembered a story he had heard as a child. Ling Feng didn't speak, but he was muttering in his heart, according to the plot, it seems that the Nine Tails Rebellion is not far away, and it will basically break out in the next year or two. But Ling Feng didn't say it, otherwise Tsunade would come to ask again, and he wouldn't know what reason to explain. Okay, I'll go back and rest first if there's nothing else to do, and I'll talk about it after the people from Shayan village give an answer. With that, Ling Feng got up and left. Tsunade looked at Ling Feng's departing back, and didn't say anything more this time. Since Ling Feng had already promised himself to find a safe enough chip to go to Shayan village, let him go. Because Tsunade also knew that Ling Feng's purpose in going to Sand Hidden Village was also to be able to completely resolve the war. The next day, Ling Feng got up to prepare for morning exercises, because of the war, he had not practiced for nearly a month. Not long after the morning exercise, I received a message from Tsunade that the representative of Shayan village had left for the village in the middle of the night, and he should have gone to discuss it with the higher UPS. After hearing this, Ling Feng was not surprised, and then asked someone to bring a message to Tsunade, saying that the other party would definitely come back again, and it was time for him to leave. The meaning of this sentence is very simple, for their own request, Shayan village will definitely agree. In the barracks, after Tsunade learned of Ling Feng's answer, he was very puzzled and wanted to ask in person, but there were so many affairs in the army that he couldn't spare time at all, and Ling Feng would rather spend his time on cultivation than bother to manage these annoying trivial matters, otherwise Tsunade would be ready to give him the position of a general. After completing the morning exercise, Ling Feng returned to the army to have a delicious meal, and then went out to practice. This made her heart full of questions, and Tsunadu, who wanted to come to Ling Feng to ask a clear question, ran away, and she scolded her subordinates angrily. Damn! You will notify me next time Ling Feng comes back. If you let me run away again, you will send me to the front line as cannon fodder. Hearing this, his subordinates immediately stood up straight and bent down again and again to apologize. If he really went to the front line to be cannon fodder, he really wouldn't be able to survive the next morning. So when Ling Feng finished his cultivation and returned to his camp, he saw Tsunade arrive at the door. Aren't you supposed to be busy? Why are you running to me again? Ling Feng was very puzzled when he saw Tsunade. Tsunade was not polite, walked directly into the tent, and then found a stool and sat down. I'm busy, but I'm not as busy as you, this day and night, except for three meals. I don't even have a chance to talk to you, and I have to let people come over to squat, to put it mildly, or you are busier than me. Tsunade's words are a bit sarcastic. But Ling Feng said with a smile, you are busy with big things, and I am busy with some personal things, which is not enough to worry about. Tsunade couldn't help but give a thumbs up when he heard this, I've heard three generations of adults say that you're a little ghost, but you're very thick-skinned, but now I've seen it. Ling Feng shrugged his shoulders disapprovingly. So what do you want me to do, tell me? Tsunade sat up straight, and then asked, It's already the next day, and there is another day to go, so how are you so sure they'll come? Actually, don't you know this question when they come? Ask me, it's better to ask them directly. To be honest, I don't like to explain too much. Ling Feng said, Hearing this, Tsunade immediately gritted his teeth in anger, eager to fight with Ling Feng. But thinking that you can't beat it, forget it. Well, I beg you, because I haven't been able to figure it out for the past two days, and I can't sleep well, I just want to know what the basis for your judgment is. Because Tsunade has been able to feel that Ling Feng is getting more and more discussed in the army recently, it shows that Ling Feng's prestige in the army is higher than hers. This made Tsunade, who had been working the front line, very dissatisfied, he came to the army two months earlier than Ling Feng, and he also led everyone to win several key battles, and he still held the frontier for so long. Why did Ling Feng compare himself to himself in a month's time? And Tsunade found that he was confused about Ling Feng's thoughts and judgments, if it wasn't for Ling Feng to explain to himself, 
then he wouldn't have been able to figure it out anyway. Even though it's all for Kanaha village, Tsune doesn't want his hard work to go to waste. Because war is the fastest way to become famous. It's a descendant of the founder of Kanaha anyway, and if you don't want to be famous, it must be fake. Saying that he doesn't want to compete for the position of Hokage is also false. That's why Tsunade recommended himself and personally sat on the battlefields of Kanaha and Sand Hidden Village, with the purpose of winning this war, gaining fame, and laying a good foundation for the future position of Hokage. But the current trend is obvious, Tsunade's status is to be compared to Ling Feng, a ten-year-old ghost. Given Ling Feng's strength, Tsunade was also convinced. However, the analysis of the situation and the decision-making of the two sides on the issue are different. So Tsunade wanted to figure out what the basis for Ling Feng's choice was. Hearing Tsunade's words, Ling Feng smiled slightly and said, Actually, the reason is very simple, I also said before, if you continue to fight, the Sand Hidden Village will definitely not have an advantage, and they have no main strength, I am afraid that it will be difficult to deal with the attacks of other villages in the future. Then there is the anger on Cho's side, the death of the big apprentice, such hatred, it is impossible to pass it in a simple sentence, she is bound to use her power to ask the Sand Hidden Village to satisfy her desire for revenge against me. So under the general trend, under Cho's anger, even if it is to gamble my arrow's life, I will be asked to go to the Sand Hidden Village to complete the peace talks. On the one hand, it is to sign an armistice, and on the other hand, it is to settle this personal feud with Zhou. After listening to Ling Feng's detailed explanation, Tsunade was relieved, I see. I see, you are really good at analyzing things, I admire it. I only thought of the first aspect, but I did not think of the second. Because you think about too many things, unlike me, alone, without burdens. Ling Feng smiled. Okay, I see, there's one last day. What are your plans in case they don't come? Asked Tsunade. Despite knowing that Ling Feng was sure that the other party would come, Tsunade always liked to be prepared, because as long as the war was likely to continue, she, the manager, had to be prepared to deal with it. Ling Feng smiled faintly, Don't worry, no, they will definitely come tomorrow. My dinner has arrived, and after eating, I want to continue to go out to cultivate, and I am out of company. After saying that, Ling Feng got up, and then the guy who delivered the meal walked in with the lunch box. Tsunade looked at Ling Feng, who was enjoying dinner, and looked at it silently for a while, then got up and left. On the third day, Tsunade arrived at an observation deck early and looked in the direction of Sand Hidden Village. Even though Ling Feng's explanation was perfect and his considerations were clear and in place, Tsunade just didn't want to believe that Ling Feng's judgment could really be 100% correct. However, it is a pity that the people from Shayan Village still came. It's still the same people last time, maybe Sand Hidden Village thinks that sending an old face will make Kanaha's people feel more comfortable. But this time, Tsunade didn't give any good looks, which made the representatives of Sand Hidden Village confused, how could they inexplicably provoke Tsunade this time? But, in fact, Ling Feng was correct again, so Tsunade was a little angry. Everyone entered the barracks where the last negotiation took place and took their seats. Ling Feng asked straight to the point, have you thought about it? I hope you came to give me an answer this time, not to be a guest. Lord Ling Feng, to be honest, your request makes us in a dilemma, because no matter how you choose, there will always be one side that will bear a certain amount of risk. So after comprehensive discussion, we decided to replace my arrow with his two brothers and sisters, Tamari and Kankuro, they are all children of the four generations of Lord Kaze Cage, I believe that if they are taken hostage, there shouldn't be too much difference, right? However, when Ling Feng heard this, he directly shook his head and refused, unless it's me I lo, don't talk about it, as for the reason, in fact, you all know in your hearts that no matter how many hostages there are, they are far less valuable than one person's pillar power. In the face of Ling Feng's tough attitude, the ninjas of Sand Hidden Village suddenly looked embarrassed, obviously this was one of their tasks. They were also ready to continue bargaining with Ling Feng, 
but as soon as they saw Ling Feng's indifferent face, their hearts immediately pounded, and they were worried that if they continued to speak, they would be directly pressed to the ground and rubbed. What should I do? I don't even dare to speak. Who isn't, let's agree to Ling Feng's request, I'm worried that we won't be able to go back. Yes, yes, as for the requirements of the village, we have completed it there, so let's wait until we go to the village and let them figure it out by themselves. It didn't take long for one of the representatives to cough twice and say, Lord Ling Feng, since you don't agree, then do as you ask, and we agree to hand over my I Luo to you. Hearing this, Ling Feng was about to nod, but Tsunade scolded loudly, your fart. I made a request just now, and now I suddenly agree, there must be something wrong with this. This roar almost scared the representatives of Shayan village and fell off their chairs. Tsunade Sama, you misunderstood, the village did agree to Lord Ling Feng's request, but it was just that it could be adjusted a little more, since Lord Ling Feng did not agree, then it was naturally done according to Lord Ling Feng's wishes. They Representative of Shayan village hurriedly stood up and explained. Looking at the representative of Shayan village, Tsunade's brows tightened, and his eyes widened, as if he wanted to see through the inside and out of that person. Just when the atmosphere reached a very tense state, Ling Feng spoke. Tsunade seniors, don't embarrass them, what decision can they make with a few middle ninjas? Hearing this, Tsunade looked at Ling Feng, then you mean, really go with them. Of course, I said before, as long as I can promise to give me my arrow, I will go. Ling Feng nodded, got up and said. Let's go, a few of you, don't delay the time, I want to eat the delicious food of your Shayan village at noon, okay? When the representative of Shayan village heard this, he immediately nodded and said, of course, of course, we will definitely treat you well. Hee <laughs> hee, let's go. After Ling Feng finished speaking, he got up and walked out of the tent. Tsunade followed, Ling Feng, are you sure this is okay? They didn't seem to be sincere at all. Don't worry, I know in my own heart, if no one can get it, I won't continue to follow them, even if there is an ambush, they will definitely not catch me. Ling Feng waved his hand and walked away without looking back. Tsunade watched Ling Feng go away, and Bei Yan bit his red lips tightly as if he was struggling with something. Assistant Aiko came to Tsunade's side and looked at Tsunade's line of sight, making a slurp sound. What are you doing? Tsunade reacted, his face flushing. Tsunade Sama, you're worried about Lord Ling Feng's safety, if you weren't going to be in the army, you would have accompanied you. Yingzi said. When Tsunade heard this, he immediately shouted, Nonsense! Busy with your business! After speaking, Tsunade quickly turned around and left, and Yingzi who was watching was laughing behind his back. At this time, Ling Feng had already led people to prepare to leave the border of the Fire Nation. Because of the confrontation between the two sides, the camps of each other are not far apart. But since the last time Ling Feng led Kanaha's ninja army all the way to the enemy's borders, the opponent's military camp had to forcibly retreat more than 10 kilometers to avoid being raided by Ling Feng again. However, because the two sides planned peace talks this time, Shayan village relocated the camp to the front line, also to facilitate the arrival of Ling Feng. Entering the camp in Shayan village, Ling Feng could clearly feel that the entire military camp was very wary of him. This is not difficult to understand, after all, Ling Feng single-handedly wiped out the strongest ace army in Shayan village, and the strength was so strong that no one dared to have the slightest suspicion, because they had all seen it with their own eyes. Compared with the worries of these ninjas in Sand Hidden Village, Ling Feng was indifferent, swaggering in the barracks, looking left and right from time to time, just like visiting a certain museum, everything here was just an exhibit in his eyes, including which ninjas in Sand Hidden Village. Of course, some people are afraid, and some people are dissatisfied. There were a few people who were not convinced, and they were ready to teach Ling Feng a lesson. Hiding in the crowd, he took advantage of Ling Feng to walk over, and several people attacked from behind together. But in the next second, a wall of earth instantly rose from the ground, blocking all those kunao. 
The sudden change startled the representatives of Shayan village, and they immediately turned around and reprimanded them. If this provokes the killing gods, they will all die. Ling Feng also stopped and said lightly, for the sake of the face of the representatives of Shayan village, I don't care much, but if there is still such a situation, don't blame me for being rude. With that, Ling Feng continued to move forward. The surrounding enemy ninjas were already full of shock, what happened just now, how did Ling Feng react in that emergency situation? And did Ling Feng seal just now? Ding! Gain 600 points. Because of the shock of these people, Ling Feng earned a wave of points in vain. Ling Feng smiled slightly, no matter how sneak these people attacked, their strength was there, they couldn't pose any threat to Ling Feng at all. Although most of them have seen their strong strength on the battlefield, there are also some who have not really seen it. In that case, Ling Feng didn't mind making a move on them, letting them understand where their strength was, and most importantly, they could also use this opportunity to earn a little more points. Even if Ling Feng had warned him, there would still be iron-headed babies who wanted to make a move on Ling Feng. These people are all people who have never really seen Ling Feng make a move, and once they do, they all know that it is best to stay honest and not get into trouble for themselves. Someone made another move, and Ling Feng Tu didn't reply, it was just a water escape, a big water rush, and they rushed into the sand with people and soil, directly turning the sand into quicksand, seeing that the person was about to be swept into the quicksand but fortunately, someone around him quickly pulled him out. Immediately afterwards, there were still people who continued to attack, but they were all easily solved by Ling Feng, from beginning to end, Ling Feng's body was not stained with a single trace of dust, and the attacks of those people were not even able to get close to the space of three meters around Ling Feng to be resisted or defused. Finally, the ninjas of Sand Hidden Village realized that Ling Feng's strength had already exceeded their imagination, and they also understood that if Ling Feng decided to continue fighting at that time, they would not have the ability to defend at all. Seeing that Ling Feng had easily killed those ninjas who had ideas, the representatives of Sand Hidden Village were sweating profusely. Because these people chose to sneak attack, it was definitely a blasphemy against Ling Feng. Obviously. They were all defeated by their subordinates, but they were still not convinced and choosing such an indiscriminate method of sneak attack could not make people angry. Not to mention that Ling Feng had made it clear that it would be unceremonious if anyone did anything else, which showed that he was very unhappy with this situation. But the problem is that although these representatives went out to negotiate on behalf of the village, their own strength was only at the level of the middle ninja, and it could only be said that they were old, had been mixed for a long time, and knew some political means so they were sent out to negotiate. Maybe there is still some prestige within the village, but when it comes to the battlefield, with their level, no one pays attention to what they say, and a few. Middle ninjas also want to call these ninjas on the battlefield to come and go as soon as they are summoned? What are you kidding, in terms of strength, these middle ninjas are just cannon fodder rushing to the front. So these deputies were very nervous at this time, on the one hand, they couldn't completely let these iron-headed babies stop, and on the other hand, they didn't know how angry Ling Feng was at these iron-headed babies. Once the tipping point is reached, and Ling Feng really breaks out, it will be troublesome. Because the delegates clearly saw that Ling Feng was treating these iron-headed babies more and more vigorously. The last batch of iron-headed babies who attacked Ling Feng were all buried in the sand, and more than a dozen people didn't dig it and no one knew how deep it was. I don't know if I can be rescued in the end. But fortunately, they finally passed the main road of the barracks. Lord Ling Feng, there is a messenger sent by the village to meet you in front of you, please. They. Delegates said respectfully, while constantly wiping the cold sweat from their foreheads. Because he was still on the front line at this time, he was afraid that it would take an afternoon to get to the village so he could only solve the problem of lunch here for the time being, and he couldn't let Ling Feng go hungry. Hearing this, Ling Feng nodded slightly and said, OK, but I hope you have prepared everything and don't make me wait any longer. To be honest, I've been really upset along the way, but I've tried my best to endure it. 
That's what I'm talking about, even though the attacks of these people are insignificant to Ling Feng, no one can stand the buzzing of a swarm of flies around him, it's too annoying. If it weren't for the fact that these iron-headed babies gave a lot of points to Ling Feng, Ling Feng would have killed people a long time ago. Anyway, with Ling Feng's current strength, even if he killed a few, Shayan Village wouldn't dare to do anything, after all, it was they who made the first move. Yes, yes, Lord Ling Feng, don't worry, we have prepared the special dishes of Shayan Village for you, and after you have enjoyed them, we will complete the handover of the hostages. They, Representative hurriedly said. Ling Feng snorted, and then walked into the tent. As soon as he entered the tent, Ling Feng smelled a very delicious aroma, which should be a delicious delicacy that had been prepared. Then Ling Feng saw that there were already a lot of people sitting in the tent, and when he looked at the costumes, he was a group of high-ranking and powerful beings in the village, who did not participate in the battle, but only participated in the setting of policies and plans, in short, these people were politicians. Ling Feng didn't have a good impression of politicians, so after a few polite words with these people, he took his seat. Seeing that the person who came in was actually a ten-year-old child, these politicians immediately whispered, obviously with some disdain for Ling Feng in tone and expression. But Ling Feng didn't care, because the people he came here to meet weren't this group of self-righteous politicians. Ling Feng then noticed that the delegates were about to leave after sending themselves into their seats, so he said, where are you going? Hearing this, the delegates turned to look at Ling Feng and explained, our task is to bring you here, and as for the handover ceremony after that, it is not our responsibility. When Ling Feng heard this, he shook his head and said, no, you continue to stay here and assist in completing the handover ceremony, I feel good about you in the past few days, you can speak on behalf of you in a while, forget about the others, I may feel unhappy and do it. After speaking, Ling Feng took the tableware and began to eat. The delegates on the side all looked at each other and looked embarrassed, but they didn't dare to refuse like that. Lord Ling Feng, you eat first, let's go and report the situation to the above. When he was in a dilemma, the representative could only temporarily send Ling Feng away, and then go to those politicians. It didn't take long for the representative to come over wiping a cold sweat, Lord Ling Feng, according to the rules, there is nothing to do with us here. But in the next second, a powerful momentum erupted from Ling Feng's body. I said it, you stay, otherwise, everyone here will die. Ling Feng said in a cold voice. In an instant, the entire camp was silent, and one by one, their faces were frightened. They are just politicians, and the highest is only the honorary forbearance, and the real strength is barely higher than that of the middle ninja where have they ever seen such a terrifying enemy? So they immediately and honestly carried out Ling Feng's request, and let the deputies continue to stay by Ling Feng's side and complete the docking of the hostages. But they all knew in their hearts that now the ninjas in the entire camp tent, and even those in the sand-hidden village outside, had become Ling Feng's hostages. No way, under the crushing of absolute strength, they had no ability to resist at all. After eating and drinking, Ling Feng wiped his mouth with satisfaction, and then said, Okay, the person I want, do you bring it? The representative answered, and then waved his hand, and immediately someone walked into the camp with a bamboo basket. Lifting the lid, Ling Feng glanced at Ai Luo, who was sleeping soundly in the bamboo basket, and after confirming that it was me, he nodded and said, Okay, then I'll follow you to the village. Seeing that Ling Feng had confirmed my arrow's identity, the politicians in the camp were all surprised, thinking that Ling Feng could really recognize my arrow. Although they thought in their hearts that maybe they could find a random baby to be my arrow, but Ling Feng's strength along the way made them break off this idea. But they were very suspicious in their hearts, Ling Feng said that he asked for me to follow arrow, but he had never seen the real arrow at all, how could he be sure of his identity? But, just now Ling Feng did choose to go to the village with them after seriously confirming the identity of Arrow. This shows that Ling Feng not only knows the existence of the pillar force of my Arrow, but can also easily identify it. In this way, 
wouldn't it be that Ling Feng knew all about the secret of Shein village? Immediately, all the politicians panicked, they didn't know how much more secrets Ling Feng knew about Shein village. After confirming my arrow's identity, Ling Feng agreed to go to Shein village to complete the peace talks. And the envoys who communicated with Ling Feng at the beginning also accompanied him on the journey, as for the others, Ling Feng refused all of them, and did not allow any outsiders to approach him. Although the high-level people of Shein village were very unhappy, they couldn't do anything at all, because now they could really only rely on Ling Feng, and they didn't dare to provoke Ling Feng, for fear that it would cause some bad results. Because they all knew about Ling Feng's strength from the envoy sent to Kanaha for peace talks, plus they had seen Ling Feng make a move with their own eyes, they were even more afraid of Ling Feng in their hearts. So I can only secretly tell those messengers to be optimistic about my arrow, and there must be no accidents, once Ling Feng attacks my arrow, I know that the seal is broken, and Ichai Wei will definitely come out to make trouble. And at the moment, Sand Hidden Village can be said to be in a leaderless state, not only the three generations of Wind Shadow are gone, but even the fourth generation of Wind Shadow died because of an accident, although there is no conclusive evidence but the high level of Sand Hidden Village thinks that this must be a good thing done by Kanaha Village. Therefore, once the tale appears, the crisis in Shein Village is almost unsolvable, and there will be even more tragic losses at that time. All this, Shein Village is very secretive, and no outsiders know about it, which is also the confidence for them to dare to pretend in front of Ling Feng, because once Ling Feng knows that Shein Village is not capable of dealing with Yai Wei at present, then Ling Feng will definitely find a way to release Yai Wei. How can there be peace talks at that time, won't all of this be controlled by Ling Feng? But what these people in Shein Village don't know is that no one in this world knows the current situation of Shein Village better than Ling Feng. Even the high-level officials of Shein Village couldn't have known more secrets than Ling Feng. Because of Ling Feng's order, only a few messengers followed the group and the rest of the people had to keep a distance of 100 meters. At this distance, no matter what accidents occur, Ling Feng can react as soon as possible. Lord Ling Feng, in fact, we have prepared a luxurious carriage for you, and there are beautiful women to accompany you, although you are still young, it is much better than looking at us middle-aged men. Ling Feng was very indifferent along the way, and he didn't take the initiative to speak at all, which made it very difficult for the envoys who wanted to get closer. So they discussed, and instigated a slightly bolder person to speak. Ling Feng raised his eyebrows slightly, the beauties of your sand hidden village are good, I have met a few on the road, those should be your medical ninjas, but I don't dare to approach, they all say that women are poison, this should be better known than me at your age. They. Envoy was speechless for a moment, thinking to himself. That you are only ten years old. How can you talk like an old man? It seems that you know all the great truths in this world. But after thinking about it, Ling Feng is only ten years old, so he has no interest in beautiful women at all. The messenger said again. There's no need, the geographical environment of your Shein village is not good, there are almost no smooth roads, even if you get in the carriage it is estimated that it won't be long before you come down and walk, right? Ling Feng said lightly. Now the envoy was stunned, Ling Feng was really the first time to come back. To Shein village? How did he understand it so thoroughly? But several of our positions are very low, and we can't say anything by your side, the purpose of your visit to Shein village this time is to talk about peace, you must want to ask some more in-depth political questions. If you change to someone with a higher position, maybe you can talk to you freely, and it is good to know more before arriving at the meeting site. The messenger changed the subject again. I didn't know that Ling Feng didn't reply this time, and waved his hand directly, there's no need, the peace talks are just to ask whether to fight or not, that's all, I don't need to ask more about the rest, anyway, if you fight, you will lose. Such. An arrogant remark directly stunned the messenger. With this attitude, who would believe that Ling Feng was here for peace talks? This was simply to threaten an armistice. But the envoy could only sigh and say that he could not do anything about it. 
Seeing this, the other two people reached out and patted him on the shoulder to express comfort, but the helplessness in the eyes of the three of them had already shown everything, and they really had no way to deal with Ling Feng. This is obviously a ten-year-old child, but the three of them are almost 120 years old, and they can't make Ling Feng suffer a little loss, but the three of them have experienced extremely rich and wonderful ups and downs in just a few days, and it can be said that they have truly experienced what life is. Halfway through, there was a rest stop, which was specially prepared for Ling Feng. Of course, if Ling Feng chooses to take a carriage, then this rest stop is for horses, after all, the geographical environment here is indeed very poor, and horses will consume great physical strength to walk, and they must get timely rest and food supplements. Just grab a bite to eat and go. As soon as he entered the rest stop, Ling Feng frowned, just drank a glass of water and then got up and walked to the door. This made the messengers look confused. Lord Ling Feng, there is a special dim sum unique to Shayan village, don't you want to try? It. Ling Feng said lightly, I'm not interested, can you hurry up? Feeling Ling Feng's indifference, knowing that he was a little unhappy, where did the envoys still have the desire to continue eating, they also drank a few glasses of water one after another and followed Ling Feng on the road. As for why they are in such a hurry, they find it difficult to understand. But Ling Feng knew in his heart that through the white of his eyes, he sensed that there were ninjas from Sand Hidden Village near the rest stop secretly observing, although he didn't dare to say that he was here to attack him, but at least he didn't have any good intentions, so Ling Feng didn't stay too long. This is also a warning to those people, don't play any moths, you can see everything clearly. To be honest, you should have a lot of questions in your minds, right? For example, why do I insist on choosing you to stay by my side, knowing that you don't know anything, and the reason why you are sent to negotiate with us is only because you are insignificant, even if there is any accident, it doesn't matter, but that's it, I still choose you. It's been a bit boring along the way, I thought you would seize this last opportunity to attack me, but no, this disappointed me a little or is your ambush actually set up in Shayan village? If it's the latter, then I advise you to let those people retreat as soon as you get to the village, otherwise, the consequences will be very serious. Ling Feng looked at the envoys around him who were still whispering and discussing, and suddenly opened his mouth. In the face of Ling Feng's questioning, the envoys were even more at a loss, and the cold sweat on their foreheads flowed down unconsciously, and more and more. Obviously. This is a phenomenon caused by tension. They had some understanding of the ambush in the village, and the reason was that they were forced to accompany them because of Ling Feng's proposal, so the high-level officials of Shayan village had to reveal some small details so as not to delay the plan. So they knew that the high-ranking people of Shayan village had indeed set up an ambush in the village. And the one who took the lead was Zhou. The reason is also very simple, Zhou's eldest apprentice was killed by Ling Feng, so Cho will definitely not have any hands left behind, as long as they can kill Ling Feng, then they have hope of turning the tide of the battle. But what they didn't expect was that Ling Feng had already guessed it. What should I do now? Seeing that they were about to arrive in the village, they didn't have a chance to inform them of this matter in advance. Several envoys stared at each other several times, and they were all panicked, and in the end they could only signal each other with their eyes and then hurry up to report when they arrived at the village. As for the moment, they naturally did not dare to admit that the village had devised an ambush plan. Lord Ling Feng, you are too worried, we invited you here for peace talks, how could we possibly set up an ambush to attack you? Said an envoy with a forced smile. When Ling Feng heard this, he looked over with cold eyes, the latter didn't even have the courage to look at Ling Feng, his eyes dodged and he subconsciously lowered his head. Humph! At this level, you still want to deceive me? I look down on people too much. Shayan villages. Idea at the beginning was good, sending a few insignificant people to be representatives, even if the negotiation failed and was killed, it didn't matter. But what they didn't expect was that Ling Feng would ask these few people who were not planned at all to stay by his side all the time, 
which seriously disrupted a series of plans and intentions in Shayan village. Hehe, he, whether there is an ambush or not, you know better than me in your hearts, how to solve it, that's your problem, anyway, I've already said it, if something happens after entering the village, the consequences will be very serious. Ling Feng sneered a few times, then continued to stride forward. Although the wind and sand here are very large, Ling Feng has released a small wind escape for himself, as long as the chakra is continuously supplied, it can form a wind escape barrier around his body, so as to block the interference of the wind and sand. But the envoys around him suffered, so they could only cover their heads and follow behind Ling Feng breathlessly, for fear of losing them. In this way, after several hours of walking, several people finally arrived at Shayan village. Looking at the bear and green picture in front of him, Ling Feng didn't show any expression of surprise or disgust, because he already knew what this village would look like. Lord Ling Feng, please come here, the high-ranking people in the village are already waiting. They Messenger wiped the cold sweat from his forehead, and was restless all the way, and when he arrived at the gate of the village, he was even more nervous, and even trembled a little when he spoke. Ling Feng wasn't nervous at all, anyway, Iai Luo was in his hands, if there was really any special accident, he would blow up my Ai Luo's head on the spot. And this most bloody and violent method is also the most direct and effective way to break the seal. Seeing Ling Feng walk towards the conference room. The messengers hurriedly discussed in a low voice, and then one of them quickly left to inform the upper echelons. This is an extremely serious and urgent situation. Once the Shayan village proceeds according to the plan, I am afraid that the consequences will be unimaginable. Even if the Sand Hidden Village had already formulated a very detailed and rigorous plan, but Ling Feng could guess the actions of the Sand Hidden Village, then he must have already taken measures to deal with it. At the last moment, the Sand Hidden Village side must make a judgment immediately. This assassination plan will be executed, not that it will not be executed. Following the leader, Ling Feng walked on a street where no one had passed, and when he looked around, he found that the surroundings were very lonely, and it looked like a road that no one was using. And there are no pedestrians around, and there is no trace of life, and there are high walls on both sides to isolate it from the outside, indicating that this is a forbidden place, and people are not allowed to enter or use it at will. If you use this as a place to do it, it is indeed a good place. As long as you move fast enough, you can do it without knowing it, even if there is a battle, you can ensure that it does not attract the attention of the residents of the village. Ling Feng followed behind him unhurriedly, his mind was rapidly calculating how to deal with emergencies for a while, as long as he had done enough investigation and analysis of the surrounding environment, there was no need to worry. What's more, my I Luo is still in his own hands, if Sand Hidden Village insists on doing it then he will not let Sand Hidden Village have a good time. Slowly, following the guide, Ling Feng found that he was getting further and further away, and it seemed that he was going to stay away from the village, which was obviously an unknown secret passage, which was enough to show that Ling Feng's guess was correct. Eventually, the guide stopped. Ling Feng also stopped, and then he looked around, and found that this was an open area. It's about to begin. Ling Feng squinted slightly, looked around vigilantly, and opened his white eyes and riding wheel eyes at the same time, preparing for the emergency. The guide quietly stepped aside, without any words, an obvious sign of action. Anyway, I'm going to make a move, and some of them don't work out. This is also enough to show the determination of Shayan village to get rid of Ling Feng. Faced with this situation, Ling Feng was still as calm as ever. He knew that the current strongest in the Sand Hidden Village should be Cho. Because the three and fourth generations of Wind Shadows were already dead, if those two Wind Shadows were still alive, Ling Feng would not have come here anyway, and the reason was very simple, he couldn't beat them. The three generations of geniuses known as Sand Hidden Village are strong, and if it weren't for their arrogance and ignoring the Scorpion's ability, they wouldn't have died tragically under the Scorpion's sneak attack. As for the four generations, they also died of arrogance and were indirectly killed by Orokimaru. These secrets that the higher UPS of Sand Hidden Village didn't know, Ling Feng knew them clearly. 
If you want to do it, hurry up, I don't have that much time to play with you. But after waiting for a while, Ling Feng found that the surprise attack he expected had not happened, and he couldn't help but remind him. But in the next second, the leader left, and it was the messengers who came. Seeing those familiar faces, Ling Feng knew that the other party had stopped. Lord Ling Feng, what did you say, we came a little late because we went to explain some things, please forgive me. The envoys walked up to Ling Feng and forced a smile to say. Ling Feng smiled coldly, yes, you guys are still smart, go and report in advance, otherwise, Shayan village will disappear today. Hearing Ling Feng's words, the envoys couldn't help but shudder. Although they didn't know where Ling Feng got his confidence or what he planned to deal with, they had no doubt about the chance of this kind of thing happening. Obviously, Ling Feng unsurprisingly prepared a response. So the messengers then breathed a sigh of relief, because what they were afraid of was prevented. As long as Ling Feng is safe and not attacked in any way, then it will be fine. Lord Ling Feng, you are going here because we suddenly changed the meeting location due to some things, and we didn't have time to remind you, I'm very sorry for this. The messenger stepped forward and explained. Seeing this, Ling Feng raised his eyebrows and said. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, it's our problem. The envoy was a little nervous, and he was also puzzled in his heart, why was he so nervous about Shang Ling Feng? Obviously he wasn't so nervous when he saw Cho Sama. As everyone knows, the past few days together have made the envoys feel more and more afraid of Ling Feng, although they don't want to admit it, but this is the truth. Or rather, not only them, but the entire ninja army in Sand Hidden Village, all had a deep fear of Ling Feng. I'm afraid that the picture of Ling Feng alone killing the ace army of Shayan Village on that day will be indelible in my heart for the rest of my life. Regarding the envoy's lie, Ling Feng just smiled and didn't debunk it, because the other party really didn't make a move, so it didn't make sense for him to bite and speak. Following the messenger, Ling Feng and his party went out through this secret passage and returned to the streets of Shayan village. Although no one admitted that they had ambushed Ling Feng, it could be seen from the way they walked that their original plan was definitely intended to do something to Ling Feng, and the disguise in their words was indeed too weak. Maybe it was because of something wrong, several messengers along the way kept their mouths shut and didn't speak, but on the way here, they were all trying to open up the topic with Ling Feng. And Ling Feng was not in the mood to care about those envoys at this time, what he wanted to know now was what the Sand Hidden Village would do next. Should you just let Cho come to you, or continue to stall for time? Ling Feng guessed that the reason why Sand Hidden Village still dared to make a move on him was because of Cho. As a puppeteer of the Yuan Lao level who was still alive in the Sand Hidden Village at this time, Cho's reputation was not only famous in the Sand Hidden Village, but also had a status in the entire ninja world. It is no exaggeration to say that in terms of the level of puppeteers, Cho is definitely at the top. And it is the peak of the current puppeteer's strength. Even the genius puppeteer of the previous generation of Sand Hidden Village, the Scorpion, was finally defeated by Cho which Ling Feng already knew. On the way here, Ling Feng had been thinking about what to do with Cho. For ordinary people, Cho's horror is that her control of the puppet has reached a very terrifying level. From Ling Feng's point of view, Cho's level of manipulation of puppets has completely reached the shadow level. The only pity is that Cho is too old, and her physical strength will definitely decline. This is Ling Feng's advantage. With the assistance of the immortal body, coupled with the backing of Bai House Technique and Chakra Elixir, whether it was physical strength or chakra, Ling Feng was never worried. As for Cho's puppetry, Ling Feng considered continuing to use Fusion Escape to deal with it, but Cho did not attack very often. So Ling Feng didn't know much about her. The most important thing is that Ling Feng wants to defeat Cho with a very shocking ending. After all, this is the venue of Shayan Village and they must be given a dismount in order for them to understand that their strength is far from something they can catch up with and compare. If you want to say what method can be used to make Shayan Village honest, it can only be done by giving enough hard power. Ling Feng didn't want to come on this trip by himself, 
not to mention that he had encountered many crises, and in the end, there was no significant effect. Lord Ling Feng, we have arrived, please come in. They Messengers stopped in front of a building made of yellow sand and rare earths. You're not going in? Ling Feng asked. The envoy smiled a little embarrassed, and then said, Lord Ling Feng, this is the real core area of Shein village, we are not qualified to enter, so we can't accompany you. Ling Feng nodded, got it, then you guys go, what I'm going to say next is indeed not something that ordinary people can hear. With that, Ling Feng walked in by himself. For Ling Feng's words, the envoys were all confused, and they always couldn't understand Ling Feng's words. Listening to him like that, it seems that there is something very important to say. A man said. Alas, who knows, anyway, we have been together for so long along the way, and it can be regarded as a successful completion of the task, I was almost not scared to pee just now, I really want to fight and in the end we must take the blame. They Other looked scared. That's right, this Kanaha imp is really terrifying, I don't even believe it's a ten-year-old person. Said the last person in a trembling voice. And after Ling Feng entered the building, someone immediately came up to greet him. The person who came came walked steadily, stood straight, and was physically strong, which was not easy to see. Ling Feng followed behind him opened his white eyes to observe, and found that this person's chakra was very abundant, at least an elite ninja-level existence. It seems that those people are right, this is indeed the core area of Shein village. Although it's not the Hokage's office, it should be a place similar to the Kanaha shadows. Follow the person into a room. Ling Feng saw that a large square table was already full of people, and a spot near the door was empty, it was obvious that this was reserved for Ling Feng. Lord Ling Feng, I finally saw you. A fat man got up in surprise and smiled, My name is Feng Weiyuan, and I am the representative of this negotiation, and I welcome your arrival on behalf of Shein Village. Ling Feng smiled faintly, I'm glad to be here to talk to you too, Mr. Yuan. Then Ling Feng took his seat and announced the official start of the meeting. Everyone was looking at each other, but Ling Feng only glanced at Feng Weiyuan. Since Cho didn't come, Ling Feng only needed to care about the people present. As Ling Feng took his seat, after everyone in Shein village looked at Ling Feng, everyone was very puzzled, Kanaha actually sent a ten-year-old ghost, isn't it a joke? This is also because these high-level officials have never been on the battlefield, and they have never seen Ling Feng's strength at all, so they have such thoughts. Whoever had seen it once, they didn't dare to have the slightest contempt for Ling Feng. Then everyone's eyes focused on Ling Feng's side, on the bamboo basket, in which Iai Luo was lying quietly. Facing everyone's gaze, Ling Feng's face was indifferent, he knew what my Ai Luo meant to Shein village, this was their lifeblood. The tailed beast was assigned from the time of the first five shadows talks. Although it is dangerous and difficult to control, there is no doubt that the tailed beast is a secret killing weapon that is even more powerful than the shadow level powerhouse. It is also a symbol of strength. Because there are only nine tailed beasts in total, as for some other small countries and small villages, they have no ability to obtain them at all, and even if they are given to them, they do not have the ability to control the tailed beasts. But now, the most powerful whole card in Shein village was caught by Ling Feng in his hand. How could this not make these high-level officials of Shein Village worry? Mr. Ling Feng, since you have arrived at the final meeting, you should be able to feel our sincerity, why don't you return my Ai Luo to us first, and then we can sign the peace agreement? Feng Weiyuan looked at Ling Feng with a friendly smile on his face. When Ling Feng heard this, he raised his eyebrows, and said lightly, If your village really wants peace, then it is better to sign the peace agreement first and then wait for me to walk out of the village safely, and then return my Ai Luo to you. Hearing this, Feng Weiyuan's face suddenly sank, but he quickly returned to normal, but this scene had already been clearly seen by Ling Feng. He he, what did Mr. Ling Feng say, since we invited you to come, we naturally wanted to sign this peace agreement, but now that both sides have ceased fighting, and we have not launched another attack, 
you have also arrived at the final meeting site, this hostage is still in your hands, are you too vigilant? Feng Weiyuan tried to keep himself calm and stabilized his tone. But the slightly faster pace of speech still showed that he was nervous and anxious. Ling Feng leaned on the back of the chair unhurriedly, and at the same time grabbed my arrow in his hands, everyone present was nervous when watching this scene, for fear that Ling Feng would accidentally hurt my arrow. To be honest, I'm not very satisfied with your performance, since you have decided to negotiate peace, you shouldn't do any more insidious moves against me, if I don't have my Ai Luo in my hands today, maybe you have already done it. Ling Feng said lightly. As soon as these words came out, the faces of everyone present froze. Hee <laughs> hee, Mr. Ling Feng's words are a bit excessive, we never thought of making a move on you. Kazeki Hara said with a stiff smile. However, Ling Feng shook his head, patted the bamboo basket lightly and said, It doesn't matter if you admit it or not, anyway, I already know your intentions, but whenever there is the slightest opportunity, you will make a move which shows that you still refuse to give up this war. So I decided that after the agreement was signed and I left the village smoothly, I would return my arrow to you, otherwise, I could take my arrow back to Kanaha now. Faced With Ling Feng's corresponding attitude, the high-level officials of Shayan village were stunned. They didn't expect Ling Feng to give them a chance to discuss at all, and made a decision directly. Mr. Ling Feng, to be honest, I don't understand, why do you have to cling to my AI Luo as a hostage, even if he is a human pillar force, if you release him, then can you hide yourself?" said Feng Muhara with a frown. He boasted that he was a very patient person, but he didn't know why his heart became very restless after meeting Ling Feng, a ten-year-old ghost. There's no way to stop and think about it seriously, and I'm always thinking about taking my arrow over quickly. But the little ghost in front of him is obviously only ten years old. What is he afraid of? Feng Weiyuan himself can't figure it out. Isn't it that even if he is a human pillar force, I can say with certainty that he is a human pillar force, or do you yourself not know which one is a human pillar force? Ling Feng glanced at Feng Weiyuan and said with some displeasure. Seeing Ling Feng's expression, Feng Weiyuan had to nod and admit, okay, I'm indeed a human pillar force, since you know that he is a human pillar force, then you should also know how dangerous it will be once the human pillar force is released, I believe you shouldn't do it. Of course, as long as you cooperate and honestly sign the peace agreement with me, then there will be no problems." Ling Feng smiled lightly. At this time, an iron-headed baby spoke. Ling Feng, I don't know why Kanaha sent you as a little ghost, but I really want to know. What is your confidence in daring to threaten us, even if you release the tailed beast and achieve your goal, then you will die, no one can survive in front of the tailed beast, unless it is a shadow level powerhouse, when the time comes, our wind shadow will subdue the tailed beast, your life will be given away for nothing, is it worth it? That's right, I remember the battle report said that you single-handedly fought against our entire puppet division legion, and we were all shocked by your strength so your death is also a loss for Kanaha, right? The other chimed in. After speaking, everyone present looked at Ling Feng with a smug face. For them, there are a lot of whole cards to bargain with Ling Feng, and they don't believe that Ling Feng will not be afraid of death. However, Ling Feng laughed, and it grew louder and louder. Seeing Ling Feng laughing, everyone's faces were displeased, they felt that Ling Feng didn't believe what they said at all. This was mockery, mockery. Mr. Ling Feng. This is the meeting site. Feng Weiyuan couldn't stand it anymore, and stopped it loudly. Hearing this, Ling Feng restrained his smile, then stretched out his hand and said, I'm sorry, I'm out of shape, the main reason is that I think your jokes are too funny, so I can't hold back. Joke, Mr. Ling Feng's behavior is more like a joke. Feng Weiyuan felt very uncomfortable with this little imp who was not guessed at all. That's right, I'm talking about jokes, and I'm talking about you. Forgive me for not wanting to demolish you, at present, there should be less than two-thirds of the elite shinobi left in your village, because most of them have already died on the battlefield, and the elite puppet division occupies more than half of them, 
and secondly, the highest combat power of your village should only be the predecessor of Cho, as for the Wind Shadow, I'm afraid he is already dead. As soon as Ling Feng's words fell, the scene was suddenly quiet and even the sound of breathing was very obvious. Everyone stared at Ling Feng with round eyes, and was about to ask how did you know. Ling Feng knew that if he didn't say something, they would definitely attribute the cause of Kazekage's death to Kanaha's move, so Ling Feng added, if Kaze Cage is here, you don't have to worry about me arrow being on me at all, right? Thank you for choosing fanfiction uploads. We hope you enjoyed this journey into anime and fanfiction. The adventure continues, so stay tuned. Your feedback matters to us. Leave a comment with your favorite stories, suggestions, or your own fanfiction ideas. We love hearing from you. Hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to never miss an upload. Share our channel with friends and fellow anime lovers. Thank you for being part of our community. Until next time, keep dreaming, listening, and keeping the anime spirit alive. See you in the next episode.